How did my hair? Pink. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> Jeez, gosh. My hair just was like, yo, I hope you like having a bad time because you're gonna like, it's gonna mess up all the time. Hello, verified Twitch partner, Zoomy Zoomy. Hi, Crafty, how's it going? Not gonna lie, I woke up today and I was like, yeah, I'm partner now, damn. It's pretty surreal, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Slight existential crisis, but it's okay, we're all here and that's all that matters. I also racked my knee today too. It hurts so bad, dude. Oh my god, I like obliterated my knee. Ugh. I've never had a crisis about my own existence. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ouch. Yeah, I. Oh my god. Like, like I. Oh, I like basically kicked a wall. On accident, I was trying to like step over something, and I like I brought and I uh, slipped, so I brought my leg up quickly so I could like like balance myself, and then I just needed the like just boom, like like just boom, right into the wall, and that hurt like a motherfucker. Oh my god, I'm gonna have like a gigantic bruise on my knee. Watch, give it like a day or so, and then I'll have uh, good bruise pictures for everybody. Everybody's like into that, but like sometimes I always like when I get like a really good bruise, I'm just kind of like, oh, that's so cool. But then I poke it, then it hurts, and then I'm like, ow. But like it's still really cool, you know? Just me and my bruises. Sammy, what? <laughs> oh, don't you do that? Also, hi, Bart. How's it going? I get bruises that don't know where they came- Oh, same. Like, I get bruises all the time and I'm just kind of like, what? I sure just want to know the way to heal people who often die on his claim, whatever. But nice grave, that's good. Oh, sorry, Mary. Do I have the knowledge of any decent meme for the server? Hi, hi. Yes! I need to show everybody that meme today, actually. Yes, Mary. I forgot about that until you mentioned it, but that was fucking hilarious. I'm gonna show ev I'm putting that on the screen. Mm-hmm. Become as meme. Become as meme. All right, all right. Let me let me grab it here. What's this one again? Oh, that's the himbo spectrum. Uh, what's this one? Oh, that's the vor chart. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's well. Okay. I have a better picture of both these days too, huh? All right. Um. Let's see, where is... There's the meme. Everyone, please, please love and pay attention to the wonderful meme that was created. Wait, did I do it right? Please, everyone, love and pay attention to the wonderful meme that Miri made the other day. Like, literally yesterday. I just, I want you all to see this. I, I want you all to be aware of this meme. It's great. We love a good Final Fantasy meme. <laughs> It's great. It's it's good. It's good. <laughs> Sammy's the new class. E girl is the new class. Yeah. The froze. Oh, I know my weird hill. I like to green screen to Photoshop for the same proud. Yeah. Also, Paige is there too. 
It's a new pet class, and your pet is a Banui. It's great. So bottom is the new class? Ha ha ha, I'm Z-Bar. I don't have any original jokes, so I just recycle the same joke every time. <laughs> Love you. Meme. Laugh. Laugh at this. La laugh at this. I need to make a tweet with this image, too. Is recycling is good for the environment? True. Vacuum tube audio amplifiers are actually worse sounding than solid state ones. Uh, yeah, I would actually agree with you. As someone who did audio, uh, audio work for a long time, uh, I would totally agree with that. Vacuum tube amplifiers are horrible, uh, because if you can get it in the right settings, uh, things can work, but, like, anything from just fucking, like, moisture in the air can just throw it off, and that's terrible, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, oh, Miri, I can make a tweet, too, if you don't want to. I gotta get that hashtag clout, right? Because I'm hashtag girl boss. Because I'm a hashtag partner now. That's how this works. What lipstick did you have on yesterday? The same one I've been, like, spamming this entire- Using Sammy. Wow, you- You're really into video games, aren't you? Alright, okay. Um... It's this NYX, uh, matte makeup. Uh, this lipstick. I think this- uh, this line is new, actually. Um... Because I think their old mattes were a bit different than this, but it's really good. I like it. It's perfect red. Give my blessing, Poggers. I'll just make a tweet and be like, hey, I heard it was patch day. Did you guys hear their drop? They dropped a... They, they leaked the new class. It's me. I'm the new class. <laughs> also, it was like five bucks, too. Gladius. I think five or like six or something it was not expensive. If you're a girl boss in agriculture, is your male wife hashtag male wife actually a hashtag bail wife? Probably, yeah. Um. Alright, this song in years. Yeah, it's a good song. I don't think is it even in this playlist or did it just get auto-played? I can't tell. It's all good. Um you're gonna pay than Thancred if they remove belts. How will you pay Thancred if you remove belts though? Would you guys the belt that's not how belts work. A strap is not necessary. I, well, I guess a strap is kind of a belt. Not really, though. Not really. The DPS run and then use Poggers OGCD for PogChamp damage. PogChamp damage! Oh, if you make superfoods, are they a kale wife? Hashtag kale wife. Oh, hi, Layla. How are you? Why is my okay. uh, unex unexpected error? Are you calling yourself an error? I don't think that's true. How is patch day? Don't spoil anything for me. But how is patch day? <laughs> and thank you so much for writing. I said, How's your beautiful face? How's it going? There is strap alert. The strap. I mean, I know nothing about this. Grav, do you want to know something about this? <laughs> Let's say a word. Don't worry. Don't. Puggers. Sorting out new glam options. I will spend patch day by chasing a himbo through the uh, through the snow and also uh, probably crying in storm blood because I can't imagine it's going to be nice to me. Because people. Uh, was there a new EXE encounter? Oh, people, so many people. 
Oh, that's a good plan, except the crime. True. Also, you make sure my game's updated. Yep. Uh, gotta update the launcher. Final Fantasy 14 online. I already exit out of that. Yeah, I heard World Visit's gonna be down for a bit. Mm -hmm. I liked big time in certain areas, so yeah. Oof. We're all holding up good. I'm um, doing great. Doing great. A Sammy is a crime that is in the FF14 stream. True. I got to Kugane in the MSQ, and Kugane very pretty. Don't like the the, the scary sword police, but um. Oh, you know what? I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen there. Anyway. <laughs> Bing. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the servers are a little overloaded today. People are pretty excited. Which is, like, fair, because, like, it's an exciting day. An exciting day for many people because of... Reasons I don't know, because I'm not that far. <laughs> Everyone you ever love has died, Sammy. Well, I guess the only people that are going to be left alive are Sloppy. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi, Kaylee. How are you? Sloppy. Sloppy. <laughs> Paige making those jokes yesterday was so good. I love that. Just playing some Halo, how are you? Imagine playing Halo like a nerd. What is it, 2008? Uh, <laughs> how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, how are you? Ow, ooh. Ah, oh, God. My freaking knee. I'm a nerd. There, there, Kaylee, I love you. Sammy with the brutal cyberbullying. True, now that I've become a partner, uh, you guys are gonna see the hashtag toxic streamer mode engaged. I'm just gonna be a toxic streamer all the time. Um, I'm gonna bully people for clout. Just finished AIR today. Ah, nice, Maddie, look at you go. I feel like you did that a lot faster than I did. Wait, AIR as in 2.0? Like, you're done with 2.0, right? Did you finish all of the patch content? Like, all of it? <laughs> Just sitting here waiting on the response. <laughs> Uh, Hell I Die on is just a super weird one. What's the hell? I think just the first. So 2.0? Like, uh, 2.0 ends when you f defeat the Ultimo weapon. I fought the Latin guys. Oh, yeah, I did that? Okay, you finished 2.0. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm hmm. No, you did, you finished two point If you if you defeated the ultimate weapon, you're good. If you saved my if you saved my boyfriend, you're good. Yeah, so that that that's that's two point mm -hmm. I saved the boy. Good, good, good. So I hate it when people buy something like a Mustang Challenger Camaro, but then they put buy it with like a four or six cylinder, then legitimately the V eight with the vroom vroom power is the only reason to buy those cars. Like, why would you buy the slow version of a fast car? Like, why? <laughs> Kaylee, I love that. That's great. Um, how does everyone know the numbers? Where's the numbers? It says so in the journal entry of your logs. I believe it will tell you what patch it is, I think. Um, it's okay if it's a little obscure. It is a little obscure. Hi, Zenu. How are you? Oh, the thing I never look at. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, nah, it's it's okay if it's like a little confusing. I was kind of confused where like like parts like where like 3.3 and where 3.4 ended. Some quests like sometimes you'll get done with something, but like okay, that felt like a climax of some kind of story thing. So I think I'm done, and like that's like yeah, that's pretty accurate, right? Not all the time though. Fusion five different wikis. I think so. I think it tells you in your journal. I don't know. And of course, th there's of course the people who know because they were there when those patches went live, so they know what content came and went, right? So there's like some of that as well. And yeah, not the number being specific isn't like a big deal. It's just good for like me to know like, okay, where where are you <laughs> in the story, right? Have you been enjoying the game, Maddie? Still playing uh, Bard, right? How, oh, how have you been enjoying Bard now that you have your like Bard songs? Good, nice, love it. <clears throat> Guys, I haven't really noticed a huge difference. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you know how the abilities work? They are also like support abilities too, so like you shouldn't notice like a big difference, right? Uh, hey Zarlay. Um, er, yeah, yay Bard. Uh, I think so. Okay. Um, like I, I know, I know some of them feel a little less impactful than others. I mean, I know I make a song every now and often. But like, did you know that it refreshes the cooldown on like your blood letter? I think your one does. Oh, what is it? The 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 ballad, the one ballad, the blue one, purple one, that one. I think it's that one. Guess I didn't know that. Okay, so now you can just like spam it, and that's also off global cooldown, so you can do two attacks at once. So you can like literally be shooting like multiple arrows at the same time. I would call that a fairly significant difference. My seal. Can't ever use that, I don't know why. Is it the cleanse? It's always grayed out. I think the cleanse only works if you have it selected on an ally, right? And I'm trying to remember my bar- my hashtag bard knowledge, right? I'm not logged in to check right now. It's not the big deal. Did I just snap my choker? Oh my god, I did! What? How did that happen? Um... Lude? <laughs> I'm so upset! <laughs> you become a partner and suddenly snap a choker on stream. Hallowed. Ah! Ah! Uh, my choker broke! Oh, the word, the, 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 the thingy got. Oh, God, this thing, like, broke, bro. Like, it's done. No, like, the. I, the it frayed, Maddie. Like, it tore. 
I don't know if you can see it, but like it tore. Like yeah, I think it I think it's like broke broke because like there's like a yeah, like it ripped. Like it connected to and kinda like ripped there. Oh, yeah, I think, I think it's a goner. So where did the, where did the jewel piece go? Did it go down here? That was a clamp grip. No, it wasn't. I'm sad. What do I do now? I can fix it, but too bad you're not here. I know. Maddie, come over. Where did the other pe- did it go like- I think I might have gone in my bra. I don't know. I I'm gonna go get a new choker, I guess. Um... Yeah, just- just chill- Ow! God, I hit myself in my nose. <laughs> my life is a mess! All right, I'm back, hi. Where did that other piece go? We lost a real one today. Anyway, okay, whatever. So how are, you, how are you guys doing? How's your day going? <laughs> Damn it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, so yeah, Maddie, Mary just explained what the, the thing he does. I'm not a hashtag bard main, I just know that I can play the flute. And it does damage. Um, if you go to actions, Maddie, you can pull the skill from the actions menu. A minute of silence for Chokey the Choker. He was a brave one always holding itself together in tight situations. Long he lasted in the wars of 2020 protecting Sami's throat through choking. We will remember you fallen one. I love you too, newbie. <laughs> you freaking goober.
Miri, if those are level 52 abilities, Maddie's not into level 52 content. She's not into Heaven's Word yet. Ow. Oh, God, my knee. Yeah, but it, it doesn't necessarily matter. Because, like, you won't, uh, when you get, like, synced into fights and dungeons, you won't have access to, you, like, your level 56 skills. Yes, but it won't matter. Yep. So, like, here is the downside about, um, the downside of over, of, like, over leveling. Because, like, you probably have, like, the, uh, what's it called? The Road to 70 buff. Um... When you have the road to 70 buff, like, you're gonna overlevel all of your, like, you're gonna overlevel your main class very, very quickly. So if you do that, you're gonna get into positions where, like, you're gonna be running, uh, content in the patch that you are in, like a dungeon, and then you won't be able to use those higher abilities because you don't have access to it because that content is level 50 content, and you can't use level 56 skills in level 50 content. Right? Yep, so that's- that's probably why. Sorry, Mike was making dinner. How were the raids last night? Um, they were phenomenal, Stacy. We did really fucking good last night. We did fucking fantastic, not gonna lie. Best sidetrack on the last question about why bard main? What do you mean? What are you talking about, Zenu? The crush it we fucking did amazing like we honest to god did amazing um change back because those abilities aren't usable mm. i'd say that might be more of an issue with how your hud layout is low if you have to change if you have to constantly be changing back your hotkeys you probably have an issue with how your hud layout is like something that i do to differentiate like how that works is I have like my base layout, then I have shift plus layout, and then I have control plus layout. So as my levels go up, they get more complicated. I'm using shift and control more. Um, and I'm not doing, I'm not using it needlessly when I like to go up stuff, right? So my layout stays the same, except for my more advanced skills are in like these other tiers. You of course don't have to like, you don't have to like do your HUD layout like I do, of course, but um, if you if you're having to switch back in between hotkeys, you might want to take a look at like how you have your HUD laid out. Cause like the default HUD is pretty rough. Um, I don't know if you're still using that, but it is not that great. On the controller, I only have you only have so many. Yes, but you can still control like, but you can still lay them out differently on the controller. You can put more of like your advanced abilities further back. We can put more of like your current stuff or like your earlier stuff front, because that stuff you're never not gonna have, right? In the terms of hot bar management, uh, yeah, ground. That's probably decent advice. Or it has a lot of buttons without too many buttons. Uh, yeah, Zenu, I would agree with you. Because, like, Monk has a lot of buttons. They're using the cross hop bar. If they're using the cross hop bar, they can still arrange how those look, though, right? Mm -hmm. 
think that's a good idea. Uh, you certainly can, Maddie, yeah. Um, I mean, the overleveling thing is not really an issue in the sense of, like, the content that you do, because you're going to be synced down to that content, right? Um, if that makes sense. But you can always level another class, because, like, that's kind of fun, right? There's no such thing as too early to start a new class. Yeah. So, like, you can always just, like, try another class, like, have fun with it, you know? That way you can always split XP, too. Mm -hmm. Well, you will be synced down all the time. Uh, well, I shouldn't say all the time, but, like, you're gonna be in 50 content for a while, like, a long time. Um... Until you get into Heaven's Word, and even still, you're gonna only be like at level 51, level 52, level 53. None of my levels equal to it. Yeah, not if your level is equal to it, but you'll probably pass that level very quickly. Does that make sense? Um, it will probably slow down your leveling if you're splitting XP between your classes, but like. You know, I'm in Stormblood right now doing level 62 content. I'm level 70. So it's just going to be something that kind of happens. Um, but like, I would still highly suggest getting another class. And like using that class and like the leveling stuff. Probably three. There's enough XP and MSQ to keep more than two classes current. Probably three, yeah. And Grom's correct about that, too. You could just level, like, two or three classes off of the main story quest XP alone, because there's a lot of it, because it, like, it wants you to level up, right? Like, the game, um... Final Fantasy XIV, fortunately, has a really good design about how, like, they do leveling, and that is they don't want you to grind eternally forever <laughs> just to level up a class or two that you want to level up, right? So they make it, like, really accessible and easy. Yep, there's the daily, daily roulettes as well. That is correct. Because trust me, I'd rather have an over-leveling problem than an under-leveling problem. Because that gates you out of content and nobody wants that. Getting level gated is not fun. Yep. And that's something that like, um, like again, like yeah, getting over leveled is like, I guess a little bit annoying, but I will gladly take that versus the opposite. Cause Final Fantasy was like, yo, what if we don't punish people for playing our game? If they get over leveled, I guess they just get over leveled. And like, that's fine. Cause I'm glad I'm not getting XP gated. You don't like what they did in 1.0? <laughs> it's like, thank goodness they're not doing that. Jacket, you are correct. Also, that oat, uh, the oat milk, I agree with you. By the way, that's good. But yeah, Jacka, um, they're like, I see you're having fun with this game. What if you just, like, stopped playing it? So it's, like, really nice that they don't do that, right? Could you lose XP if you died? What? That's crazy. Really? Like, actually? You lost XP and could D-level? Oh. 
Why? Why would they? Yikes. It adds danger. Hmm. I love you. So dumb. That's like so dumb. That's like literally like the dumbest thing. MMOs with permadeath? Everquest where on top of being out in the middle of nowhere when you die, you de-level and all your gear is on your corpse. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Games are nicer now. Yeah, good. Oh my god. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, that literally sounds awful. Kakatar, how are you? Looks like you're enjoying this game. It would be a shame if open world PvP happened and your body was looted. God, that sounds awful. Like, straight up. Like, holy shit, dude. Why? Uh, thanks, Tech. I uh, appreciate it. Very kind of you. On most servers, so it was an opt-in. Did that not exist before a while? Oh my god. Dang. Also, Tech, thank you so much for the follow. I super duper appreciate it. Hope you have an absolutely terrific day, because you might even more terrific. I love you so, so, so much. Welcome to Zoom Room as everything. How's your face? How's it going? How are you? Hi, Razor. How's it going? Sound to follow. Yeah, not gonna lie, Tech, I don't blame you. There's a lot of good people. <laughs> but it's fine, how are you? Mm -hmm. I know there was like one day, I think it was like one of the first days, I literally just went through and like clicked like boop, 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 boop. Like just like went down the list. But it's also like there's, oh my God, like how many people? A lot, like it's kind of hard to find folks sometimes. But it's all right, don't beat yourself up for it. You're poggers. Through single button, but you only had to change like five times? Really? Huh. Movie seven members including the staff? Yeah, that's a lot of people. 
That's like more than three. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie. Quickly realize you're following over 400 people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Dang. Returning scripts, you can now get a custom cushion of Major General Minion. How do I get those scripts, Kakatar? <laughs> I need the Major General. Love me a shark. Love me a good old shark. Do I like this look? You know what I think it needs? Actually. Alright, I gotta hit up Sal then. better. Alright, make that a bit like tealish. Nice! Okay, I think that looks good. I feel like this kind of greenish blue color. It's kind of funky though. Not gonna lie. I know, I'll get that shark mount eventually. Mark my words. We love a good shark. <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sneezy today. I could probably, I could probably get the Major General with relative ease. Oh yeah, Jack, I should do that, right? Hmm. No, I, I, could, I could probably go get that uh, Mount Knuckle Eye. I think I could. Yeah, people really wanted the Rainmaker hairstyle. I don't blame them, I suppose. It's a pretty good hairstyle. happened that caused uh visiting world to break I, don't know, I heard it was just like server crashes or something
<clears throat> we added gulls to fishing, so then caused the entire world systems, uh, world visit system to break. Yeah, it sounds about right. Seagulls just like break shit, you know? Pretty common. We love some beach themed minions. Poggers. Oh, let's do this next. Howdy, Katie. How are you? How's it going? I'm not going to be more specific, Razor. <laughs> Just pick one. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. How are you, Kabold? How's it going? The minions and housing items. That just shows that you're the cool friend, Kakatar. chandelier then do it get it yeah i'm gonna i'm just gonna assume that everybody's gonna be absolutely swallowed in the uh the new patch content for today which is a little unfortunate but because i think that means today's gonna be a slow day but that's okay it'll be like that sometimes Zombie army? What's that? Should have a way to open with your feet. Hmm. Oh, like a push bar. Yeah, that would make sense. That is an odd hill to die on, but you know what? I think that's a good hill to die on. Usually in the balls. Nice. Oh, Grom, that would be nice. That'd be really nice, actually. The palette is, um, Modern Dreamer. It is a NYX 35 color palette. Hmm. So what you're telling me is you like Lightning McQueen, Queen Razor. Gotcha. Yep, Modern Dreamer. That's right. But da but dum
Kakatara plot twist. What if, like, you're ac actually accidentally running a thieves guild? <laughs> I mean, ice cream is good. Good. Ooh, kabold. You're so wrong. I have to ban you now. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> Ellie, I love you. Mm hmm. Sharks are smooth. Sharks are smooth. I agree with you. Yeah, that is an objective fact. I have contacts, so I'm like used to touching my eyeballs, not gonna lie. Also, hi, Eric. glasses I came to context that's fair mm -hmm. the only time I've had chocolate plus peanut butter ice cream really like peanut butter ice cream is like one of my favorite things Nah, I think I'll do a dark. I think I'll do a dark color. We'll do like black. Hi, Focus. Hi, Bones. Hi, Cries. How's it going? I want ice cream. Good. Go get some ice cream. Do it. One shattered in her eye? How? Oh, was she wearing like hard contacts? I'm gonna fuck that up. Mm -hmm. Train a muscle by yawning. Uh huh. Thank you, Eric. I don't wear it enough.
All right, there we go. Do I look witchy? Or do I just look bitchy? I know why I was roasting myself there. I don't know. Let me get that rolling. Yep. That's the second update. That's okay. Ow. Ow. God. Ow. Ow. Ah! God, I hate my hair sometimes. Does y'all's hair ever, like, I don't know, rebel against you? Or is that just me? And then I got hairs all over me. Only when it's humid out. <laughs> Literally constantly. I'm glad we're on the same page. That's good. Oh my god, my hair is just like, it does not want to cooperate. Oh my god. How far have I gotten the MSQ? We are in Kugane. It'll actually be nice once my hair gets just like a little bit longer and then I can like pull it forward and back more. Gonna anime Japan. How long am I going with it? Uh, much longer. Probably at least to my shoulders. Uh, probably past my shoulders. Probably actually probably down to my boobs. I'd say. Forward and back, and then you go forward and back, and then and forward and back, and then one foot forward. Step forward and back, and then a forward and back. Also, it's still patching, by the way. It's almost done. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, 
I'm very interested to see how Anime Japan goes. Uh, hi, Frederick. Just taking with the pink? Of course I am. I'm interested to see how Anime Japan goes because of... Um, it would not be like... Final Fantasy would not do some shit and be like, Oh, here's this place with a literal secret police. Um, this place is fine. Like, so there, there's going to be something that we're going to get into, right? I just don't know when and where it's going to hit. As long as you've had your hair? Uh, probably this, actually. I, I almost always kept my hair incredibly short. I mean, remember, I used to have an undercut. Like, I used to shave half my head. Like, legit, I, I used to, like, have, like, a half-shaven head. So I kept it very short. Mm -hmm. I used to have a faux hawk, too. Undercut is the worst superhero ever. Eh, it's not that great, I agree. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, it wouldn't be like Final Fantasy XIV to just like not get into the fact that like, um, gade has got some weird shit going on. So I'm excited to find that out. We're going to do more of that because we just found uh, Gosetsu. So I think we're probably going to talk to him, hang out with him a little bit, and then try to probably find Yaguri because either the two of them were separated or like they got something going on. I wouldn't be surprised if they were separated, though. We have to go find her. Which is like some good downtime, but like I kind of want to get back into the thick of the story and shit. But it has been nice to like explore Kugane proper. I'm gonna go with a nice pair of chunky boots. That'll look. <laughs> so I used to definitely dress a lot more emo, a lot more like goth and shit. The thick of the story, yeah, pretty much. Like I want to get more into like the story. Um. And like stuff like that. So like, you know, gotta hurry up. Gotta actually play the game. Gotta go play some himbo brand. What classes have you been playing? I was going to say, considering I talk about it every day, constantly, I'm surprised you don't know. I am an avid Black Mage main. Very avid. Okay, where did you get that? It was a gift. From the Squeenix store, I believe. I mean, I do all my content. I do, like, all my story content as a Black Mage. Like, all of it. Like, literally all of it. Um, like other classes I enjoy are like Dark Knight and Dancer. Those are like my top three. It'd probably be like Black Mage, Dark Knight, Dancer. I'd probably say. Um, I don't mind Bard. Dragoon's fun too. Uh, you know, I haven't tried many classes yet. I have Monk, I have Ninja now, I have Astrologian. Hate healing. I hate healing. Wow, I hate healing so much. Um, so there's that. I'm so bad at myself. Bad at myself. You're bad at Black Mage? I mean, Black Mage is like intense. Black Mage is really big brain. Healing, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, healing is hard too. Healing is also very big brain. Well, you don't like healing? Is this the part where I try to convince you that you do actually enjoy it? Oh my god, dude. That's so damn fun. It is a culture shock, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Did my black magic to rage the other day, and boy, was I rusty. Hi, Iris. How are you? Um, I bet. Legit. Uh, what server are you on? I am on Malboro. Headaches. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. I got a headache today, too, actually. But, uh, yeah, like, what I was saying is, like, um... Uh, Jacka, it is, a. Uh, don't, don't you guys love it when, like, every once in a while, for some reason, Twitch chat will try to convince you that you like something that you definitely don't like, and you're very confused why they're arguing with you? What FC are you in? I run and operate an FC called Rainbow Riot. And by that I mean I'm mostly a figurehead, but still. I'm technically in charge of the FC. You have a house? Yep, sure do you. And we're saving up for a mansion. And we're probably gonna get it, actually. Alright, so where do I go? Chat log settings. Um How do I turn it off? Validate me, streamer! Hi Lucy, you're valid. How do I turn off a uh, yell and shit? Can I join UFC? Yeah, of course, Fedric. You just have to be on Malboro. Log filters? Where's that? Hi, Hayes, how are you? I, I, I literally don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll take yell and shout. That's Cloud Strife. Oh my god. It says Aerith. Oh my god. I can't believe they did that. Um. <laughs> Eyes up. This is great. Oh my god. This is actually kind of funny. Where is everybody? That's Mosey. Oh my god. That's actually pretty great. Eyes up here, Cloud. Alright. Um, imagine being Pockers. Okay, we'll apply that. So no yell and no shouts. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, Frederick, uh, what's your username? I would send in dirty DMs for shame. For shame, Cloud. How dare he? Protecting from a shout spoilers. Yep. Sure am. Hi, Phineas. I'm watching your Sky Pirates run. You guys were amazing, weren't we, though, Phineas? Oh, my God. We kicked so much ass. I think we're going to try to do the third leg of Sky Pirates on Monday. Actually. Fiona Buns. Huh. Nice. Um, I think we're gonna try to do it Monday, and if we can't do, uh, Sky Pirates, like, if for whatever reason, like, that doesn't work out, I'm probably gonna do more extremes. So if people wanna see that, if you guys just wanna see more, like, extreme content, well, that's the time to come. Alright, Frederick Raven Hearts. Oh, that's you. Oh, that was easy. Mm -hmm. Look on that one. You know, Bones, that's what everybody said about the second part of the raid, and we still got it, baby. In like 16 minutes. Like we we bursted through that, not gonna lie. <laughs> 
That's what I'm about to say. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm cool now. Yeah, you are cool now. There you go. Alright. Uh, so let's do the, the Gigi. The Gigi? Gigi situation? So we got Himbo quests to do and then MSQ! Now when it pops up on roulette, gotcha. I've heard this point friends you well, say Amber, for at least better finds me. So it seems we have no choice but to seek out the inspector and convince him to surrender up his mammoth to me. It was an error through the most suspicious circumstances. Hi, Misfit. Oh, you love this Hildy, Hildy quest? Fuck yeah. After all, who can say what secrets or heresy it might hold? Therefore, the Inquisition would conduct a thorough inspection and, uh, and if needs must, destroy it. Exclamation point Discord, Frederick. We have a free company role that is Rainbow Riot. And you can ping that role and get it. Uh, Inspector may be amenable to my request. Uh, nevertheless, I am made up to see that interest is public safety. Would you be willing to help me persuade him? I'm like, yeah, sure, dude. Just don't hurt my himbo, please. Three of your prayers. Uh, at least you have your reason. Let's pray that he will as well. I understand why the inspector and assistant may have been wandering over the city with the mammoth in tow. The option, uh, frequent a gazebo near the Fortan's manor. With any luck, he'll be there now. A gazebo! Hope it dissipates. Oh, it's doing pretty good. Also, I hope you guys like this touch about my Ish Guardian glamour. My Ish Guardian glamour has the Fortan choker and also has Fortan uh, earrings. A little harder to see. A deadly gazebo. What? The inspector's in danger. We gotta go save the inspector from the gazebo. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys like that touch. I also just really like this outfit, not gonna lie. In the four ton house. Nice. Elf Daddy would be proud. Yeah. I, again, I kind of hate to admit it. I loathe to admit it, but like. Ishgard kind of feels like home now. In the weirdest way, it kind of feels like home and it kind of feels nice to like. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm the adopted, like, uh, adopted sister of the four ton household. Like, or something like that. The adopted daughter. Nope, they haven't added housing yet. Won't be for a little bit. Probably not till Endwalker properly, right? I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, the Fortan uh, feel like family now. They do. They, they really, like, honest to God, they do. And it's really nice. I need a house. Good luck. Hi, Nashu. Isn't she adorable? I agree. The very pinnacle of the heavens. Oh, the steward? No, let me let me go talk to him quick. Welcome home, Welcome home, Mistress Eris. I see you find you yet find it passing strange to be greeted in such a manner. Upon assuming the mantle of Count, my Lord Artail's first instruction of the servants was to greet the greatest friend of the House of Hortons, Hortons as a member of the family. That's so nice. Love you, Focus. I guess he says, welcome home. Aww. Aww. So you are actually the adopted child? Yeah, or RTL, RTL, when like he got command, like the first thing he was, the first thing he did was like, so Eris is a part of the family. That's just how this works. And everyone was kind of just like, yeah, all right, we're down. That's actually really cute. Like, you are literally the adopted child. That's so cute. I love it. I'm just... 
I just the adopted big sister. <laughs> I love it. That's so cute. Verily, we shall scour all of creation with the deepest, the deepest pits of the seven hells, the very pinnacle of the heavens, for the answers we seek. Every day they shall be filled with grand adventures, the stuff of fairy tales and legends. It's like, extra funny for me because my character is an old man. Ah, that's so cute though. Uh, change throughout. Do they really? Huh. Huzzah, great adventure in the deep, uh, the deepest pits of the seven hells. Just so, such as the creed of Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, expector extraordinaire. Oh my god, Gigi's flexing with him. I love that RTL holds up so well as a character. Hi, Mad Max. Hildy time, you betcha, buddy. Uh, what is that? It's a uh, mammoth. Uh, well posed, Gigi. Well posed. I dare say you have. Willibur! Willibur, I'm doing your least favorite thing in the world. How are you? How's a beautiful face? Poggers, thank you so much for the raid. I super duper appreciate it. Hope everyone absolutely. Hope everyone absolutely. A uh, lovely day. Because you're I did be more lovely. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Sammy. Or Zoomy, Zoomy, Zoomy. Call me any of the above. My stream is all about positive recovery vibes, being a safe place for everybody. We mostly play Final Fantasy XIV, make pegging jokes, and love sharks here. So if you like that kind of content, feel free to stick around. Illy. Oops, lol. <laughs> Kiki, I love you, hun. Great, I can leave a lurk on you while I collapse into a puddle. Okay, have fun. Yeah, we're doing Willibur's least favorite thing. God, that's fast. My name is Zoomy Zoomy for a reason. I am the fastest talking Twitch partner on the platform. That's a promise, baby. That's a promise. But don't pig sharks. That's how I I mean, unless they're like anthropomorphic and capable of consenting, right? Of course. Then there's an exception. Asa, hi Fix, hi Zerum, hi Nova, hi Rex, uh, hi Seeker, hi Prox, hi Willibur Raid, um, I'll hydrate us. A gentleman is rather than does. Hmm? Wait, are we doing exploitative capitalism? Zara greets all y'all, yeah, y'all, poggers. It's to lighten up JK. I appreciate that that is a joke, Bones, but remember, some people don't find slapstick humor funny, and that's okay, and that's fine. <laughs> Congrats on partner. Hmm? Uh, thank you, Prox, I appreciate it. Thank you for the videos. Uh, Fuma, uh, Fumaku? Fumaku? I heard you yesterday during EC stream. Yep, 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 yep. That you're already... And thought already you were really fast talking. Oh, I could talk even faster. That wasn't even that wasn't even my final form. Oh, did my two is my camera too? Oh, it's a little high. That wasn't even my final form. It's fine. Uh, I'll move that later. Shark peg boys, what? Anyway, uh, how are you, uh, Fumaku? Am I saying that? Am I saying your name right? Anyone you notice? Congratulations, Sammy. Thank you, Razor. <clears throat> I need to t tune my bitrate up too. Dang, I need to do that. Sony, remind me before I forget that eventually. Peg? Frederick, honey, I make pegging jokes like every five minutes. Hmm? Well posed, Gigi. Well posed. I dare say you potentially be an exemplary inspector someday. Hello, Hildebrand. Right, that's enough by that. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Supreme Sacred Tribunal, the Hellenic Inquisitorian Doctrine, I hereby command that you start an amendment for inspection of heretical origin and link to my custody. Well, hello there, Sayhammer. An Inquisitor, sire? Uh, ye ever the jester. Accusing poor Gigi of being a clockwork heretic, tis plain to see is merely a precious young lad. Write those bits up. Thank you, Zaram, for the videos. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hank Hill's wife. Hank Hill's wife. Hi, David. Oh, there you go again, confusing the poor girl. As if those big, beautiful, boxy eyes aren't the soul of femininity. <laughs> I like how they can't, like, they're both, like, I like how they're disagreeing with the gender of the Gigi. This is great. I'm like, Gigi, this is great. 
Nobody expects the Ishgardian Inquisition. Nobody. I feel like they're fairly obvious. <laughs> um. Nashu, please. Were you not to witness the magnificent display of Mandarin masculinity mere moments ago? That's because you haven't taught her any better. She needs a proper role model to show her what's what. gonna be good. This is gonna be so good. The Shredder Inquisition tries to inquisition on everything, right? Mistress Eris? Inspector Cry? What's all this commotion? We could hear you from the courtyard. Oh! Oh! You! Hi! Wrong voice! Um... Uh, whoops! This would be a hilarious outfit on a row boy. Oh, for sure. Uh, oh, Lord Edmund, my sincerest apologies and the disturbances. I am come to see the man on behalf of the Inquisition, in fact, which I clearly explained to the inspector before you arrived. Papa Fortan's elf daddy. I love my elf daddy. At which point they said about bickering about the contraption's gender. What say you, my lord? Do you think Gigi is a boy or a girl? <laughs> Tis clearly a strapping young lad, No. Fairy, take me not you too. Has this whole world gone mad? Howdy, how's Hildy? No, no, Elf Daddy's another person. <laughs> oh, Oranger. I, I agree. I agree. Fine, fine. But even I suppose if Gigi is a real boy, you cannot deny the circumstances that his discovery and miraculous resuscitation, the most unusual. He had be suffered to roam the city with impunity until the Inquisition has determined he is not a threat. Everyone expects the Ishgardian Inquisition. They kind of, they're kind of sick of it at this point, to be honest, right? Another patch done for me. Did you just do 5.5, uh, Famaku? I beg your pardon. Miraculous resuscitation. Hi, Blue. How are you? How's it gone? Nope, 2.4. Oh, nice. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Um, that's fine. Yeah. Did you, did you uh, meet my wife? Did you meet my wife? Um, I don't care about spoilers. Okay, thank God. I was gonna say like I we like this Hildebrand quest not really a spoiler, but like after it, big spoils. That's why I was like, oh shit. Okay. Um, but did you meet my wife yet? I'm pretty sure you meet her in 2.4. What's up? I'm there. I've forgotten everything. That's fair. 2.4 is definitely an oh no. Max, shh. Hi, Kai. How are you? Your wife? My wife? Be beefy wife. My big beefy wife. I need a... I need a name. Moonbrida. Pretty sure you meet her in 2.4. It's my favorite patch for a reason. That sounds familiar. Acquire new hairstyles. Puggers. If I care about spoilers, I would not be able to watch Will. True, Zaram, true. Mm -hmm. And Nice Seeker. Uh, but yeah, Moonbrida is actually my wife. You'll need to share with Uri. Nah, nah, nah. They're siblings. We've talked about this. We've talked about this. They got big sibling energy. Moonbrida has big dating me and is married to me energy. Married to a lot of beautiful people, being herself a beautiful people. Exactly. You cannot stop me from romancing every character I see. You literally cannot stop me. See, then there's such a time that Gigi recovers his memory may hap. It would be best if you adopted him with the house of the what? Uh, as a ward of the house Manderville. I will ever stand as a witness here now if you wish. <laughs> Nash, you sleeping. Uh, uh, adopt? Would that make me Gigi's father? Doubtless the Inquisition would think better of taking any action which might threaten the cordial relationship between our two houses. <laughs> Edmund's like, hey, fuck the Inquisition, though. Yes, yes, of course, I'll do it. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, do hereby grant this child patronage to the house of Manderville. Uh, yeah, Fumaku, have fun doing Ifrit Gruda and Titan on hard. Uh, those are fun. I like those a lot. Though I prefer, I like hard content. 
Only the writers can stop you. Not even them, Zero. I'll date everybody if I have to. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, Papa Hildy, Papa Hildy. Beep boop. Teddy's finally become a father. It, it's so beautiful. Quite. Um, uh, now that you no longer need the fear of the Inquisition, you are free to do show more of Gigi our fair city. Indeed, I strongly encourage you to do so, mayhap by the grace of the fury, something will jog his memory. Thank you, Lord Edmund. We shall not forget, forget this kindness. Come, my faithful assistant, to my beloved son. We must away. But -na -na, the musical cue plays. And then they away. I probably will eventually, Kiki, yeah. Oh, Helen, this would not presume the question your grand design, but gah, confound it all. Oh, Helen. Oh, wait, a uh, mate. Well, mayhap I can I detain the man, but I'm still within my rights to observe the blasted thing. Never mind. Yep. Don't spoil anything. Ah, oh, Papa Edmund. Lord Godbert will ever be pleased to hear that his son is hale and healthy as ever. I thought I would ever presume to meddle on behalf of another father's behalf. And certainly not without consent. Yeah, because yeah, I, I forget Edmund is like buddies with Godbert. Like they're legitimately friends. Also, Sal, Sal, I'm sorry, but I have a crafting request for you. Converts Rusty into, into smiles. Alakabile, you are now made of smile. Ooh. All right. Sal, I, I hear you can get, hi, Cleric, how are you? I hear you can get shark stuff, like there's like new shark furniture or something um, from the patch, and I would like some. You want to wind up throwing cred, don't you? I have a wind up throwing cred. Do you need a bigger pegging pole? It's it's called a strap, Sal. It's called a strap. <laughs> Good, how about you? I'm doing great, Cleric. How are you? Um... Welcome back, and yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm glad that we gave Fred, uh, Frederick a new fetish. I hope that's good. There's already a shark in our sea house bed. <gasps> there is? What? Cor, look at all them halberds. I've never seen such well-armed building before. Yeah, that building is pretty well-armed, I agree. Got a bunch of halberds. I didn't know dragoons used straps, Sammy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you meant a lance. Uh, as I stand here around waiting for the moment to do something possibly heretical. Oh yeah, this guy's like, I'm basically evil, dude. Judging by the size of the estate, they're well to arrive House Mandeville. Hmm? We're like, wind down, Thancred. God. Hmm. Come now, Gigi. Surely gazing upon this wondrous work of Ishgardian architecture stirs something within your soul. This grand manor, a house of Duron... A house Duron... Meltemp Sparter. <laughs> Pretty not fill the boy or the mammoth's head with such nonsense. That is the supreme sacred tribunal held in inquis uh, inquisitory doctrine. I should know I work there. Furthermore, I'm quite certain to you that there is no house Durenda Meldstil Departer, and that is a ludicrous pom uh, pomon two of the four houses, including the esteemed house, but which recently stood witness to your abduction. Well, Gigi, do you remember anything? Beep boop. No, nothing. Beep boop. It's a rather Parsian lits before the grandioso. Why not give the taste of something more prosaic? Let us make our way to the holy stables and we might back to the singular sounds and smell of Ishgard's famous chocobos. And they go away. Bye. Please don't talk to me, sir. I just don't want to talk to you. Okay, thank you. Thancred? Uh, let me try to remember back there, Fumaku. I believe um, Thancred gives you the quest, but I think you have to talk to Orangier first. And then that, like, activates the quest line that you get from Thancred, Yastola, and Papalimo, respectively, I think. Does that sound right, y'all? Does that, does that sound right? I 
think that's right. Oh, that's a mal pal. Nice. We love a mal pal. I think that's right. God. I'm Batman. All right. <laughs> so I wonder if... So if I wanted my hair that color, I'd have to eat plums, valve fruits, and pineapples? But how many? Vegetable creatures, chocobos. How my Helionic Hel days did pass in the saddle, racing across the windswept plains. Hillebrand can ride a chocobo very well, apparently. Patience, patience, I watched Heretic Never Sins. Uh, yeah, Zerum, I have one of those, actually. Good at riding? Noted. I mean, doesn't this man look like a peggable pal? Doesn't he? JK, him, and Nash, you are in a committed relationship. They're, they're, they're literally mom and daddy and uh, Gigi right now. Like, clearly. Like, Nash, you just like... I know she seems kind of dumb, right? She seems kind of like a bimbo. But nah, she's the smartest person here because she locked down this gentle himbo right here. She locked she locked him down, right? Um, like, she locked him down. So she's really the smartest person in this entire game, right? So you like, nah, she looks at Hildy, right? Mm -mm, you just did. Puckers. We all want a Nash to in our lives. True. Are you the Hildebrand's mom is the smartest? True. But I love Nash. She's great. Mm hmm. Beep boop. Splitted specimens of horse bird fish. Horse bird flesh. Would you not agree? In the hands of skilled jockeys, anyone of them could take first prize in the saucer. The Shoko was the pride of his guardian cavalry in the Temple Knight, who dare exploit them for personal gain would answer to the Fury herself. But how about now, Giggy? Do you remember anything about Ishgard? Be sure to sniff the chocobos, it might help. Milf energy? I'd argue Hillebrand's mom is the smartest because she locked down Godbert. True. True. That is true. And she locked down Godbert not only by being an excellent cook, but also being tougher than Godbert. Honestly. Sniff, sniff. It did it. Beep boop. Hmm. Thinking time. And just because you found him at the Corinthian Stobic doesn't mean he hails from Ishgard. When failure for the hard trials? Oh, I'm sorry, Fumaku. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done them. I knew you had to get them. I knew you had to get them from somewhere. I think you get the extreme trials from Urangier. Urangier? Uran Urangier? However you pronounce his name? Gobber is definitely the bottom of the relationship. Oh, absolutely. Uh, What's her name? Ajay? Ajilla? No, Jillian? Jillian. Jillian. She definitely pegs Godbert for sure. We're trying out to take, making, uh, take it to the markets and expose him to all manners of goods across the Are yours your excellent suggestion, Inquisitor? And they leave. Wait, now I'm complicit in this farce. Uh, Fury, forgive me. I'm like, yep, you are complicit. Bye. Just call him Yuri and be done with it. Uri, I'll call him Uri. How about that? But I want one, I want one. Buy me a chocobo, please, father. Oh no, please, father, buy me a chocobo. I'm a spoiled sprat with blue hair. Urianje, Urianje. Oh, that strange-looking thing is staring at us. 
Or he sounds like that Geller guy, right? Because Ariandre's like, Hark thee and hear my words. I have spoken of not too long ago to the person that I have decided of which to order the delicacy that all have decreed as the carbon-based bread form of carbs pizza not too long ago ere past we look forward into the future nay a mere 20 minutes past the 11th hour shall we expect said requisition and delivery and then Thancred looks at Uri and is like so you ordered the pizza right <laughs> and Uri's like yes <laughs> Clap. How dare you, Sammy? That was good! That was good, though! Right? That was good! <laughs> hey, I'm proud of myself for that one, because it made sense in Uri speak. That made sense in Uri speak. I said, like, I said that right. Mm -hmm. Also, hi, Rose. How's it going? Swoon. I told you do this to my boy, true? I was good, but my brain still hurts. For four, four hours straight? Yeah, AZ! Isn't it terrible? <laughs> anyway, I hope you're doing okay. Am I that strange looking? Poor little robot. Roger speaks, everyone else dial up noises. Just. <laughs> Honestly. Roger just like says things that everyone else around him is like, the fuck, dude? It helps that I'm pretty sure Mon Brita specifically makes fun of him for that. Which is great. I love her. We love a Mon Brita. Hi, that's Hildebrand. Hell yeah, Paige. How are you? Also, Paige, do you like my outfit? This is my like, this is my ish guardian clothes. Do you see what I have? Excuse me, do you see what I have? I also have the earrings. They're kind of hard to see, though. Yeah, also, guys, Lucky Bun was our raid captain yesterday, and you should follow Lucky Bun. Lucky doesn't play good games like I do, though. Lucky only plays garbage games, but they're, you know, pretty entertaining to watch. <laughs> pretty great. It's so good. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Ba -da -ba -ba. Bounce. And a bounce. You know, okay, lead the right, I guess. You did great. <laughs> Don't even say that, Sal, you dweeb. Paige was a fucking all star in that raid. Literally, like, like, Sal, you are a good raid dad. I agree. But have you ever had a raid bun? Because, like, Paige is literally a fucking god at like explaining content and doing it quickly and making call outs like oh my god and healing the whole time god healing breaks my brain but Paige is like oh you need some healing done so easy Lucky also plays FF14 yeah but Lucky doesn't stream it which is what I was saying wait a bun that raids your village oh well I just want those not 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 one of those stinky banuies, but a good banuie. A little stinky. Just like a little stinky. <laughs> nah, we love Paige. Only explain the critical stuff, letting you smash your face in the rest. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's like the best, too. It's like, Paige is like, yeah, you can figure this mechanic out. And then I can, and then I do, and I feel smart. It's great. It's so good. I have packed one of my eyes closed and give it to my name day gift for myself. Oh, I wonder what. Uh, oh, I wonder what I get me. <laughs> Nashu, I love you. Oh my god. And did she say as a name day gift? Kind of like. As if my name days came all at once. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, slop. I. Uh, I'm gonna focus all my attention on what I'm doing. I can't imagine doing callouts as well. Yes, yeah, Steffi, I cannot heal and multi-attack. It breaks my brain. I can do my Black Mage Rotos, though, and apparently that's really hard. Sammy. Sorry, but name days? All at once! 
Um, anyway, you received your orders to take the heretic, meet your quota, fairy take my used to... Do the Inquisitors have a quota system? That's so fucked up. God, I'm so glad we disbanded the Inquisition. Holy shit, dude. Frightening on occasion, I grant you, but with my mentor's little episodes, but nonetheless. That's awful. Kinda like, kinda sounds like, oh God, what does that remind me of? God, what does that remind me of? Hmm. These goods are such a high price in Udal. Imbo. The cops? <laughs> right. That's rough. Reminds me of something. Yeah, it just kind of reminds me of something, right? Some DPS drops and they fail mechanics. That's not a problem, though. God. Why bother? It's no use. Beep boop, sad boop. Now, now, Gigi. <laughs> now she would. You can't see her, but she's like right here. She's like right at the, like his arm, and she's like looking up again. If I despair so easily after that, I promise you days will be filled with grand adventures and eventual discovery of your misled memories. Spirits, Gigi, spirits. The Gunbreakers? The Gunbreakers DOT? Is that what you mean? Uh oh. <laughs> my word, a face flight to the. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> my word, a face flung to the ground with reckless abandon. Could this be the opening salvo of an indiscriminate campaign of vandalism? He's like, geez, what happened? <laughs> ah! God, I love Hildy. Uh, highlight. One waged by your wild gesticulations, perhaps. At least look before you strike a pose. Oh, the gods only know how much that face cost. One hundred and twenty-three million five hundred four thousand gil. What? At last assessment was over 700 years old, graced the homes of a dozen archbishops, eight counts, two lords of commanders, and one duke. 100 million gil- 100 million- Okay. Um. Oh, hello, and why have you forsaken me? Would you look at that? We're all like, what the fuck? What just happened? God. Someone say insurance fraud? <laughs> Hell, he's holding himself, God. Probably buy a large house with that, right? Time age, apparently, right? Old school FF's casting effect. Nice. It's a miracle. Nay, a divine intervention of the Fury herself. D did I do that? Beep boop. Gigi, my boy, that was marvelous. You're a born artesian, just like father. Papa Hildy's papa. Your grandpapa, Godbert, the man who you woke with a few gentle taps of the noggin. You wouldn't believe what else you could do with that hammer of his. By some folks, he wields the very powers of life and death. Because he does. See the missus come back from their tour of the Western Highlands. I'm sure they'll love to see that trick of yours. Not to be in this mammoth's power of a mere parlor trick. We just have witnessed a miracle and demand that you acknowledge it. This mammoth. Beepoo. Sir. Uh, I say 100 million gil for the mammoth. Nay, 100 million gil and the Duke's priceless face. My word, this is this is what passes for trade in Ishgard. Gigi's by flesh and blood. I will not sell them at any price. Please, Papa Hildy, no more. I know you mean well, but we cannot deny the truth no longer. I am a mammoth. 
Kiki, whatever has gotten into you, you're my son. You are a Manderville man. Listen to your papa, Kiki. You're a Manderville girl, through and through. <laughs> There's still this disagreement on the gender. Oh, this is great. Stop it, both of you. You're not my papa or my mama. <laughs> no, he's gonna go be angsty. Wait, is this some fucking found family trope bullshit? I certainly hope it is. Oh god, I hope it is. Oh, let's only be expected Gigi's at a rebellious age. Stranger may sound too. I tested my parents' patience and on more than one occasion, but if they would weather the storm, then so can I. I say you found out what's got him thinking he's a mammoth. But he is a mammoth. How can you two not know? Oh, never mind. Actually, let me decline this because I want to. Oh, children do see the most hurtful things. Uh, unmistakable scent of, uh, well, not heresy exactly. Regardless, the mammoth's power is be can let it fall into the wrong hands. He's an angsty teenager now. Also, I love that it just, like, said, like, you're not my papa, you're not my mama. Like, Nash, you and Hill, like, that's literally, literally just being like, yeah, they're in a relationship. Or, like, I think it kind of implies that, which is good. Because, like, Nash, you's got such a good himbo. We love a good himbo, you know? Like, who doesn't, who doesn't just love that good himbo vibe? I'm sure he didn't mean what he said about his Papa Hildy, which means <gasps> he thinks I'm his mama? Yeah. Is that himbo brand? Yeah. Just so we're clear, you do agree that it's a mammoth, right? You don't honestly believe that, you know. The measure of a mammoth, Hildebrand knows his heart loves... His heart and that love transcends the dimensions of time and space definitions of man and machine. Manderville. The course of fatherhood did run smooth, but I, Hildebrand, guardian of Gigi, doing a parent extraordinaire, doting a parent extraordinaire, shall find a way to overcome this trial and rec be reconciled with my beloved son. That's the spirit solving a simple case of childhood rebellion. It should be easy for the man who's unmasked thieves, defeated duelists, and led armies of the undead. Yeah, so I was, well, that's all very... Wait, what was that about the undead? Actually, don't tell me. For now, all that matters is fighting the mammoth. We should begin by speeding the sentries outside the city gates and the airship landing. If Fury help us, he has left Ishgard. We need to know about it sooner rather than later. I'll visit the Ark of the Worthy while the inspector and the assistant head to the airship landing. Do the question of the guard at the gate near the manufactory, after which we will regroup and share findings. Dismissed. Bye, angry inquisitor guy. My guy just kind of needs to get laid, I think, you know? He just kind of has those vibes. Ba -da, ba -ba -ba. Oh, what was I going to say to? Oh, um, I really hope this becomes like a found family trope thing where like Hildy and him become like found family or something. Like Hildy, Nashu, and like Gigi all are like, or all that. I think that'd be really cute. We have a lot less jerks in the world that they have just... Ow! Ah! Pain! Oh, it's okay to fight! Another bruise. Oh, it was the same bruise. Sometimes a family is a cat girl, a himbo, and their child of indeterminate gender. <laughs> and their robot genderless child. True. God. Y'all ever just break your bones? I'm sorry, I forgot there was a dungeon right here, lol. Oh, wait, I gotta go talk to this guy. What's up, dude? What's up? Tell me your secrets, my guy. Genderless robot child, beep boop. Little fellow with wide-brimmed hat. Aye, he came through here. Brought passage on the supply ship uh, for Falcon's Nest. One of the, what's the name, Lava Fells, right? Funny little buggers. Seem be keen to be anywhere but here.
Sumi in pain. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. Ryuki left the city. It was not by mere, by the main gates. Centuries of the airship landing have not seen no one matching his description. Felka's zest, fury, take me. We must return to the freezing pit of despair. Ever so geeky goes, I will follow him and find him in the embrace of my son once more. However, I surmise our final destination lies far beyond the wall. Walls of what's said outpost indeed, but there's one reason he would return to the frozen wastes. To frolic in the snow and cast worries to the winds. Ho ho ho. Really, he seemed no no new to but no mood to frolic when I last saw him. As I recall, he uses arcane powers to mend a vase only become more roasted belligerent when he came clear that he was, in fact, a mammoth. One might even say he remembered that he was, remembered his purpose, so he returned to the Western Corthus, famous breeding ground for heresy, when we first found him. One of his heretic masters to share with them the intelligence he had gathered in the city. <laughs> At a long last, the undeniable, unquestionable, unmistakable scent of heresy. <laughs> that's, that's how that guy sniffs, right? What are we standing around for? We have a heretic to catch. Inspector, I'm starting to think Inquisitor Simon up. You think very highly of our little girl. It is possible, but I would presume to know his feelings ere his, he voiced them explicitly. Till he, he does so at such a time, we shall never to seratupidously ser, tip, tip, bring him to round his opinion that Gigi is a boy of pure out of good intent, subtlety of all things, dash you. That is the Manderville way. Sammy, what does that sound and how much will it cost to stop it? Uh, a million dollars. Just give me a bunch of money and then I'll stop for now. Bye bye silence, permanently. Oh, you can wave inside your tank, that's adorable. You're so cute, did you know that? Oh my god, you have a gun. Thank you for not shooting me with it. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh, all right. I'll leave it to... Oh my god. <laughs> Your adorable seeker. A little intimidating, but like in a good way. That's gonna do special animations. Yeah, uh, for example, um, I have this unlocked. I have a map that has special animations, right? By your silence, eh? Huh, I can't open my mount guide. Ah, that must be a bug or something. I can't open my mouth. Huh. Hi, Rose. It's about some special things that they do. Yeah. Also, thank you, Sal. I can be bribed. You are correct. Let me see if I can just get it through, like, doing random mount roulettes. Aha! I did. Uh. Yeah. I can. I can, do, like, shoot and stuff. And, like, do that. It's kind of neat. Hey, thanks for the video, Sal. I appreciate it. Petition for one million donos so Sammy never makes that noise again. Hey, I'm okay with that. If I got a million dollars, I would be happy to not ever do that again. I'd be very pleased. Also, my... Is it new that my inventory bars... Like, the, the color blue seems different to me. Not gonna lie. Can we pay you to talk more? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I would know those tiny footprints anywhere. Geeky came this way. UI update. All right. Yeah, it seems it seems just a bit crisper, which is good. I like that. I like that. Just a bit crisper. It seems a bit more distinct. Ah, uh, even her footprints are adorable. They almost look that like they were made by one of those clockwork minions. Talk more, you say? <laughs> nice. 
You know what we need to do? We need to get the Sloppe soundbite, and we need to make that a 69-bit redemption. That would be good. That's what we need to do. Is this Hacks during Praetorium? Nope. Uh, you can do those with a minion, but you do have to do a quest to unlock them. I know it. The name inevitably came to the outpost to look for a lurks along the river by the river by the fury. I can't wait to finally catch him in the company of heretics. I don't like your tone, Inquisitor. If our baby girl ran afoul of heretics, she'd look them square in the eye and tell them that she doesn't want any. <laughs> it's very sloppy. I forgot about that. I'm on it now. Oh, thank you, Kiki. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Send me, please. Too late. I much like your tone. Hey, Inspector, I think we had one of those moments, you know, of insight. Maybe Gigi came here to look for Lord Godbert. I did tell her her grandpapa might like to see that trick of hers. Brilliant deduction, Ashu. He must be eager to meet his grandparents. Some same ones who announced that he renounced when he declared that you were not his father. Yeah. Ah, what a fine young gentleman eager to explore his heritage. Let us make haste, my friends. Back to reunion with the three generations of Manderville's beckons. Beckons. It re I really can't be bothered. Yes, please, please, Sammy. We get a second one to cheer at 16 bits. Do you get sloppy seconds? Yes. I'll definitely give more cheers. Dope. The tracks continue to the north. Wow, I feel like a real investigator. I hate this lull. Ooh, ooh. Maddie's like, wow, this is awful. I hate it. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> that was a bit below the belt. Right, pow, the kisser. Did she just hit him in the nards? Oh my god, this is great. You have to do better than that. This is great. <laughs> I love them. I I love them. They're this is like Honestly, this is goals. Like, this is goals. If you have a partner who won't just get in a snowball fight with you, this is great. Like, come on. How dare he wear clothes? Nah, he doesn't have pants on. It's fine. See, he's not wearing pants. <laughs> what if no snow? Yeah, I think the assumption is they accidentally murdered some deer in the process of this. It'd be like that. Realize motion of the snow fragments. I stuck to his cap, suggested the moment. An impact is still small around traveling at a high speed. Aid Gigi, accidentally. That's what all partnerships should like, aspire to be, for sure. Ugh, my head, who? Oh, it's you, you followed me. Oh, Gigi, if you wanted to have a snowball fight with your grandparents, you should have just said so earlier. Papa Hildy was very worried, though he was glad to see that you were unharmed. <clears throat> it seems he was struck by a snowball, much like these Steinbucks and these dead Steinbucks. Are you sure he's undamaged? A mere blow of his head could fell Gigi. We Mandevilles are made of sterner stuff. I myself have been driven headfirst to the earth no, on no fewer than two dozen occasions. Several times from mom's above, and my mind is no less brilliant for the experience. How to create a himbo, pile drive him into the earth. Mandervilles are basically invincible, not gonna lie. I expect the earth to no less <laughs> Oh my god, he's just squatting next to him! Ah! Godbert's like, nothing personal, kid. Squat. Oh my god, I expect there's no less brilliant than the experience or- Hey, you! Are you nodding? Oh, they're all- they're both watching him! 
Go up and down. This is great. God, I fucking love Hildebrand. Why are you naughty? Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? What good fortune to cross paths with you from so long lost of a civilization. Forgive me for not noticing earlier, I was engrossed in my duel with Julian. But how rude of me. Would you care to join us? Grandpapa Godbert. Grandpapa Godbert. Mama Nashu says you wield the powers of life and death. I beg you, Grandpapa Godbert, grant me a life. Make me a real boy. Uh, 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 uh. Huh. That's what's going on. I also love that Godbert and Julian are wearing matching coats. Like, they have matching coats on. It's cute. Are you sure about this, son? It may sting a little. I will endure whatever I must to become a real boy. God, he's so terrifying and naked. Good lord, I was joking. Hi, Notorious. How are you? Then let us begin. <gasps> Body is everything I ever wanted. It's perfect. Thank you, Grandpapa Gobert. Thank you. So that wasn't even a joke. Godbert can just make Pete. Godbert has the powers of life and death. Holy shit. Uh, 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 I, I, uh, okay, all right, my guy, all right, all right, cool, cool, good to know, great, love it. We're on the scold of a scene? Hell yeah, Mike, love it. Hi, Raven. I'm gonna be good to begin by Gret, guide my hammer. Fun Nashi around. Oh, she's dizzy. You can make you a dream husband. Oh, that'd be great. Was that a himboification? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> That's literally himboification. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Godbert's like, I will himbofy you. Oh my god! What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Imagine being a trans guy getting hit before by Godbert. Ooh. I gotta tell Tegan. Oh my god. Um, I changed my mind. That's the superpower I want. I want the powers of himboification. Is this how he made his son? <laughs> Would you like to move the text field? Wait, you write... Papa Hildy, I am a Manderville man. Ah, shit. Dang it. Oh, dang it. I messed it up. Hi, Cypher. Hi, Lateros. Thank you. Behind me, Granddaddy Gobbert. Kiki, my son, come to your father. Let me have a look at you. Aw, oh, this is so cute. He's so big. Papa Hildy. Gigi. Ash, are you gonna sneeze again? Uh. 
This is so cute! Did he just limit break? Why are we breaking his jaw? <laughs> that poor himbo. Oh my god, this is great though. The RKO out of nowhere! It's Gigi with the steel chair! I guess you're right, this is how the Maynardvilles ex express love, true? My god, he broke him in half! <laughs> He's doing the dance! <laughs> Now that brings back some memories. Papa Hildy, oh dear, who could have done such a thing? Oh my god, he literally got himbo. He's literally been himbo fied. He's literally been himbo fied. Holy shit, dude. <gasps> the fear just the vase all over again, miraculously restored to its original form. Time mammoth. That is quite the angle to have Gigi's hat at right now. Godbert literally looks naked. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> Gigi, my boy, upon further consideration, I believe this body may suit you best. It's, uh, how, how should I put it, more manageable. Hi, Joss. It's all about the good camera angles. It is, Joss. How are you, buddy? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're doing camera angles, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is so intentional. This is absolutely intentional. Hmm? And and much more adorable. Doing good, hope you're well. I'm doing great. But how can I ever be accepted as your son if I remain a mammoth? Is that what's been troubling you all this time? Why didn't you say so? All right, let's go. A mandeville is more than mere flesh and bone. He is vigor, compassion, honor, a gentleman for all seasons. Be you man or machine, it makes no difference. If they call you a mammoth, you look them in the eye and say, nay, I am a mandeville mammoth. We love that smile. Mammoth Derville? Mother, father, forgive me for not consulting with you earlier, but circumstances are forced by hand. I have formally adopted Gigi as my son and ward of House Manderville. Ye gods, I knew he was fond of the mammoth, but did you hear that, woman? Our son's gone mad with her and got himself a son. Grandpapa Gobbert, Grandpapa Gobbert. It all makes sense now, Grandpapa Garbert, Grandmama Julian. I've been waiting years to hear those words. Grandpapa Garbert, Grandmama Julian. Aw, that's so cute. Few things in life are grander than becoming a grandparent, as they say. Ha ha ha. Oh, they chuckle. What's Julian gonna go do? Uh oh. They're in trouble, aren't they? Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! <laughs> Child! Ah! <laughs> A 
And what's so bloody grand about it? Oh my god! It's Julie. It's the Julian Reigns Savage! Oh my god! Holy shit! Culinary and Limit Break! Let's go! <laughs> I'm so scared! <laughs> Julian does a primal all this time. Makes sense. <laughs> and then we're just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not being made grandmother to a bloody buggy man. It's a past time I beat some sense to my beloved boy. Take me. I heard the tales of dark nights before. Oh my god! Is she canonically a dark knight? Yo! Dude, what the fuck? Cause it's like the it's like the frying pan is the Oh my god! Dark culinarian! Yes! As I can still lead far worse, heretical like as not, but rules be damned, do not risk my life to find out. <sighs> oh, holy shit, dude. She just, oh my god. She's a lady, Manderville, she transcends classes. Yeah, I get the impression Julia does not want to be a grandma yet. She does seem fairly young, too, so I'm wondering if she doesn't want to be, think of herself as old yet, right? Why well, think? Huh? What you mean, Zan? They're mad, utterly mad. The whole damn lot of them, how their house could rise to such prominence, I will never understand. Well, at least the baby seems to have overcome its existential crisis. Well, before today, I didn't know a member could even have an existential crisis. Yeah, I think. Oh, yes. What I'm saying, it's a baby. Why should I claim to care what uh, what it claims or th uh, to think or feel? If you're taking me the idiocy and it's infectious, I must allow myself to fall prey to it. Full procedure, report to your superior one step at a time, one step at a time. Ugh. Was better not be inquisitors, I'll beat them up. She's at least 40s. Oh yeah, for sure. She's definitely older than she looks, but probably still not that old, so she doesn't want to think of herself like a grandma yet. Cause like, I don't know, if I'll be honest, measure of a moment, speak with Sire at the Foundation. If I'll be honest, I don't think Godbert even looks that old. I mean, he's got, like, white hair, but, like, how many characters do we see in this game that have white hair? Like, that's that ridiculous to, like, parse, right? What's wrong with being a grandma? Of course not. She just doesn't want to be one yet. My spirits have been informed the mammoth's adoption to House Vanderville. Witnesses House Fortons proceeded to take me to the take... Task me for gross mishandling of the situation. I've been convinced that the Mammoth is produce of her heretical manunexion. Machinations have commanded me to redouble my efforts to prove this an immeasurable fact. They have made proof problematic, however, as Geeky seems to have forsaken his quest to recover his memories. A third himself wholly into a new life as a Manderville Mammoth, casting any hint of a, long, uh, of a case alongside his doting father. I was like, this is called Measure of a Mammoth. In any event, I had to do my sh uh, superior's conviction. I think it's safe to say there's something exceedingly unusual about the moment. You saw him with his own eyes and effortlessly it restored the vase in itself to its original form. Reconstruction magics are not particularly rare, but his are unlike any I've ever seen before. Age 30 onwards? Yep. Ah, is this the end of an episode? It is. Right. Hail the brand Manderville. 
Now shoo Mc uh Gobbert. Oh my god. Edmund! Jillian! Uh, she's so cute. A, a, a vase? Huh. Alright, well I guess that's one episode down. We did it, vendor lady. Hi, Flamey. See you, space cowboy. You're gonna carry that weight. Alrighty. Well, um... Dope. Uh, I guess to the main story now. Well, that is gonna be some long-ass teleportation, I tell you what. <laughs> it's fun to see non-spoiler FF14 streams. Yup! But everybody and their mom right now is probably watching uh, the spoils streams and playing the spoils. Which is fair. Uh, totally expect that, actually. Where's my, where's my outfit? Ah, there it is. You know what, I kind of like that, yeah. That's patch day for you. Yep. Totally expected. Got that out of the way before any streams. Valid Seeker. Gotta do that myself day one. First. Yeah. Mm. One patch in a few raids. Well, how was day one? Or not, was day one? True. What was I gonna do? Uh, main. Oh, I need to change my stream title. Wait. There we go. Actually, let's say time. Do my old so they have the rainmaker hairstyle. Ah, there you go. I need to go nab it from um from the golden saucer. Is one million, right? Oh, also, just a heads up. Spoilers, huge spoilers right now. Big spoils if you haven't done Stormblood. If you have done Sp Stormblood, you're fine. Most of you probably had, so it's fine. Um, but big spoilers, so spoils, so you know. These are Stormblood spoilers. Uh, be aware of them. Alright. Uh, hi, Lies. Liss? Liss? Lies? Liss? 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 Oh, God. I'm getting confused with the character's name now. How are you, hun? And that is fair, Rose. That is fair. Don't worry. No F5.5 spoilers here. Stormblood is the trauma expansion. Nobunaga. Liss. Thank you. God, I saw I saw her name, but then it was like Lice, Lis, Liss, Lacey, Liss, fuck. I got like, uh, I got in my brain about that. Mm -hmm. Where was DC Wise Balboa again? Crystal, flaming crystal. We need to have the opportunity to study swordsmanship of a master, much less spar with him. Night. Love you, Maddie. Was for not for not, our friend Sexy Gumi is willing to consider the investment of sorts a payment against future misunderstandings. So goblin alt for me. Yeah, if you want. Unless you want to make your alt be a part of our free company, and then you can just make it a Malboro. 
To be honest, I wish I'd seen the fight. Hi, Alizé. So I think I've heard everything. Once more to the Ruby Sea. For who's just uh, defeated ten samurai in a row, Kasetsu looks rather sheepish. I must apologize that you do such trials and tribulations in search of me. If there's any need for that, you had no way of knowing we would come looking for you. We're a pretty important streamer alt com company on Goblin. Aye. Uh, you were to take a ship uh, to Doma, yes? It just so happens when we have found a willing captain. Truly, what fortune. We'll tell you when you're back at the Crane Company office. Alpha and Tadaro are waiting for us there. Shame you can't recruit from Crowell. Nope. Because we don't do that. I mean, by that I mean we can't. It's world exclusive. Which kind of makes sense that you can't, like, have cross-server companies. But, I don't know, it'd be kind of nice if you could have it, like, data center-wide, but there's probably, like, an issue with, like, server space. Oh, this place is so pretty, not gonna lie. You can have cross-world guilds in WoW. Yeah, but, like, WoW's bad, though, so, like, you know... They were talking about making it possible. That'd be kind of fun. Do you see why it would be nice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to watch others trying to trying to be the first to ruin 5.5. You're here. Can't wait. Can't watch others try to be the first to ruin 5.5. True. True. Um. Oh. Oh. I'm not. I'm not in the place I want to be. All right. Okay. I'm over here. Um. Uh, yeah. No problem. This. I gotcha, hun. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, international. Oh, yeah. I can see it happening in, in data centers, but I wouldn't think more than that. Gosetsu and the 12. Uh, I think the 12 you unharmed. As you can see, Master Elfonod, I'm the very picture of health. The catfish. You vile fiend, malevolent trickster. How kind the Kami to grant me vengeance so soon, but first I demand you return the coin you so villainous, villainously, villainously embezzled from me. Every right to be angry, good sir. Gladly, I would return to your coin. I not been forced to repay certain gambling debts before he end. Oh, no, wait, he's Danny DeVito. That's right. He's got the Danny DeVito voice. Saying what matter aside for the moment, where is Lady Aguri? Was she not traveling with you? For time, I, but we parted away some while ago to better improve the chances of finding Lord, uh... I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. All right, uh, all right, first try. Uh, Hen? Hein? Hein? Maybe? Hein? Hein? Hain? Hain? Hain, maybe? Hain? Hain? <laughs> Fuck. God. He en? Heen? 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 Lord Heen? He en? He en? He en? He en? He en? He yen, he yen. He yen, he yen, he yen. Is that he yen? Okay. Oh my god. I, <laughs> your master, got to explain. Uh, Lord Hian, Hian is uh, heir to the Doma's throne and our master. It was a passionate voice that led the cause for Doman liberation, and when he learned the Emperor's death, it only grew louder. It doesn't matter if I hear it, Misfit. I have to see it pronounced.
So you seized upon the opportunity and rose to reclaim your freedom. Gotcha, forgot my bad. Yep. Vocals do not help me. So you seized the opportunity and rose to reclaim your freedom. Only, uh... For your hopes to be dashed when Xenos led his army onto your lands. Crown Prince was merciless foe. Against him and the might of the... Twelfth, we had no chance. Lord Hian uh, understood this. He bade Yaguri to take to the sea with as many of her people as possible. He however would stand and fight, and they might have more time to and that they might have more time to escape. Mm -hmm. Hack your voice. He's N. Nice, Oni. How are you, Oni? How's it going? Finnish and Japanese have a lot of German simulator using spoken language. I actually think they're distantly related in language family. Like, they're not from the same language family, but I think they're distantly related, actually. Which is, like, super interesting. Like, there's, like, dialects that are, like, somewhat similar. And, like, share some words or something like that. I remember by his side as well, and thought we carried out our doomed war. And then, one day, in a fierce battle, we were separated. I do not know what became of him, only that was beyond the Empire, that he was beyond the Empire's reach. And to find him, I would need your Guri's aid. Mm -hmm. The situation only grows more perilous by the day, and the new Viceroy, uh, Yotsuyo... Oh my god. Yotsuyo? 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 Is a black-hearted villainess who delights in the torment of our people. There's not that she would do to further her pursuit of Lord Hian. Yotsuya? Yotsuya? Mm -hmm. Yotsuya? Yotsuya? Thank you. I believe that makes matters a good deal clearer. Should please you then learn that we have come to the aid of the Dome and Liberation Front, us uh, resuming their efforts to overthrow the Imperial oppressors. I'm going to join you. My inquiries here bore no fruit, and hence my desire to return to Authard. And Sarah can lead you to the headquarters of Yan. Yan Shai? Yan Shai? Yan Shai? Yan Shai? Ah. Where shall be reunited with your Guri. My hap, not all Althanad's talents would be better applied here in Kugane, working closely with Tataru and Hancock to feed us intelligent. Intelligence, there's a Galian embassy just down the road after all. Young Sha? Okay, you guys just said two different things there. That does not help at all. Yang Shi or Yang Sha? Well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I should be glad to come to you all. A soldier in the field, so to speak. Come now, brother. Our contempt commander assigns his soldiers the task best suited them. As you of all people should know, you are very good at espionage and intrigue. For we all must serve each in our own way. Very well, it would see my place. Uh, oh, sorry. For we all must serve in each in our own way. Very well, it would see my place is here. <laughs> Alfie destroyed. You guys are saying three different things, y'all. You know how hard you get like what? Come on, y'all. <laughs> Sarabot is waiting on the pier. Uh have fun you lot. All right, I'm just... No intelligent discussion here allowed? I mean, we're allowed to have intelligent discussion. Just because I struggle to pronounce words doesn't mean that. <laughs> Young Shua, ah, witch! No! Yang Shi. Yang Shi is the easiest. Cool. 
はあ<笑> This is gonna be rough Yeah it is Absolutely I'm just to poke fun at All right. Sometimes I question whether to listen to you guys. Like they use a dictionary. <laughs> oh, I listen to chat. Never listen to chat. Never listen to chat. You right. You right. Question caption, a fine choice. Only Confederate sailors arrive with their knowledge and skill. We're here anyway. No one's this one's smaller than the misery, a lot smaller. Now I can hold his own in a fight, but he's plainly better suited for more cerebral tasks. Surely I'm not alone in thinking that. Waiting to hear you, my friends. All preparations have been completed. Our ship awaits its passengers. Shall we depart without further delay? All right, yeah. Let's go. If you insist with me, everyone, Ruby C awaits. All right. Oh, so that's the Garlean Empire up there. Huh. Interesting, right? We zoom in. in. Hi, Sassy. I remember the water. How it turned crimson in the morning sun. What? A shimmering sea of rubies stretching from horizon to horizon could almost believe it went on forever. But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Ofark, the brothers struggled in vain. What is up with that tower? Oh. Hey, no, he, you right, Iris, you right. The Hingans uh, build this island as a bulwark against invasion, fill it with enough cannons to strike an armada. It will be tied on the enemy foolish enough to attack by sea, and if the Garleans were to bring their airships, on the other hand. Somewhere across the water is your girl and Gosetsu's homeland. Ah. Was that a dragon boy? Hello, how are you? Eyes of Hawk, both a blasting and a curse. On the one hand, I can see everything, but uh, on the other hand, I can see everything. <laughs> Lol, I love him. Favorite already? A white and beautiful she is, the ruby sea filled with promise, adventures, and treasures. Many wonderful treasures. Do I gun? What does that simply cross the ruby sea, as Sorabon knows well? Uh, right. You can see you pegging Sammy. Shh. In order to the shores of Arthur, you need to cross the resplendent waters that you see before you. However, this is easier said than done. 
Set without making necessary preparations to invite confederacy to claim your vessel and your life should you resist. This fate is avoided by paying the ruby tithe, hereby earning you the blessing of the pirate lords. Let's go and greet them, our destination the Isle West. Let's look very far to me, say Hammer. Why don't we jump in and swim for it? I found my boat full of boats. Excellent idea. I think you shall find the water to your liking. It's my ship to deliver those less inclined to the island. Dragon! How many glamours do you have, Zoomy? Oh, uh, you're always on point. I I have many a glamour. Ha! <laughs> you gave me a pizza. I have some bear fat. Fair trade! Fair trade! This is one of my favorite regions of the game. Nice! Bear frost co costs more than pizza. Mmm, bear fat. Mmm, bear fat. Yeah. Oh, seeker. <laughs> nice. Also, I'm going to be swimming. I should equip my... Oh, that's right. I can't. All right. That's fine. But I have all of my glamour slots filled, Zerum. I have so many. I really should put some pants on this outfit, though. This should be an easy, a good way for the loose up for the next fight, whatever comes. 20 Gil says, I beat you there. Oh, you're on, Lice. Lice. So is this how they introduce to everybody that like, hey, you can swim now. Look at that. I'm assuming. From a claim slot, so they'd be swimming money. I'd kind of prefer them just give it to us, not gonna lie. <laughs> hmm. I mean, they had swimming in AR, didn't they? No, I don't believe they did. I think it was added in Stormblood. That's what uh, that's what people have told me at least. <sighs> Not bad. We could call it a draw. <laughs> oh, what spirit to have delight in? Uh, for a uh, spirit you two have to delight in the simple joy so readily. That's a lot of words. Love it, anything against the occasional dip in the ocean, but to divert in, in on a whim is a bit, um... Uh, there, I trust you enjoyed yourselves. Follow me, my friends, with one whom I speak as a man named, uh, Tensu. Wait, spoilering around being able to swim? What? Like, nah, we just know that swimming didn't exist before Stormblood. Like, that's, that's it, right? I mean. It's got a staff. What class uses a staff? I mean, aside from me. So when is Tensu come to introduce yourselves? My clothes are mostly dry, but they're a bit clingy. Still no regrets. I've never been seen pirates have ever known to say things like "R." Oh, surely pirates of the upper side of the world have different expressions. Er, er, aruru, perhaps. <laughs> Most wishes the Confederacy could be best described as one of guarded acceptance. There are pirates, aye, but they adhere to a code and are stabilizing force in the Ruby Sea. Fear you have the advantage of me. Dragoon, I guess. 
Oh, we have, like, the same outfit on. Oh, I want his pants, though. Can I have his pants? Or wait, do I have his pants? Wait, is the girl version a skirt? Is that how that works? Is the girl version a skirt instead of pants? Is that, is that right? I don't know, to be honest. Because I like those. I like, I like the pants with the, like, the open coat look. No, uh, most honorable and esteemed Sam Ramirez, I'm Tetsu Humble Mate. This is the pleasure of the Confederacy Captain. I think they are, though. Off the bottom jeans, the boots of the fur, that would be nice, too. As the company of the Shellback, I presume you have business to discuss. Should we decline that? I think I have... Um... I feel like this is going to lead into a cutscene, right? Mm -hmm. That's why that's not that big of a deal. It didn't, son of a bitch. All right, male and female get the skirt. Uh, mm, damn it! That makes me mad. That actually kind of makes me mad. Not gonna lie. I really like how it looks there. And, like, the skirt doesn't look bad, but, like... Hmm. I might have to glamour something different. Because I, I, I've been thinking about this. Like, I like the coat a lot. Like, I like the coat a lot, right? But... The skirt, I'm not a huge fan of. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the skirt. It's cute, it's nice, but it just is a little bulky. The pants is for female too. Where? How do I obtain them? Also, Kit, thank you so much for the follow. I super appreciate it. But absolutely a wonderful day. Because everybody's been wonderful. I love you, sis. It's about to go zoom in with everything. Says good place. How's it going? How are you? How's life? Mm -hmm. Remember, super cute. I hope you're enjoying the game. Uh, my favorite was really cute. Thank you. I always love a good compliment. Um, and yes, uh, I am having a blast with this game. Best game ever. Might be having it on high drop. Oh, gross. Just to pay the ruby tithe, yes? With your guild wraps? It is just as well foreign currencies are in demand these days. I'd pay for the passage to Authord. Does some meet with your satisfaction? So you would have been quite tempestuous of late. I cannot say with confidence that you would reach your destination safely unless you triple it. You take me for a fool. I know the price as all as do all. Hmm? Is that a whole outfit of Mog Station thing? Yes. Let's relive any interesting times as you came to Kugane. I think I should think that need tell you that. Shadow of War looms. The wise and the cautious shirk our waters for custom. Foolhardy sharpen their knives in anticipation. Meaning. So we gotta come quickly. The bastards are at it again. Gonna convince them to stop, but they weren't having it. I will I'll be there shortly. Position when my comrade strikes me a worthwhile investment. I would not hear men name a cat before Coben, so I shall consider their tithe paid. Not for what they have done, but for what I expect they will do. I'm not sure what to make of a man, but at least the matter of our tithe is settled for now. What was he and that other pirate talking about? Maybe we have to go have a look. All right, I guess. But this outfit is a Mog Station outfit. I just kind of like, I don't know, I, I want to try pants with it. Boys with boats. All right. All right. Bomb fish, oh goodness. Oh, I bet I can do this though. 
Love it. Yes. Boobs? What about boobs? What do they say about boys with big sails? Oh, boys with boats. Oh my god. Son of a bitch, it's up there. Ugh. Not worth it. Uh, boys with big sails means they got big pants. I don't know. They'd be shopping at the big pants section. Huge penis. Oh my god. A huge deck. Maybe pantaloons even. Maybe. Maybe. So this is just like a volcanic area. Yeah, that's pretty, I guess. Not quite my jibe, but, uh, you know. There we go. Oh, hello team. How's it going? Along with volcano monsters. Like lava crabs. Is it Tens uh, Tensu over there? I don't know what this is all about. Um, I've been away for some time, so... I'm not certain this is a wise idea. Oh, Sorabon, what's going on, buddy? That's a shark! I want to go hug it. Flying shark. Oh my god, it's flying. Actually, what's going on over here? Hmm. <laughs> but it's kind of big chilling over there, I guess. Wonder what they're doing. Time to observe from a safe distance. A friendly interaction, I'm sure. Oh, of course. Well, it looks like there's those red, um, those red, I think, cosian, what they call, what they're called. Nice choker. Thank you. Gentlemen, I'm told you were most unreceptive to my associate's requests. Oh, he's got a cat necklace. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, your safety in these waters cannot be assured. Spare me your concern, Tithet. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not work on us. Oh, he's an Imperial. You remain at large because we allow it. Because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. But if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Galian Empire to bear against your pathetic fleet. Bastards! Gentlemen, surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. Yeah, there's a cat in my lap right now. All talk, just as I thought. Come, let us away. I have no time for this rubbish. Hi, hon.
We're all the same to them, aren't we? Savages to be ruled or slaughtered. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe, but they were never so eager to pick a fight. Hi, Thor. Can you hear your lap? Yeah, she's cuddling. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent. And the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. Ah, she's racist. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial vessel, she'll accuse us of attempting to ferment rebellion and brand us enemies of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be. Like the man said, we're all talk. And where did the Kojin stand in all this? With the winning side, of course. They're mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. The Shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather not. I don't understand. If the Garleans are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are Doman to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Doman Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Hey, there's the quest name. Besides, what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederacy. We look out for none but our own. Why are you so needy right now? I was just like, don't lecture them, Lise. Be that as it may, our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape for crumbs from the Emperor's table. All while, our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages even as we speak. That she devil! Her perfidy knows no bounds! I don't even know what that word means. She must be stopped! Come, let us find Sullivan and put us here at once. Tell the others that these ones have paid. We all have places to be. Hmm. Uh Lisa's so naive. Uh a little. A little. But like I think I don't know. I like that Lisa is willing to be like, "Hey guys, maybe don't give up." Big talk for somebody like her who has no like real life stake like some of these other people do, right? Um but, like, I think she provides a pretty good and interesting lens. Like, I, I would definitely miss Lisa's naivety because otherwise everyone else would just be letting everything happen all the time. And I think there's a good dichotomy that we have within our group. Like, Alizé, for example, <clears throat> who, while she's no alpha nod and she is very fiery herself, she is very much willing to be, like, Hey, Lise, let's approach this with a little bit more brevity. So you're not always going to know what she's thinking, right? But with Lise, you always know what she's thinking. Every time, without fail. Because she's going to say it, right? She's going to tell us what she's thinking. Even Gosetsu, who's always like, blah, 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 I'm going to say the things that come to my mind because I'm Gosetsu. He still has knowledge that we don't have, right? So he's going to know some things off of like... Uh, just like off of based off of knowledge, right? Like based off of him knowing these things. But Lise doesn't, so Lise is always gonna inquire about them. And I, ha ha, I got up here. Um, so Lise is always gonna uh, inquire about those things. And it kind of provides a really nice lens and like a difference between the narrative of the characters. Which is why I think it's interesting that she's narrating Stormblood right now. It's because it's from Lise's perspective and that's kind of what a lot of this x pack has been. I think that's cool. And to be fair, 
I side with Lise fairly often. I think she's right most of the time. Maybe she doesn't go about it the right way, but like, you know. And a way to ask for the player. Yep. To as many of the provinces under its imperial control, filled with people who find ways to cope with bitter reality. Uh, for sure, Oni, yeah. Mm -hmm. She... So they really don't care what happens to Doma. I, can't, I refuse to believe that. Hmm? What are we waiting for? Come, come, Sorabon cannot have gotten too far. The may have happened on it. Passing strange left without warning. Mayhap you did not wish to be seen by Kojin brethren. Don't he thought to leave us behind, but nevertheless he may be pruned to return to a ship or at least to the Confederate encampment. But, uh, yeah. So, like... Yeah, I agree that she's a great stand-in, but I would also say, too... I don't know how to say this, but what do you think brevity means? Uh... Um... Like... The expanse of a certain thing? Like, sort of, um, the meat of, like, a topic, right? I know, it's kind of hard to describe. Probably the opposite of Aranger. Mm -hmm. It's, like, to the point, but it's about the bit of, like, what's going on. Like, right, it's, like... Uh, the critical point of a thing? I- I really don't know how to describe it, I'm not gonna lie. The import of something? Turn concise. Like, it's like using necessary information. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like, um, when you have, like, a topic that's got, like, the, the meat of the topic, right? Like, so you take the meat of the topic, and if you approach that with brevity, then you're, like, to the point on the topic, right? The culmination? Yeah, culmination's a good word. Yeah. And yeah, opposite of Orangier, or Uri. Um, that's pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, it's kind of like, it's, it's like the meat of the topic, but without, like, going into the whole thing. It's just, like, the point. Right? Like, when you, like, use brevity, it's like, you're getting to the point. Um, the meat, you say? Yeah. Culmination's a good word for that, too. Right, uh, let me take that off. Mm -hmm. Good, he's still here. Told you to not abandon us. Oh, yeah, the... Oh, they, that's right, they made, uh, they made, uh, better symbols to show where targets for, uh, forward facing. Oh, excuse me, wow, that was a weird noise. Verbosity is what Urangier is doing, yes, right? Um, yeah, they had that UI update. That looks really good. Nice. I have to hear the truth, honestly. My friends, a thousand pardons. As you may have guessed, I was reluctant to see the com by the company of my red brothers. Ours is a complex relationship. Pray I, you do not misinterpret their actions as a reflection of our agents' all all allegiances as a whole. You understand? Come be praised. Too often... Are shellless quick to judge the all cogent for the deeds of one. Ah, people being racist, yeah. People being uh, mean to the beast tribes for judging them all off the basis of one. Hmm, where have I seen that before? <laughs> right then, now as our business with the Tensu is concluded, we can traverse the UBC without fear. I'm already getting better shit, damn. Right. Um, and Kiki, a uh, compliment was redeemed for you. Uh, 
Um, Pog. Pog. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Hi, Compsai. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. You know what? Here, here's a good compliment. I don't know if I've said this before, but uh, thank you for having an open mind towards Final Fantasy XIV. I appreciate it. I know you were, and understandably, uh, s you know, s I, not spe not suspicious, cautious of playing the game, right? Uh, but I appreciate that you did get into it. And I know a lot of that was like from me and Wilbur both being like, hey, this is a really good game. You should try it. And then like, even still, I know when you were getting into it, you're kind of like, uh, and then you played it more and you're like, ooh. <laughs> uh, like, I, and I like appreciate that too. Cause like, I think, um, I think it's very easy for people to like, especially look at a game like an MMO or like a Final Fantasy title or an RPG, a variety of these factors to look at them and just be like, eh, not for me. I'm not going to give it a shot, right? I think we've literally encountered people like that in the stream being like, yeah, no. But I appreciate that you were willing to give it a try and that you were open-minded enough to like partake in that because it might not be your thing. That's true, but I'm glad you've been able to find a lot of fun in it because like it's a really good game. I'm also, it's also really nice to see somebody that like actually like listens to you, right? Being like, hey, this is a good game and like you should give it a try if you want to. Like, and it's nice to see somebody go, hmm, maybe you're right. Maybe I should give it a try. Like, I don't know, it's just kind of like heartwarming a little bit. And I always like it when people are willing to like go against their own speculations on a thing and like try it out uh and stuff like that because like that's what i did to start playing final fantasy i did not think i would like i thought there was a either a good chance i would love this game or i might not like it at all because i don't like mmos and now i'm addicted to this game so like that's how it happens right you yeah. know Especially the like Glam OG, right? Yeah. I was like, this is too flashy in anime, but seriously, the stories are really good. Yeah, because like so, so many people are just ready to look at this game and be like, ooh, it's just like an anime game. Ugh. Like, and I'm really glad you weren't one of them, Kiki. I really, I really appreciate that. That's very nice. And like, you're awesome. So thank you for having an open minded attitude towards video games. That's really cool. They did. They did, Kiki, uh, Sassy. They did. They changed the colors. We were talking about that earlier. They made them stand out and like pop a bit more and look like uh, like the slots are more distinct. But yeah, they made the oranges and the blues like a little bit lighter colored. If I'm looking forward, uh, yes, comp side next Monday, I believe. I think I'm, I'm probably gonna make a new form. Uh, I'm gonna make a new form probably tonight and I'm gonna post it. Mm -hmm. For sure. They're a lot less faded. Yep, they stand out a lot more. I think kind of the UI has a, be a bit better of a glow too. I think like all the UIs, the colors are just saturated a bit better. So they're, they kind of pop a bit more, which is nice actually. Hmm. To bend the wind. From 5 p.m. CST start. Yep. No problem, come say. And we probably won't start exactly at 5 p.m., but like that's like the time we need to start gathering and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Bend, ooh, ooh. Very subtle changes. Yep. They'll be sharper if you've enabled 4K UI. Really? Maybe I should. You remember you can do hundreds of hours for the free trial? True. Yeah, the new directional markers are way better. To return to the ship and prepare their departure, if you have any remaining business conducting the pirates here, pray do so now. That reminds me, Sam, would you be so kind to inform the Confederates of our plans? They are no to know our movements, the less likely we are to be mistaken by another vessel by their uh, comrades. I got your comp say. Alrighty. Um, let me see if I can enable that. Like, can I do standard? What if I do that? What? No. Ah! 
Oh, well, these are big. <laughs> Look at how big this is. Oh my god. <laughs> is it that nice, Kiki? It's under graphics. That's so that's so big. Graphic settings. It's in the graphics. Oh. Requires reboot. Oh, all right. I was like, too flashy. Watches will discuss the story for a while since I trust him. Okay, intrigued. Watches Zoomy for a while. Okay, I am sold. Yeah, I'm good at selling stuff, right? Um, reboot required. All right. No worries then. When the engine. Oh, sorry. E. Sorry. E. Jin? E. Jen? E. Jin. Like gin, like the drink, right? I think I remember this. E. Jin. Okay, I think that's right, right? Is that right? Is that right? E. Jin? Alright, perfect. Leaving us already? E. E. Jean? E. Jin? Gin, like the drink. Yeah, okay. Need to pay the tithe, like Tansu said. On the other hand, if you were to peruse our wares, find anything you like, I'd be glad to sell it to you for a fair price. Alright. Cool. That's poggers. E. Jean. E. Jean. Uh, that hurts my brain. <laughs> my ankles. Eugene. Is all pronounced the same way? I'm gonna say Eugene. Because it sounds more different than the slur I am trying to avoid. So I'm going to just say that. Uh, and I don't think anyone's going to argue with me there. <laughs> My leg! And in favor of the Confederacy, this is the feeling what men of Imperial Presence will find waiting for us. So we must be careful. Except author, to Domo, we're coming. Uh, you're great. Standing around for her. Do I not hear what Tansu said? The Viceroy must be stopped. Let's work with the Confederates uh, above up. Above then? Excellent. If you're ready to depart, then we may do so at any time. All aboard! Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's be off. I shall deliver you to the fishing island of Isari. Tensu said the viceroy was holding court in one of the fishing villages, did he not? Just sorry, chance to be the village in question. We could instantly find ourselves surrounded with imperial soldiers. I think it's safer to shore some distance away. Very well, I know just the place. Oh, um, no, comp sci. That's not what I'm talking about. I believe it is a stand-in for that, yes. Or another start. Okay, cool. Glad we're on the same page. What the hell is over there? All right. Probably don't worry about that. Uh, please. Well, I said, return to my homeland. You still have the bearings. It can be difficult when you're in the water. It's been silly to try to swim all the way here, at least this time. 
Open apply. Mm -hmm. Here we are, I'm reasonably certain to bore witness to our approach. Language makes my brain hurt. Same here, Oni. It hurts me so much. And with this, I believe I fulfilled the terms of our agreement. I have you, my deepest thanks, Zorban. Truly, we're blessed to be befriend such a clever and industrious merchant. Oh, you're too kind, good sir. I know not where your path may lead, but I wish you the very best and hope we shall meet again. It's finally arrived and authored. All we need to know now is, uh, liberate Doma. Is that? Look at the dauntiness. It is, though, we have one thing in our favor, the element of surprise. Unlike Yerabanya, the Imperials don't know we're here. Admittedly, though, the, that might be our only advantage, considering how few of us there are. See you, Zerum. Looks like the Dome Liberation Front will even, will even up at odds a bit, but before that, we need to see if the fishing village of Antonsu is walking about. It may well be I smell cerulean on the breeze. Alizé's outfit's very good. I agree, newbie. Accounting for the rebellion, such indiscriminate shows of force seem pointlessly excessive. Ah, but it's the Garleans, Alize. It's the Garleans. If only you knew how commonplace such scenes have become. I'd prefer different colors too, Lucy. Mm -hmm. Over there, someone's coming. Hey, it's name days. She... It's she, sworn enemy of Doma, of my master, the traitor who sold her homeland to the Garleans, Yotsuyu. Yotsuyu. The Viceroy herself, and look behind her, isn't that... It's name days. Question, what's name days? It's the guy, it's the nickname we gave him. I like that pipe. I also love her outfit. Filth and squalor everywhere I look. How very dark. What I wouldn't do for a drink. I like her voice actress, too. She's also very attractive, too. But Sam, you can't fall for the evil lady. You can't do that. Don't. All right. She's bad. <sighs> Come now. You've no reason to look so afraid. You have lived through a quarter of a century of Garlean rule, remember? Mm, God, she's attractive, though. Ah, why is evil often sexy? I know! Why do they do this? <sighs> okay, no. She's bad. She's evil. <laughs> Tis better to bend with the wind than stand tall and be broken. Therein lies hope. Therein lies freedom. Mm. Oh, hey, content warning. Oh, is there content warning coming up? Can she step up and be like, she's stepping on Doma? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. Oh, okay. Uh, content warning. I will give you, I'll give y'all like 30 seconds to read it. Also, if we really want to get into it, if we really want to get into it, uh, I'm not trying to be pandemic onto you, Kiki, but yes, actually, a lot of times villains are portrayed in a very sexy manner, in a very sexual manner, and that's oftentimes because, um, in terms of media, a lot of things like free expression and this idea of like sexual appeal can be seen as negative qualities this is something we see a lot in early film especially like american films like from like especially kind of like the 40s 
uh, and upwards. This is where we see a lot of those types of elements, which is why we see a lot of like evil characters being sexy. Mm -hmm. Is all, being all Puritan about sexuality. Grom is cracked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Kiki, I know that's not what you're saying, right? I know that's not what you're saying, but I feel like it's a super important topic to bring up, though, because I think that's really important to talk about. So I'm just using that as a launching pad to talk about. Because there is a legitimate reason why we see uh, why we see villains that are sexy. It's not just like something we make up in our heads, right? Um, but like it's the same reason why like like Satan is portrayed to be like a sexy like hot demon boy, right? Like it's the same reason behind that is that like ooh that stuff is bad, and it's trying to associate those things with evilness. The temptress is a common trope. That is also true. Very common. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. I do agree. I do agree. Obviously, we should not always find, um, like, like, I do agree that we have, like, the element of, like, try not to find the villain too attractive because, like, they are a bad guy. That's also where you get fandoms doing weird things like justifying evil characters and, like, making excuses for them. It's like, you can like the character, but, like, don't start making excuses for them, right? That's where you get shit like that and those elements because people find them attractive. It's the halo effect, right? Um, but I do like talking about this a lot, especially with female characters because it happens so much with female villains. And it's happening right now. Does this make this bad? Not necessarily. We'll have to see because I've only met this girl for 30 seconds. And, uh, Mitz, you are correct. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so content warning. Uh, let's go. I come before you today seeking affirmation. A heartfelt declaration. You are free to answer me as you see fit, yet even the least among you should know the correct response. Should. A uh. resident of your village, one of your neighbors, mayhap your friend, was detained by the Kojin this morning. They say he was attempting to flee to Kugane, but we both know that simply isn't true, don't we? Uh, the halo effect. Anything to say? Uh, the halo effect is sort of this like uh, theory, uh, very effective. I, is it a communication theory? I'm not 100 percent sure, but basically it says that um, if a some if somebody is attractive or given like what we define as attractive qualities, there can be this sort of this halo around them that shields them from criticism against legitimate flaws. Hmm. Bit slow this one. Is there anyone more sensible among you? Have any of you anything to say? To swear? My lady, I swear to serve the Empire, to do whatever is asked of me, and never disobey. <laughs> well said, that man. Of course. It wouldn't do to simply take you at your word. Oh, this is fucked up. Oh, this is fucked up. Kill him. Surely you can do that much. He must be guilty of something or other, or he wouldn't have attempted to flee the Empire. Have a family. Call me, forgive me, call me, forgive me. Wow, holy shit. Oh, very, very good. I've always had a soft spot for men like you. Mm. <laughs> Next, I want you to shoot those two over there. Too old to work, you understand. A burden on the Empire. We can't have that. 
What the fuck, dude? Oh my god! But they're my parents. You can't expect me to. <laughs> this is what Eris would say, baby. <laughs> Hmm, she got a lot less sexy there, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. We will show them no mercy. Stop and think for a moment. If you go charging in now, every one of those villages is as good as dead. I does. We must consider the wider picture. If we act recklessly, we risk alerting the Garleans to our presence here, making it that much harder for us to work with the local rebels. To say nothing of the reprisals ordinary civilians would be made to suffer. So that's why I like how me and Gosetsu get up like, all right, let's kill them. Uh, but Alize is tell us to, uh, getting us here right now. And newbie, Alize just told you why. There's a reason why we didn't do something earlier. Because this game isn't dumb, right? It's smart about these things. And Alizé's right. Once we go in there, those Garleans have guns, right? We run in, and they're gonna just start shooting people. And we can't save people if they're all dead. Right? So... Alizé's right, like, I still want to go in there and be a perpetual badass, but, like, she's right. I typed while she wasn't finished. Yeah, that's fair. And if any of those guardians escape, they'll start blasting people in every village. Yep. Correct. Because mm -hmm. if they know we're trying to defend the villagers specifically, they'll hurt them. Because they can Open your eyes, girl. They are already suffering. Let me go. I am putting an end to this madness. I will approach the village alone and identify myself as a former leader of the rebellion and a known fugitive. They will wish to detain me until they are certain they have learned all I know. Use this time to make your plans. You sure about that, Gosetsu? You saw what those monsters did to the villagers. Who knows what they'll do to you, assuming they don't kill you where you stand. We live and die at the pleasure of the Kami. My fate is in their hands and no others. If it be of any comfort, I am no stranger to chains. You can't expect us to stand idly by as a comrade goes marching off to his death. And this is nothing like Kugane. Nor is it like the Reach, Lise, or the Wall. Let him go. Hmm. Great Britain was like literally every colony. Great Britain, Imperial Japan, uh, Industrial America, the Roman Empire, uh, Portugal, Spanish Empire. Uh, like the, you could just like take a list of empires and like 90% of them France France yeah 90% of them fit this bill exactly right Germany and Africa yep <laughs> just like boom 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 <laughs> the Mongolians like etc it says she was a capital E evil she absolutely would purge other villages to spite being uh, stopped here yep any colonialist empire and it fits really just any authoritative empire period you don't become an empire by playing nice yeah and empires are inherently evil 
Hold out for as long as you can, but remember, noble sacrifices are to remain an absolute last resort. I wish I could say it won't come to that, but only the gods know how we're going to get you and the others out in one piece. A miracle, perchance. Hmm. Bridge Nymph Fire is very progressive. Ah, yeah, they were great. To their own people. A great tower Not to their neighbors. To the east. Look to its occupants for aid and succor. Together, you may yet find your miracle. Just like the Romans, right? Romans are very nice to, to Romans. <laughs> Not to their neighbors. Or the peoples they conquered. Now. Leave this place. I must go. All right. Go set, sir. I really wish. Ah, we just got Gosetsu. Oh. Another idiot like all the rest. I'm beginning to think it may be something fundamental, something intrinsic, something quintessentially dormant to ignore the simple truth. You can't do a damn thing if you're dead. I like the way she talks. It's very interesting. It's very, like, distinct. Um, diverse and progressive for an empire, but still oppressive and authoritative and murderous. Yes. As soon as you watch these characters react to pick your battles with primals, you made a plan and went in with as much force as possible. Same with expensive battlefields. But now they're being told not to go in stabs ablazing. Hmm. That's fair. But I think there's more at stake here than the primals. Enough! There's no. Yeah, her voice actor is very good. Uh, well, now, this is a surprise. Hear me, Yotsuyu! Cease this farce, here and now, and I shall surrender myself to you. Refuse, and all shall answer to my blade. Mm hmm. Bring him to the tavern. Exactly, Oni. I mean, that's exactly what's happening. You need to watch them adjust tactics. Yep, I agree. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. I want, I really want a fashion accessory of a pipe. I really like to have my own pipe like that. God, there is pure hatred in his eyes. I love, I love the camera. I, I love the cinematography they use in cutscenes too. They do such a good job. Ah. All right. Let's go do something. Maybe even more. But every five of my being was crying out to intervene. But what's done is done. Gosetsu's gamble has gifted us time. We need to find a solution. You bade seek us at a distant tower, yes? For want of a better idea, I say we do just that while taking care to avoid the Imperials. Hellfire. Mm -hmm. I swim? Oh, I bet I can. Um, but maybe laws about that are weird. Oh yeah, because it's a T for teen game, isn't it? I would just love to have like one of those pipes. I think that'd be a really cool piece of glamour. Could be a regulatory thing. Mm-hmm. Red Dead has it, but it's like rated M. Yep, 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 yep. I feel like I feel like Eris probably would smoke, not gonna lie. I feel like it's something she just kinda would have like picked up by being a pirate. mean person into a dungeon. 
Murder is okay, but smoking is immoral. That's certainly not good for you, right? Question is how she smokes. Mm -hmm. Poker in the game too because it's rated M, even though they have Mahjong. And let's play the casinos too. Yeah. No, that's not like the reach. This is worse. They were defenseless. Yeah. Soon to evaded the patrols so far. Just tower anyway. I've never seen anything like it. We're in Onokoro. The tower is known as Heaven on High, a mysterious structure built long ago by persons unknown. The gods listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Alphanod. Next thing you know, I'll be saying things like, as you are doubtless already aware. Over there, do you see it? Doesn't look like it's been dead long. Do this, they're a good shot. Can't see a single stray arrow. <clears throat> Someone's hungry. Wait, that wasn't either of you, was it? Demon seals! Mm -hmm. Wait, what am I doing? Calm down, we had nothing to do with- Wait, what am I doing? They can't possibly understand us. Probably not. No. Mm -hmm. Time to run least Save our strength for any- For any that give chase. You two say hammer. Angie seals! That's a really big Jenga tower. I agree. It actually finally used Thunder 4. Damn. Thunder 4 good too. Damn. Powerful. There's some Ugo walruses. Ugo walruses? What's that? I just realized you're already level 70. Yeah. Also, I get Thunder 4 at like level 64, so like not that big of a deal. Should probably triple cast more though. Yo, fuck it. Let me move that there. What am I gonna use, Scathe? Now a Blizzard Wizard. <laughs> blizzard Wizard, I like that. That went better than expected. So imagine if they'd taken us by surprise, what a fine ending that would have been to our story. Instead of assuming people of the tower know how to defend themselves, uh, you'd have to share an island with these things. And what we need to do is convince them to help us. What the hell is that thing? You know, all that's disgusting. I'm just gonna go. Look at this girl squad we got. Yeah! Hashtag girl boss team. Hashtag girl bosses. Hashtag girl squad. Hashtag... CEO. Boss snail gross. Oh, they're confederates. Well. So this is the way of it. Settlement here, and they've got their own aetherite. Nice. We've never seen this standard before. Oh, that's where we met Tensu, which means this place belongs to you. Oh. Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. Why is everything so big? Yeah, I don't know why, newbie. That's a good question. Isn't that design? It has to be them. Oh, I get a new bow. Fun. So damn Allegians again, probably. This seems amused finding yourself staying outside a confederate settlement. 
Your father confederate settlement may have even their headquarters judged by the size of this place. Because it's too us to seek out the confederacy for aid and succor, a self-same confederacy that refuses to openly oppose the empire. Yep. It's nothing well ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. At the very least, they're unlikely to ask us for the tithe. <laughs> True. If it's not Elegians, it's Assians. True. Is that person a freaking ghost? I love that. That's adorable. I need a ghost outfit. Hey, it's Tatsu again. Very spooky. Yeah, better wash out. It's a mog station. Nice. Gunbreaker Catboy, Angry Catboy, damn. Ghost! Hi, Aaron, how are you? How's it going? Should we make things easier? Look who I found! Hey, Tensu, what's going on, my dude? Brings you hither of all places. We're not bound for Authored's shores. Like, yo, dude, we were, but then we, like, I don't know, there's a problem. I say I trust you have not forgotten our previous conversation, the subject. No? Then what do you want? A second opinion? Very well. Come with me, I'll take you to Captain Rosho. To the audience with the lady, how very comedy. We mean we must you need choose our words carefully. Leave it to me, I've always been good with people, and this and this will also give me a chance to use the Eastern Green they show me at Revenant's Toll. Alright. Yeah, I I guess. Hearing some weird sounds. Dragon! Oh. Small talk. Remember, I'm here, rather murky pass. In their lives, no concerns us, and every break of Confederate law will answer to me. Yeah, I'll answer to you. Can I answer to you more? Sir, please. Hey, listen, our raw guys are kind of hot. I'm just saying. Like, they're kind of attractive. You know? Oh, he's a row. Oh, look, guys. Would you look at this? Look, it's another row in PC. Is he a what? No, it's never a woman. It's never, never ephemeral. They don't exist in this game. Remember that. They don't. It's the tail, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Anyway. I'm so mad about this. <sighs> Our illustrious leader, speak. No need to be shy. Honor skills, all time rose. Do any of them have names? Yo, should be scared. He's a coward! Are this simple out with pi us pirates? Have anything like the Carvalian? They may be gods of mercy on this. All of them. Wow, they must be super important characters that have a big imp uh, have a big part in the story, right? They must be so important, right? All of them, right? So important. Don't bull me. Don't bullshit me. No problem, newbie. Second so thought, maybe I should be the one to do this. Greetings. You, you must be Rasho, leader of the Confederacy, and so on. I realize this is a bit sudden, but the thing is, we have a little bit of a favor to ask. All oh, himbo male rows? What? I thought they were all women. All oh, the warrior characters are male rows? What? I thought they were all... Huh. Crazy. That's a probably broken half a dozen rows of far eastern etiquette already. Uh, well, I'm sorry about that. But you have to understand that we're in a hurry, so I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> we both do the bow. Many revere manners and tradition can be found all the world over. But not here. Candor is appreciated. Speak your heart. Uh, 
And then I'm like, ah, we explained the thing. Kosetsu, a former leader of the rebellion. I, I know of him. I obeyed your petition for us aid and succor. However, I know not. The risk of repeating myself, join the confederacies to renounce all other ties. We are beholden to none allied with none. Dome was invaded by the Empire 25 years ago. We did not rush to our defense, knowing this. Do you want us to expect us to help you drive out the Imperial Force of Vissari? Guardians may have long main maintained a presence in this region. We would not be a fool to break peace, fragile as it is. Besides your capable warriors, yes, with guile and rep preparation, you can surely resolve this matter yourselves. It's imperative that our presence here remains a secret for as long as possible for us to openly engage with Imperials at a time when we endanger everything we've come here to achieve. Tell us why we cannot fight. Um, not why we should, uh, fight in your stead. You would speak to me on live saved. I would speak to you of the slaughter. How many will die when all pretense is lost and the Garleans declare war on the Confederacy? <sighs> it is luxury we cannot afford. Free to come and go as you please, but you will receive no further aid. Any of your hospitality, would you excuse us? Yeah, from former lovers to bitter enemies like must bury their past work by side by side or else cuts out. The man said when you cannot let to dictate his actions, good conf confederacy takes place overall. That's kind of cool. Can't say I didn't warn you. I mean, I'm not surprised. I don't know what we were expecting, not gonna lie. I wish I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Yep. He say I'm really, I know that didn't go well, but I'm not so prepared to give up on them yet. So all us here to come for the reason, because I believe we could have convinced them to help us, and we just have to work out now. Work out how? So that's exactly. I'm glad to hear that we are of the same mind. It's little wonder they refuse, having done not but persuaded them, and their real work begins now. They need to learn more about the Confederacy, of what their needs are. Um. Their needs are their weaknesses. Once we know that, we are no more of their trust. All right. I still don't like the idea of us using the Confederacy as like stand-ins, not gonna lie. I know we gotta, like, stay hidden and shit, but, like... I would rather do it myself, you know? Recent user maintenance. Unusual designs, unlike the standards of most nations or organizations, they're chosen to incorporate a variety of symbols, a testament to their diverse heritage. I was gonna say, they do have a lot of symbols. They have an X. Look at that. That's cute. They really don't have like a central emblem either. But they eat by the looks of it, though it's mostly the same stuff. I wonder if they they trade much with outsiders. I like the flute music too. I will say we'll we'll mention that like uh, with Stormblood, there's gonna be like better like background music, but like the ambient music gets better. I'd kind of agree so far. I think a lot of it's pretty uh, a bit less stale. That also probably helps too that like the 2.0 music was made. Uh, well, God, it wasn't even like it was like 1.0 music. I'm pretty sure they ported over for like the normal zones, like the, probably the exceptions of like a couple. Ishgard was a lot better too. 
Hmm? Sparrows have been stored on closer inspection, however, most are empty. I'm getting the vibe. These pirates don't do much pirating. In fact, I'm actually getting the vibe these pirates do basically no pirating. Hmm. Oh, oh. Ah, there we go. Now can we go? Sup, nerd? We're like an extortion racket, really. That's probably true, Sal. They can the ship. Hey, good eye, but she's not much to look at now. But once upon a time, she was a beauty. But it's your favorite flotilla. It was a smaller ship to capture boat. Captured aboard air and vessels. The larger ones like the uh, Sikibuni only take part in major engagements. I don't know, it was recently with all those Imperial bastards throwing their weight around as if it wasn't for them. Only well, used to bone into you about what can change, eh? They're the pirates that don't do anything. They really are. Ah, the Confederacy is so scary with all their piracy, despite doing literally nothing. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. What does that sound? Oh! Hi! Well, Empire is stepping on them with her big heels. That is correct. But also, like... These pirates are kind of wimps. Just saying. Look around, then we'll need to wait for at least. So to keep you waiting, but I wanted to talk to as many people as I could. This is Tensu said. We have no mention of standing up to Yotsoyu. <clears throat> if I don't know you, I don't know if you two got a different impression. Uh, right circumstances, they might help us. That's my opinion. It's obvious that they're struggling to survive and they blame the Imperials for the recent troubles. If we do nothing, it is inevitable that they will come into conflict with the Empire sooner or later, and deep down, they all know it. Not only are they holding them back, that the Monus believe they lack the strength to survive the coming war. So we need to prove them right, and that we're not all talk. They can be valuable allies in the fight. Or a better way to demonstrate our worth by seeking out people with mundane problems and offering them our expert uh, assistance. True. We do do a lot of that, don't we? Must be the first time you've had to earn some just by helping them out with that. And you know that won't be the last. Look around on the western end of Ono Koro. Did you take the east? Good luck. Alright, Pog. Look at that. We're so cool. We're gonna solve people's basic problems. Well, this does have me excited, too, because I want to learn more about the Confederacy, too. I think they're very interesting and kind of think they're a little full of shit. I think they're a little full of shit. Not going to lie. Like, just 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 a little bit. Just a little bit. Hi, Fumi. How are you taking? What kind of power cannot suffer this way of the ocean? Recruit from the power flung shores. Listen, well, I have a task for you. Go to Okomo now and receive him medicine for men uh, of the earth. Quip escape here, the hapless stone and bemoaning his wretched fate quickly. Alright. Whatever you say, girl. Yeah, it kind of seems like they operate more so off of, like, the threat. Like, they, like they're all talk, like that one Imperial said, right? They kind of operate more so off, like, the threat of something happening. Um versus any actual consequence. I don't know if Kugane was just like too big of cowards to do anything, which I think that kind of tracks. 
But now the Empire is actually calling them on their bluff and they're like, <laughs> you know, coming for the best of a Fumi medicine, the very best yours is yours for the taking. All right. If a lot of the domen unable to resist the stomach of the sea, your confederate would ra raid a dozen ships while in his cups. This one should return to whence he came. Oh, rude. That's just how they are with dealing with the Empire. Is that true? I mean, what evidence do we have to suggest otherwise, right? Like, yeah, they're scared of the Empire, but I think that's because the Empire's calling their bluff. It doesn't really sound like anyone's ever tried to oppose them before, right? I like that makes sense for Kukane, because like I said, they're a bunch of cowards. Doma itself, uh, I don't know, right? I don't know about that, but like... It just kind of sounds like the Empire is starting to call their bluff and they're just kind of like, uh. Smile and wave, Graves. Smile and wave. This ring is a strong and capable individual. I've got a job for you, Westerner, if you're courageous as well. All right. We don't have any evidence either way. Well, I mean, sure. That's why I'm speculating. I am allowed to speculate. On the beach far and wide, the rest of the Gayuki, feathered and arrows, it should be go to achieve those which may still be of use. Glad if you were to butcher the tail for meat. Very good uh, meat from the Gayuki tails, you know. True them out. I know you'd be a courteous as small and met a beast was young, but do not surprise it if an angry mother mourns its child. Because remember, y'all, just because a girl says something on the internet doesn't mean it's an invitation to debate her. <laughs> But yes, I i mean, it could be the case, right? There could be a fearsome confederacy of pirates, but we really don't know that. Uh, we just, all we know at the moment is just like, ah, they're supposedly really scary, but we haven't seen them actually do anything. I don't know about that. I know, right, Tratus? <laughs> you right, you right. I'm like, damn. She said something. We can't have that happening. <laughs> Uh. Also, the water sprite looks better. Did you get like a visual update or something? Or is it just these ones? I feel like it looks a little bit better. Strong women on my internet? Impossible. How dare. <laughs> Splish, 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 splash. These are some big demon walruses. That's kind of exactly how I feel, Kiki, yeah? It literally feels like they're like us, like they're small dogs. We're trying to bully other small dogs. I'm not playing in 4K, no. I'd have to restart uh, to do that because I think I, I think I did the setting. I should try it though. Um, trying to bully other small dogs, but the Garlean Empire is yeah literally like the Garlean Empire is like a bear, <laughs> and it just doesn't work on them, right? Um, and now they're like, oh shit, I guess we can't do anything. It's like. Wow, you all gave up real fast, didn't you? I like, especially, like, it irks me that they didn't help the Doman Liberation Front. When the Domans were like, yeah, let's fight back against the Empire, the Confederates were like, no, we won't, this is fine. Like, and the Kugane, too, like... That's also what frustrates me. I think, I think it's good, though, because I think it's legitimately setting up and then they came for us type of scenario. Because the Garleans walked in, they're like, don't worry, we're only going to fight these guys over here and completely take them over. You guys right next to them, you're fine. Until. 
right? Like, I, I literally think it's like one of those situations, right? Where like, um, and it's like happened a lot where like local areas may not have, uh, you know, they, they don't unify or these factions don't unify. They slowly get taken one by one because it's easier for a bigger group to do that, right? There's lots of splendored factions for sure. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, look. Look, another male row. Crazy. God, you just think women just wouldn't exist in that species for some reason, huh? Is that actually... Hold up, wait a minute. Oh my god, holy shit, there's one. Oh my god. Holy fuck, dude. Damn. I'm impressed. They gave her a mullet, too. Look at that. We got one. <laughs> Count them. It's literally like Kugane all over again. There was like, wasn't there just like one in Kugane, too? And there was like fucking like, I think like uh, 16 men. You get one femro as a treat. <laughs> You've been there for some time, perhaps that young uh, Gayuki corpse. Yeah, buddy, I got you. Have the tail meat and have five or six of Kugane. I don't think that's true. I think there's only like two. There might be the most femro in Kugane, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Because I thought we looked through it. I thought like, I, th I think wasn't it Iris ran through the whole city trying to find some? Miss Judgey, thanks for your help. I would have could have attended to my own kill. I guess that's playing for the whole area, right? Yeah, I guess that's enough, right? Damn. It was me. Oh, it was you? Okay. <clears throat> Tending to own their own kill, but such is life. I thought you found less, but I could be wrong. That's still not that's still not a lot, though. I think that's not meant to be delicious as it is nutritious under normal circumstances. We don't bother hiding Gayuku game, but you may have heard these are not normal circumstances. Right. User pause prudent measure becomes necessarily less with every passing day. Future grows more uncertain. They're spread thin, so it was hard. Mm -hmm. Yoshi P is a coward. There shall have furl bellies and that must take solace. We were travelers do not risk the venge. I eventual Gayuki by wandering with my neglected kill. Hi, Vizzy. Oh, a request. Oh, dang, one that talks? Crazy. Should I just side past his lips? Have I said something odd? odd? No matter. Thank you again for your aid. Every day I am proved more correct that these pirates are wimps. They can 1v1 me. I have you seen the bumbling cloud of Aura? A new recruit I ordered to patrol the northern edge of Okonkoro. He's late returning. Orange Bear was quiet and brooding, reluctant to speak, uh, spoken to first. Better than a fool who needs to hold his tongue, perhaps. I would enjoy dragging back the, uh, him back the ear. I cannot. Duty compels me to remain. You, on the other hand, have no such obligations. Yup. Oh, your shadow bring yours does a lot better with femme representation. Yeah, same. Impatience uh, is fell and mighty. Nice. Yeah, I uh, hope you like the new patch. I haven't done any of the content because I'm not that far, but you know. While we're on that note too, Grave, I don't think I've seen any Femme Aura here either. But I've seen several male Aura. Again. Jellyfish. That's a spooky jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's another current. Nice. Poking around with crafting. Nice. Are you enjoying crafting?
I think it's a standard represented races. Oh, so then where's all the femme aura? Because that's also a problem, right? <laughs> all right. With their head in froth women. Froth women. True. Uh, why does it shift and shudder still? Here you go, dude. Oh, hey, look, it's also another male row. <laughs> but since given here, they may look down upon me for resorting to such benches, but I don't know. No, trend of the world stable, motionless once more. Mm, keep playing. Just saying. That should not be the solution. Your kind as a Fumi, you may tell her that I will return to my duties as soon as I am able. All right, I gotta go back to her. I gotta go find the c c recruit that's over here, I think. God, he's far away. Bye, water spirit. Bye, water spirit. This island's big. How big is this? This is a big ass island. Holy shit. God, I thought it was a lot smaller. Guess what the Confederate recruit is, so you know, and matching the description. Oh, okay, there's other spots, gotcha. Alright. Another spot over there. Hello, recruit! We'll start first. Body mass differences. I don't know about that, but it is noticeable. <laughs> there is a noticeable difference. Hopefully, we see more of them in the future expansions. I sure hope so, Aaron. Who are you? Don't look like a woman of the Confederacy. I am not. Was I should have bid farewell to one of her own, and I was worried that she might have lost her way. Let rest in a boat and push out till the current claimed it. The sea is our home, and now, ever, more than ever, was sent thither and burdened, my heart's may drift back to shore, it is said. Out of concern for her comrades, she shoved to earn far more than her keep. She hunted rare and deadly game of treacherous waters and lost her life in it. The vigil has ended. Her vessels not returned to Onokoro. She has made peace with her life and placed her faith on us to live on. Aw, that's really sweet. Oh. So they send bodies out to the currents when they die. That's really cute. Maybe I shouldn't say cute. But that's like really poetic. I like it. All right, and then I can definitely teleport back here because that'll be a lot easier. So what am I recruit? Did you find him napping at the beach or some such? Nah, dude, he was doing something really nice actually. <laughs> Oh, same as staying watch the funerary vessel, huh? So really does he seem to give voice to his thoughts? I know any of our comrades' death affected them. Too quick was I to judge him. Hmm? So that if you went in my stead, Aaron must have misspoken and made a fool of myself. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. It's a very piratey tradition. Yeah, I know it's very poetic. I like that a lot. Kind of does like uh, adhere to that code of like honor too, right? Uh, two places, these pirates being one of them that seems to be all male. Which still sucks, of course. Yeah, it does. And that's all I'm saying, right? 
Watch your stream sp sped up my download. Who'd have thunk? Yeah, that's all you needed. That's all you needed, baby. Um. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh. Oh, I love the sunset. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I mean, that's that's all I'm saying, right? Like, I'm just calling attention to it because I'm sure some people didn't even notice. But I did. And like, oh, look. Oh, hey, look. Oh, my God. There is a femme out here. That's one. Oh, look, another male row. Uh, but like, that's like, that's my point, right? Like, it's just something that you notice in like design choices after a while. While kind of once you start to realize it, you start to see it more and more and more and it becomes everywhere. Um, like, and you could say like, oh, well, there's ones over here. Yeah, there are. But there's also all these ones over here on that other side, too. So it doesn't make up the difference, right? Uh, and, like, that's kind of my point. Is, like... You know... <laughs> it's noticeable after a while. And, like, while Eva 14 does do an excellent job with representation, almost... Oh, look, there's another one. Pog. That's two. Um... Well, it's like, they do an excellent job most of the time. You can't help but to notice when they do kind of drop the ball on, like, background characters. Because they, like, they do that sometimes. And is it, like, necessary for the story? No, I wouldn't say so. But, like, if the idea of there being more of them is a bad idea or something that you find disagreeable or debatable, maybe you, maybe that's my point. Right? Like, just, like, the fact that they just, like, consciously made these decisions is, like, something that you pick up and notice. And, like, I wish that were not true. But it's not like I can change anything, because it's not like I'm a developer here. When was raised in the mountains of his homeland the first time he saw to see was he fled the homeland he came to us? Basically an ephemera sees. I don't know if there's basically none, but it definitely feels skewed, I would say. At least in my impression so far, and I'm probably, I don't know, a couple hours into, like, the far east part of the world, right? A couple hours into those quests. There's a sip when he takes to the water. It's not long before he can no longer stand. Was in life. I heard a little bit after all. Captain soon wants his doman. Cast aside. The Domain was cast aside 25 years ago when the Peels took his lands and the lives of his parents and his brothers. Really? So you will announce your ties to join us someday. I almost took you for a Ruku before, but I know your tale now. Tensu unfolded all. Think of my way, Wester. You may find small joys in the land, but the sea holds salvation. Interesting fact about the captain there, not gonna lie. All right. Oh, wait. But, uh, where is... Hello, Mr. Fish Boy. You do be handling those fishes, though. Did I just miss this guy? Apparently not. Oh, they're finger gloves. Ooh. I love it. Busy, haven't you? And now you're here to ask me if I need help with anything, eh? And that you mention it. Oh, yeah, another row, by the way. Uh, we've had trouble with ravenous sharks. They've been leafing out of the water and making off with our fish. Damnedest thing I know, but you wouldn't doubt it if you saw it. Oh, are these the flying sharks? Nice. Gotta call the thieving bastards right- No, I don't want to call the sharks! So what happens is I sent three of my mates out there before long, still more the merrier. You can kill two or so that ought to be enough. Here are these running fishes bait. I'll not be eating them. Oh, and I'll see you as I find another group. They've been away longer than the like. Oh. The sharks know how to fly. How? How did the sharks achieve flight? Who gave them this ability? 
Mm. Yep, Davin, that is correct, which is a bizarre, bizarre decision that they made. But we all know the 1.0 dev team uh, was not, had a lot of issues. They had a lot of issues. Let me explain everything about it to start. Ah, but Davin, Stormblood was made in the years 2015 and 2016, well past 1.0. So Stormblood has no excuse. Literally none. Sneaking telegram delivering sharks, damn. Because it would be one thing if it was just like default locations, right? But it's not. <clears throat> Aggressive shark. Why do I have to fight the sharks? Why can't we be friends? This is unjust. They're cute sharks, too. They do a lot of damage, too. Damn. Shark is hangry. Hangry shark! Hello. Hello. Any other? Ah, oh, there it is. I walked right past it. Uh, GG. Oh my god. Try to feed him the shark. I should. You right. You right. Million male rose. Mm -hmm. I'm. I mean, okay, Devin? Again, that still doesn't apply to Stormblood, though. And kablooey. Goodbye. Where? Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda I kinda don't like that I'm getting the runaround right now. I'm learning some interesting shit about the uh about the Confederacy right now, but there this is a lot of quests. I'm doing a lot right now. Um like a lot? Like like a lot. Like I'm doing a lot right now. And I'm not gonna lie, kind of nice if uh, they didn't tease this like big thing with like Gosetsu right before this, and then be like, ah, oh, slow down the story. <laughs> like you know what I mean? It would have been fine if they were just like, oh, we gotta get to know the Confederacy to do something different. But nah, like there's this like we're on like a time crunch right now, right? Like that's kind of the I, kind of the impression I have. It's like we're on a time crunch due to like where we are in the story, um, and it just oh my god we got slowed down like really slow. Like this this feels worse than the Company of Heroes bit right? Hi Zaylin. They're really hoping you give up on the revolution, huh? Right? Because the Company of Heroes thing felt a bit more tangible, like you are working up to a point. Well, this is just kind of like, uh, just keep doing random chore quests because Gosetsu's in danger. Wait. <laughs> you know? It, it, like, it, it, it somehow feels like worse than that. I had a call, so I'm a little late. FY61 named Femro and PCs the game. <laughs> Did you go through and count all of them? How many male row NPCs are there? In comparison? 
Or maybe praise. I don't know how I would have done it if you hadn't come along. No problem, my dude. Partners and I got separated when we fled. I haven't seen any, have you? Rosetsu was strong, right? I guess. Didn't have four cogents or chases. They always asked if they were, we were Dovin. It's so used catchers. I know it. First a sorry, now this. Gotta go tell them about Rasho and the others. Hmm. That is putting him in immediate danger. Yeah, I'd agree, Grave. It just feels like in a narrative sense, very abrasive. Cause it's like, oh, you gotta go save Gosetsu chores. And it's like, ah, uh, like, you know, I don't mind doing the chore stuff. Like when we helped like Artyal or like Emmanuelin in like their chore quests in like Heaven's Word, like that felt fine. But also those were not in the middle of like a crisis and not a crisis that just didn't feel like we were working towards, right? I searched only Femros. Can we have heroes too? Uh, well, I mean, that's my point. It feels worse. And it, well, see, and Misfit, that's exactly the problem I'm getting at. Is like... 61 in the entire game is not many, and I can practically promise there's dramatically more male rows. Hence my point, is what I was talking about. Hello, independent mender. See another mail row. <laughs> All right, uh, Alizé's up here. On the bright side, I think that event curtailed us to like do something different. I hope. I'm assuming. Keep it busy, how about you? Oh no, you got that look, what happened now? Yeah, I got that look. Other areas say, I remember here you went shark hunting. Uh, did I fire a beast calling though? I think Le Lise made a stronger impression than when she bested a drunken pirate in a sparring match. Passed us knockout to date, I'm told. Nice. I think we have proven ourselves to be rather, hmm? I've got a feeling you've got something important to tell me. Koja mercenaries are up to one confederates. Surely you set Sue has crossed the line now. We must go and speak to Rasho immediately, even he cannot deny that this changes everything. Yeah, this changes everything! This I should think, like to think that he cannot. <sighs> oh my god. Was he bitching at him? It's over with, shall we? Alright. What's up, dude? Let's talk. Looks like they're kind of arguing, maybe. Our most compassionate acquaintances return. For your deeds, we owe you many thanks. But something tells me our thanks are not sufficient. The strange thing is, I was certain you understood our position. And yet here you are with that same look in your eyes and those same words upon your lips, I'll wager. Is this guy's voice familiar? He kind of looks familiar too. Wait a minute. Have I seen this guy before? Or is that spoilers? Hmm. Kind of. I speak only the truth. The Confederacy will not be spared Yotsuyu's wrath. You have always known this, that one day you would have no choice but to stand up to the Empire. I say to you that day is today, and come once more to ask that you join us in the fight. Yeah, Alizé! How convenient that recent events should lend such credence to your claims. Well, Dratus, I know that. <laughs> destruction always follow in your wake? Yes, he is. Yeah, that's not, not what I meant. <laughs> but he is, yes. They had no part in it, Tansui. You know this. We all know this. We got back from there. Oh, you're okay, buddy. That's all right. They came and took our Doman brothers. They will torture them for her sport. Murder them for her satisfaction. 
So we attack and get butchered for our trouble, or do naught and let them have their pound of flesh. Wow, you guys are fucking wimps. What? H how many? How many, if dude? This be our choice. I say we suffer the ignominy. We endure. We survive. There is no better path. Fucking cowards! Really? Until the day our enemy is grown weaker and we stronger. There can be no retribution. We will wait for a sign. Such is the judgment of the Confederacy. <sighs> yeah, I guess the Garleans are just gonna get weaker. All right. All right, buddy. Sure. All right. Okay. Uh huh. So that's it then. You're just going to abandon them to her. Mm hmm. Lise, tear him up. I completely You're agree with you this time. Me. For the confederacy they would die for you but you wouldn't even think to risk your lives for theirs thank you misfit sammy's right again <laughs> i appreciate it i'll introduce them to some lamincian pirates honestly these guys are fucking pushovers like how many how many is enough How many? How many? I have one last idea, if you will allow. I'm afraid it's not very good as ideas go. It's exceedingly reckless, in fact, and you may well come to despise me for ever having suggested it. Assuming we survive, that is. Mm. Hi, Beans. My cat just chirped at me. Question B. <laughs> Do you trust me? Of course. Moral choices. In early WoW development, there was a female troll model that looked more along the lines of a male troll until, unlike the chosen female troll model who was, like, more human-like. I don't know what you're talking about there, Fizzy. What do you mean? Do you ever need... Do you even need to ask? Absolutely. That includes... We can't stand by and let innocent people suffer, here or anywhere else. I'll do whatever it takes. Mm hmm Thank you, Errant, again for proving me right. I appreciate it. And like, yeah, that feels about right, not gonna lie. It does feel like it's like at least double, maybe triple. Hmm. So, your poggers. I uh, appreciate it. So much as mafia with boats. Yeah, I'm kinda getting that impression, Grom. They're just kinda wimps. Like, not gonna lie. <laughs> and uh, the rest stated in Eorzea were real pirates. I know I'm being very harsh to the Confederacy right now, but like... Yeah, let's roll the dice, Alizé. Let's go. I'm sure Will said the same shit, like... If it's a sign you want, we shall give you one. One rousing enough to make you drive every Garlean out of Isari without a second thought. You are wary of invoking the ire of the Imperial forces stationed in Dome, correct? Know then that once we have rescued our comrade and freed Asari, we mean to liberate the nation as a whole. You will doubtless require assurances that we are capable of achieving this, and that is only fair. Accordingly, we shall demonstrate our seriousness by depriving the Garleans of a key ally, the Kojin. Hmm. What, the three of you just like that? Buddy, I think you underestimate the Warrior of Light. <laughs> Actually, my esteemed colleague here will attend to it on her own. But the how of it is not your concern, only the outcome. Yeah, Alizé! God, if she's great! I love her. Liberate Asari. If we fail, you lose nothing. A simple enough wager, if you have the stones for it. Mm -hmm. And she's literally just like, do you have the balls to agree to this, dude? <laughs> I love her. I love Alizé. She's like Looking Alpha Nod, but much more blunt. Refused, does she not? That's ah, it's such a good vibe. Words are air. We will weigh you by your deeds. That bitch. This is good. Mm -hmm. 
She has absolute guts. She does. And like, that's the thing though, is like, she's kinda right though. Like, she's kinda right though. Like, these pirates are like, the guardians are literally kidnapping our guys and we're just gonna let them do it because like, I guess we just can't fight them. And LSA is like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> God, I love her. Hi, Elkie, how are you? Uh, me howdy. She's literally like, do you guys have any balls? Literally any. Here, we'll go just deprive them of one of their allies. We'll have one person even do it. Make a bet with us, bitch. You won't. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I guess. God, I don't like the Confederacy, fight me. I'm gonna hire you. I'm doing great, Alki. I think these Confederates are a bunch of wimps though. Bunch of big wimps. All right, gosh. All right, that's a good point there. Um, I'm all fired up. Uh, and speaking of being fired up, that means I have to pee because the fire within me fuels the bladder within me too. You know what I mean. Anyway, uh, Mega Vera. Oh, I love it. She's in fact, yes. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and I will be back. Um, so if, you feel, <laughs> if you're peed fire, you should see a doctor. Nah, it's fine. Um, I'll be right back. Oh, uh, you guys all have a pretty poggeristic time uh, until I come back because we're gonna continue with the story. I just gotta go pee. So you guys go to the bathroom too. Get a snack. Go like stretch. You probably need to. Um, so I'll be right back. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, BRP. Let's go.
I forgot to put on my shield. Shield me for the tough times to come. In the crazy, messed up nature of this you, uh, yutsu, yutsu yuya, yutsutsu, yutsutsu lady. You know the lady. I don't know who I'm talking about. Anyway, hi, I'm back. What's up? You can ask that, Mitz. Um, it was a gift. I believe a friend bought it off of the Final Fantasy XIV store, I think. I think it was the Squeening store. But yes, it was a gift. Um, it was a gift from us. I, I don't know if you know, but um, I know most of you guys know. Uh, it's a gift from Willibur. He got that and the shield for me. Because he was like, hey, I saw this and you need to have it. I'm like, all right, what is it? I'm like, you don't get to spend a lot of money on me. He's like, it's not that much. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. See, that was my job stone and it was the uh, shield. Take the store out. Yeah, I think it was. I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure where he got it from, if I'm being honest. You're replacing faith with me. All that remains is care out of promise, ambitious as it is. Wondrous tales? No. Hmm. Interesting armor. So alone, you will deal with the cohesion. You are set upon this course, I should give you a word of advice. Two factions have the cogen. The mercenaries who serve the Empire belong to the Red. Those who belong to the Blue are the traitors. They have no pact with the Imperials, and so may be willing to aid your cause. Seek the Blue in the Isle of Beko. There you'll find a cave. The rest is a bit is up to you. We shall endeavor not to keep you waiting over long for your sign. Mm -hmm. And then let's head for our wait. Where's Lise? We can't leave without her. Yeah, they were. Especially with how much I drum on being like a black mage. It's very good. Also, especially, especially because my boy Harishafon. Y'all, that hit me so hard. It really did. Oh, really? No, I did not know about that sassy. Do I have to unlock it with like a blue quest or something? It's a very short quest in Idleshire. Ah. Do you know relatively what the like what the name is or something? Quest giver is Chloe. Ah. Sam, what is it? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to wander off. I just just had to have a think. Where do you want to be able to live up to our promises? What's not that at all? 
If anything, I'm frustrated that I didn't think of it first. You know, my father had a way with words. They knew how to inspire people, how to bring them together. I always had hoped I thought of something... I might have something of that in me, too, but I'm starting to think I don't. Hmm. That's a lot of XP, right? That's Zloe, her sister. What? What am I even doing here? Please, you... Cause us enemy. I don't know where that came from. Forget I said anything. The place is to be Imperials to fight and friends to save. We're not going to get any of that done by staying around and moaning, right? Right? Or we travel to... <clears throat> Uh, Koki. <coughs> anyway, I'm back. We were traveling the gear of many hours and limbs to limits of visiting a friend. A young child who had been through a great deal. I see neither here nor there, I suppose. Anyways, on the way back, I passed a pastry which sold some of the most exquisite looking tarts I'd ever seen. I always preferred cookies, but to be honest, I never decided to stop and try one. It's a full level? Holy shit, Sassy. That's a lot. Hmm. I'll treat you to one when it's all over. <laughs> Oh my god, Lucy, that got me. <laughs> weird tangent, but okay, Alice, eh? <laughs> like, all right, that was weird, but all right. <laughs> Sorry, that made me giggle. All right, I'll cheat you to one, but when this is all over, Sam or, uh, Sam or two, I won't take no for an answer. Oh, you're Stola. We never hear the end of it. All right, you're Stola too. Once she's better. Deal? Good. Then let's hurry, shall we? We have a million things to do before then. Yay, girls! Girls night! Girls night! Girls night getting lit on tarts! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's cute. Like, that's really cute. We'd never hear the end of it if we didn't include your Stola. Tarts, you say. Girls' night. Oh, son of a bitch. I have to I have to fucking walk over there, don't I? Yeah, Ishtola is, like, low-key dying at the moment. It's not very pog champ. One might even say. Oh, that's the Kojin area, right? Unless you change your name to Jesus, you'll need to swim instead. Plot twist, Lucy. I am Jesus. Da 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 JK, cause I, I can't, I can't, you know, walk on water. Okay, yo, where is this Aetherite? What the hell? Where is this Aetherite? All right, fine, I guess. Wait, is it under the water? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Can I sprint in here? Yeah, I can. Nice. 
All right, I see you guys. All right. Good thing I'm an experienced sailor and swimmer. I love those pirate limacy, limancy and days. Look at that technique. Yeah. I am a sea wolf femro. We do know how to swim. Hi, Nar. I'll hail Lord Bahamut. Or, oh. <laughs> well, hi, Yumi. Which I love. Oh, yeah, it's great. You start swimming more aggressively. Or she get Peloton in water, same. I used to all across this place. Felt so disrespectful when I first got here, right? How's the RBC going for you? <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not enjoying this part of the quest. Red, blue, wait, didn't Sorban say something about this before? You're all but guaranteed to swim past and go, what the fuck? Where's the Aetherite? Yup. Ruby C's poorly paced. Um, I would say this part is worse than the Company of Heroes. Spicy opinion, I know. I think this is worse. Which is funny, because I think this is shorter. But I, I, th I think the pacing here is so much more abrasive. Like, ridiculously more abrasive. In my opinion. The Island of Beko, though, to be honest, looks the same to me as many other islands around here. Mm -hmm. So there was a cave that leads to the village. We should search further inland. Mm -hmm. I agree, it's worse. Because, like, like, the thing is, we just got a big break in Kugane. We, were, we got a big break where we were, like, dinking around doing shit. We just met up with Kosetsu. It, and then we got another break in that one little island. It was a smaller break, but, like, oh, it seems like it's setting up interesting stuff. And then we learn about, like, the one lady in the village, and Gosetsu goes in to save her, and we get another break. Like, what the fuck? Like, another break. Over and over and over. Like, it just keeps happening. I have a company here. This is the bar that we judge by. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm hmm Then the catfish. Catfish is a bastard and a class traitor. Hmm. Which further do you think it is? But, um, and then we get another big break and more narrative interruption and, like, it's way more abrasive. Right? We just get Gosetsu back and then they put him back in danger and then it's like, well, what the fuck was all the point of Kugane? Like, why did we do any of that? <laughs> Company of Heroes was a 2.0 quest series. It's the people you have to talk to to help uh, to, to defeat Titan. Is that light I see up ahead? The cheese quest. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is real pretty. We uh, appear to be standing inside a giant bubble by the twelve. I think we're on the seabed. This is cool. And Lise is like so excited. Oh, I love her. Well, well. I thought I heard familiar voices. Hey, Saraban. Saraban, what are you doing here? Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, what a curious question. I live here. <laughs> so it's like I live here, dude. Um, yeah, those quests are terrible, Nar. Um, but I think this is worse. So, like, that's how I'm grading it. That's how, like, I'm, I'm drawing, like, a, like a comparison, right? 
Then this is the home of the Blue Kojin. Just so. I bid you welcome to Tamamizu. Tamamizu. From the TMT sewer hideout. Oh, because they're they're under the ocean. Ah, oh, you right. Sarabot's great. I love him. What a dude. That is indeed a spicy take. It is. Because, like, my in my opinion, there's more narrative abrasiveness and interruption in the series of quests that are happening. Is that Sal? That's fucking Sal. I can't even see the name, but I can see the smug elf. I can see the smug elf in a suit. That is, that's Sal. That's Sal, bitch. That's Sal. It is Sal. I'm fucking right. Of course I'm right. Son of... I knew it was you, bitch. All right. Okay, cool. Motherfucker. All right, cool. <laughs> What an absolute lad. I love him. Don't tell Sal this, but he's like super cool. And I appreciate... Oh, who? Uh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Sal, I knew I was fucking you up there. God, huh? Hi, Fondant. Also, hi, Garaka. <laughs> um... Uh, and I would agree, Grum. Those quests feel like they have better purpose. They feel like they have better purpose versus these quests that just feel extremely abrasive. Like, there's obviously no doubt that those quests are not paced very well, right? No doubt. But they make more sense than what we're doing now, which is kind of frustrating. Dab. Dab on the salamander. I don't know what that just did. You just broke some stuff. Yeah, probably zero. Then I go, yeah, we got Kosetsu. No, we lost Kosetsu. Exactly. That and that's like one of the worst parts of the whole thing, right? Or that's kind of like one of the. Oh. All right. Can't use my emotes right now, apparently. <laughs> huh. All right. Christopher said he was a coach in the blue, didn't he? Yep. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. That's exactly why part of it's the problem, right? Because I'm going to see you again. I'm confused. We're not bound for authored. Ah, uh, sort of. We should find a familiar face in this place. We should tell a uh, about about our situation. If anyone can help us, it's him. I agree. All right, yeah, let's ask him. <clears throat> Pretty purple road, robe. Too bad it kind of sucks. This Gambit 2 is not that great either. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. You have a pretty different approach to the story. Well, I like small stories that revolve around characters, but the thing is, there's nothing happening right now. Like, I I'm curious to see where, why Will says that, because like, I'm not learning more about Lise, not learning more about Alize. Maybe I will now learn more about Soroban. But I'm not learning more about anybody. Is that a small story that involves characters like, um, uh, I'm having that heaven's word, so um like I'll I'll just say like the, the way I'll put it is like I, I'm curious why he thinks that, because like I just do not see that right now. Like I'm I'm all a big fan for like small little quests, but when they make sense, right now this just feels extremely abrasive, and this break in the story comes after three other breaks. Like Come on, can we can we get can we get on with it? Like it just feels like we're really dragging our feet right now. Like really dragging our feet. 
I don't mind filler when it has a purpose, but right now it doesn't even feel like it has a purpose. If that makes sense. Some of my friends with strange tides bury you to our home. The most dire predicament, perhaps the opportunity for us to craft another profitable arrangement. And you're still in the middle of it, right? So yeah, it's like we were setting up for some momentum and stop. Exactly, Oni. Welcome to Stormblood. Like, again, like, AAR didn't even bother me. And I still think that Titan quests are fine because it makes sense, right? Like, it, there, there's a reason behind why we're doing it. This is just kind of like... Oh, these pirates are just gigantic fucking wimps. And Gosetsu got captured again. <laughs> like, oh, great. Cool. You know. So, opportunity for us to craft yet? Uh, yep. Well, I shall introduce your leader, uh, Bukchin. It'll be up to you, however, to present your case. Of course, my dude, of course. What does for the beloved so many questions and they'll have to wait until the Elder arrives? Should we bad when we meet the Elder? You know, it's sort of a thing they do in the Far East, but does that extend upon the turtle people of an the sea? Oh, I suppose, must diplomacy be so complicated? Lisa, I love you, hun. Maybe if I do his laundry, Confederate Sensa, Senpai will notice me. Ooh. Yeah. I want to talk so much with you about Stormblood, but I wait till you finish. All right, yeah, no problem. Like, again, like, normally, I don't mind the small quests. I think they... I think the small, like, helping each other out quests are a really big deal and are really impactful and important. It just right now, these ones don't feel like that. They don't feel like I'm helping somebody. Now, when we get into this, like, now we get within in this Kajin thing, this might change. He's got, a, he's got, like, a helmet on. Nice. That might change, but until then, I'm still gonna hold the opinion, right? Welcome, guests. Gratitude to you for aiding Soroban in his negotiations. <laughs> I like this way. I like the way this guy talks. Nice. We thank you for your hospitality, honored elder. Pray forgive me my brevity, but I wish to discuss an urgent matter. Mm hmm. So, you seek to compel our Red Brothers to forego hostilities for a time. But they've already summoned a primal, right. right? We know your two clans have your differences, but what with you being brothers and all, uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge or something. Mm -hmm. From far above. You have journeyed here in search of our wisdom. You shall have it. All creation is a tapestry through which the divine is interwoven. Kami are legion, and they can be found in the great and the small. Though they come and go as they please, they favor certain vessels. The ancient, the precious, the exquisite. Okay. We Kojin covet these vessels, these treasures. We go forth and bring them home to keep them safe and bask in their divinity. They bring prosperity and joy to us and our children. I'm gonna disagree with you there, Nar. Um, I think this. I think this scene is important right now. I think this is a very important scene. I don't think it's just a Beast Tribe side character. We're we're learning some pretty big beat. I think we're learning some pretty big lore points here. Yet, how are we to seek these treasures above if we made enemies of the Galian Empire, powerful and far-reaching as they are? You know, by the way, Shinto. I believe this does. This sounds like Shinto. Yep. Oh, the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> They're nice. Mm -hmm. 
wiser to join with them. So resolved the red Kojin. I agree with you, Zelda, too. I think the Beast Tribe quests matter, too. Cautiously and carefully, for the Garleans are blind to the divine, nor will they suffer their subjects to see. Mm -hmm. I dropped in Final Fantasy XIV. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I agree with you too, Lucy. I think this is now, I'm starting to get re-interested in the Ruby C bit, right? Um, I'm starting to get re-interested into it. All this previous stuff was the stuff I was like, why? So the red masquerade as mercenaries who seek money and power and never speak of their faith in the presence of their masters. Did the red Kojin take the dive so that the green Kojin could live in peace? That's actually a super cool angle. Holy shit. That is a vi that is okay. This is cool as fuck. That's cool as fuck. All right, to I like that. I like that a lot. Divine, they deny it. A twisted and misguided path. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Aye, aye. Kami will not abide such foolishness. This they shall learn to their sorrow. Mm. While our red brothers live by the sword, we blue Kojin uphold the old ways, engaging in trade and valuing peace. Right. Alas, men distinguish not between our clans, and judgment for the doings of the red falls unjustly upon the blue. Yep. Thus do men grow more and more reluctant to deal with us, denying us our treasures. This cannot continue. On that point, we are in agreement. You are willing to aid our cause then? Okay. Interesting. There is a way that the Red may be driven to retreat into their shells. But to share with you this knowledge is to reveal secrets of the Divine. Assurances must first be had. Trust forged. A bargain struck. Chore well quest, said, gotcha. Elder. Gotcha. In great crises is great profit to be had. Why are the turtles capitalists? Why did they make this decision? Delight not overmuch in such things, Sodoban. Now, tell our guests what must be done. As you wish. Well, I've no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but so far so good, right? Gotta get that pizza money. True, Ninja. They need that money for pizza. <laughs> hmm. Big if true. Big if true. Ha. Huh. Damn capitalist turtles. Uh, all right, fine. A thousand, a thousand gods. More than the, tw the great and small, rather different than Eorzean or 12, but heard stranger things in some lands where it's been refused to acknowledge exists for all but a single god. That's good. That's good. That is a good quip. Good Koji Fox. That's good. Good job, my guy. All right. Color me impressed. <laughs> Whatever it is, we've got to do it. Well, right. I mean, what other choice do we have? I like that. As well, my friends, require no existence in search for a priceless treasure. Yasakani no Magatama? 
Shimon was taken with the Kojir relics with possession of Hingashi. So they decided to present it to the Garleans in a gesture of conciliation. There's more than the fury? Shinto capitalist turtle, Shinto capitalist turtles, heroes in a half shell, turtle power. But a there. We're gonna abide by his fear, so they plotted to seize the vessel. Um to their Imperial Masters. Alas, if they succeed, the insulting chaos to Megatama is lost to the sea. To cover the sacred jewel of the brothers, however, there would be more than conflict with them. It would be problematic. Therefore, we turn to you. Want us to search the ocean floor for treasures of yours? I wish I were supposed to do that without, you know. Joining fear not, there's a ritual I can form to imbue your bodies with a powerful blessing, but first you must prepare offerings for the sea. Ruby coral, several fist-sized sea snail shells, and freshly harvested Unkyu capris. They just weren't as cool as their waifu. True. The shopping list, so go see the shells. These can look for the coral. Say, where'd you go find the Yuki? I believe Rose is the capris. Yep. Oh, thank God we're each getting one ingredient. Oh my God. Oh, thank fuck. Holy shit. Okay. It's so far away and I move so slow. God, I'm so slow. Hang. Y'all ever just move slow? Freaking Yoshi P hiding everything behind Aether Currents. Please, when you're just so slow, ladies, I think. We're on the story. I'm, I just went to Kojin Town and met the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I could do like five more quests for us. See, again, it's not even the quests that bother me. It's the fact that it takes me so long to go anywhere. So long. I'll never know solace for as long as I live. Have a nice cube. Adult hoarding ninja turtles. Shinto capitalist mutant ninja turtles. I think it's her only tied to MSQ. Right, I... I'm salty about that. Wish if he has cursed you for your hubris and your feet will never know peace. Not my feet. Uh, anyway, um... Y'all ever do something and immediately regret it? Or is that just me? Uh... Daily. Alright, good. Glad we're agreed. <laughs> Oh no, the fucking Aether Rite's up the side of a bitch! My life is a living hell! Wiz, I feel that. Recall over there, it's a bit far, but I can swim it. Got him! <laughs> I hate it here, dude! Ugh. How quick my dearest brother was to boast his firewood gathering techniques if only he were to gather these shells in my stead. We go grab that aetherite, because if we don't, if we the aether current, because if we don't do it now, we have to do it later. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Stupid fucking, fucking son of a bitch! Mean grave, you could always just readjust it like when you needed to, right? God, I have to walk all the way around this, don't I? Ugh, I hate it, dude. Two 
dude, this sucks. Ah. <laughs> I mean, this is a very pretty view, mind you me. Oh, there's a boat out there. This is a very pretty view, mind you me, but holy shit, why am I here? <laughs> And there's another gap. I'm going fucking crazy. <laughs> Can I get your taxi service to deliver you to you? <laughs> this is cruel. Cause you can walk out here and look up and you have to go all the fucking around. I think my Aries is showing again because I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> All right, it's fine. This is fine. We're having a good time. This is fun. We love fun. It's okay. It's fine. We're having fun. Anyway. Hashtag Aries Club. <sighs> oh, there's a dragon. It's a dragon. Rather calm, Aries. I'm weird. Mm -mm. You just haven't embraced your inner rage, Aries. I mean, Dratus. Imagine being a dragon. You're a dragon. I can't be calm. I just choose not to be. Yeah. Why would I be calm? Plenty of people are calm. Not enough people are angry. I'm angry all the time. I'm literally angry all the time. <laughs> Aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you ever want to go ape shit? The Capris. Kojin ritual. <laughs> For Kojin rituals, but today is not that day, I guess. At, at either currents? Thank you, Kiki. So, to uh, on foot across the map and ask one person. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Was that. I don't think the sliff shit was nearly as bad. We got to dance for that, and that was fun. Also, there were Aetherites. No one act angry? As splendid they are, the Kami shall be most pleased, I sure am. Lame shit with seriousness, always with seriousness. Yeah! Ape shit liberally! I got it, I got the ruby coral you wanted. Yep! Yeah. In my sea snail shells, they're about half, about the size of my fist though, I realize that you, now that you may have meant yours. And suffice our purposes, we must make ready for the present, uh, present them to the sea to perform the ritual. Completed, you'll be able to move freely through the depths and find Sakana no Magatama. Or just a single drill of yours, unless it's too far large to be crafted or carried by the three of us. How are we supposed to even find it? The ruby sea is not exactly small. Now, as we've been searching this whole time, the area which you wish to explore is but a small fraction of the ruby sea. We're scaring most of the seabed near within our territory to no avail, but remains this region to the west. The shellless of the Soyo no Sato can provide you with better guidance than we. Do well to visit them first. Kojin aren't the only ones that live underneath the sea? Of course not. The rain have been here as long as I can remember. Uh, Shiosa, the overseer, I believe, can tell you more when you arrive. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. We've yet to carry out the ritual. Uh, all around me are familiar faces, worn out fa places. Uh, something races. Fire Aries. Yep, Aries are fire signs. You can tell by the fire at which we feel every emotion. Quite a, uh, th that's why I cry like every day, right? Uh, blessing 
is supposed to keep us from drowning in the remains to be seen. You guys spend too much energy. <laughs> that, that's great. Say that more. <laughs> oh my God. Must be grounded. Can't ground me, bitch. 1v1 me right now. We'll see. We'll see. 1v- literally 1v1 me right now. Fight me. Bet you won't. Oh, that's a, that is a level 70. Nice. <clears throat> and Soroban, we trust. Yeah, we trust Soroban. Sarnavon is about to show you a shining, shimmering sp Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is great, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> a shining, shimmering splendor. A whole new world. That's so good, dude. Oh, holy shit. Cozy Fox, absolute Chad. <clears throat> you need a tarist. Why are you Why are you advocating for dirt signs? Why are you advocating for the dirt signs? Pushing the reins and right into the shit into the ground. I love it. Meet me at the wolves den. All right, bet. My friends in Explorer World, unlike any you've ever known. Oh my god. This is great. Oh, did my mouse go? Oh, there's my mouse. As a part of the village where the water twists and turns, they'll be complete for our preparations the ritual. Sorabon's literally Aladdin. Holy shit. Oh, no dirt signs? Okay. <laughs> Raven, I love you, hun. <clears throat> So I guess I burn brain cells? There you go. I also just like having an excuse to call, uh... You don't want to go back there. I also like having the excuse to call an earth sign a dirt sign, because I think it's kind of funny. Does <laughs> so I play some... I'm sure I like the look of that whirlpool. Yep, I mean, it works, right? It's just so perfect. Over in the water, remember go and said, wait here until he returned. Wake me up before you owe Garamo, was when I realized Koshi puts in work, right? It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. And we're all like, ah, okay, sure. Yes, yes. Listen to my words and let all else wash away. Listen to my words and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood. I'd listen to Sorbon, uh, read me the dictionary, not gonna lie. O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths. Receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The true ship right there, Insomniac, the Sorabon and uh, Uri. Right? You may now True OTP. In the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, 
It will not help you traverse them. Hmm? I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? Oh, like a fish, in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. <gasps> Even when even when Alphadon's not here, it's roast Alfio clock. And they do the dramatic zoom up. And she's like, oh, like a fish. Unlike in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. Somehow the boy just isn't very buoyant. <laughs> this is so dramatic, I love it. It's like Oh my god. <sighs> mm, skilled or no, your bodies are ill suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. God, I fucking love it. Like, Alfie's probably like, and Kugani just like. What? Why do I feel like crying? <laughs> ah, the pun. I know that's such a good pun, right? Or the Japanese I like for it's got to be a similar pun or something. But first, let us take to the water. Is he voiced by Samurai Jack? He does kind of sound familiar. How oh, where did this bird come from? <laughs> Yep, and she's the first one in, because of course. God. I love Alizé. It's just dunk Alfie clock every day. Incredible. I could swear I was breathing air. Now I shall summon for you noble steeds of great strength. <laughs> great guy. <gasps> Do we get our own sea pancakes? Yes! Fuck yeah. Oh, look at them. I bet they could take us all the way to the deepest depths of the sea. We get our own sea and pancake. So After we've won over the Confederacy, rescued Kosetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. <laughs> Lisa's like, oh, let me have fun. Parted from your steeds. Return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends, and may the Kami speed you on your way. He's got he's got a great voice, he really does. We'll find that treasure in no time. Come on. Poggers. Sea pancake. It's just a big pancake. This is fun. I like this. Diving unlocked. I, I can dive now. And I dive to the deep water and stay submerged indefinitely. Hmm. These circular points. Ah. On the surface, press Control Space Bar. Huh. Huh. That's dope as fuck. I love that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just, oh my god. Water flipping can only be used while underwater. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, I love this. That's so cool. I didn't know there was dive. I didn't know they dived. I don't know. Wait! I know what that is!
Ha ha! All right, Sarabon, where are you? <laughs> Was this worth it? Yep, now you've unlocked half of the map you didn't have before. Right. And it's as fast as the flight travel. Wait, where's Sorabon? Hi, Sorabon. I lost my mount. Wow, you couldn't really see up my skirt there. Damn. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah, we have to ride a pancake. Oh my god, this is much faster, holy shit. This is so cool, actually. I love that we could go, like, underwater. That's a dope. And there's, like, a whole little city down. Oh, that's so cool! I got a sea pancake. Oh my virus is scared. Oh, there's a dragon girl. Hi. I'll be with Madam. Serve the Shishai, High Priestess of Shisu, the Violet Tides. Sorry, Pepper, courtly functions of the village, writing letters to arrange meters. Always visiting myself, I attend to the needs of his beloved otter, Isobi. Oh, it's so cute. Dragon girl. Is it just like normal people live here? <gasps> chirp chirp. Uh, I love him. Hello. You've not to discuss, nor have you ought to discuss with a soapy. I should think. Therefore, you have no reason to remain. Soapy. Wait, the otter place triple. <laughs> it's so me. Are these people all Aura? Nice. Challenge to cards. Watch me be a fucking monster at cards. He's an obscenely powerful deck. Oh my god, does he? The otter otter. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, there's so many dragons. They're sea dragons. What have my sons done this time? You are- you look like a child, man. You you look like a child. I thought she was a child. Holy shit. Ah, uh, yes. They got them Dragon Boy Nip Nips covered. They got their Nap Nips covered. Very important. Very important that their Napple Nooples are covered. Uh, there's a head shark. This place is so cool. Oh my god. I love this. It's a secret outraw hideout. I love it. That's so cute. A broader otter. Don't want the fishes knobbing on your nap naps. On your napple nooples. On your noopy noops. Well, my doubts about this blessing worthy of the name, but I have to wonder what other magics the Kojin possess. I agree. Suno Soto, Rain Village, Sorbonne told us about. And then let's see if we can find the Kojin's missing jewel. Also, I'll say this too. As an enthusiast, as an enthusiast of, um, Aquatic affairs. I do quite like that this is like a. I do really enjoy. I can. Yay! Underwater emotes. I really enjoy that we get some beach time because I love beaches. It's the Final Fantasy XIV beach episode. You know? Oh. 
so no Sato than so uh, Shiosai. The Vizier should be uh, around here somewhere. I look as I'll be able to point us in the right direction. And I look around and I get the distinct impression we are not welcome here. Where's Eris' bikini? Uh... Well, maybe I don't want to show my butt to you. Oh my god, <laughs> Graves playing the otter. This is the face. This is the face of pure, pure destruction via cards. Look at it. And no suffering. It's so pretty underwater, right? It's so nice. So this is our man. Leave this place and never return. We have no need for wide-eyed wanderers. Sorry, I didn't mean to stay. My name is Lisa. These are my friends, say Hammer and Alize. My deck has no pathetic cards, this so be. This otter has seen card games on motorcycles. The reason why there are no more card games on motorcycles. Oh my god, you right. Leave with overseer of Sui no Soto uh, Shiosai. Is that you, isn't it? Because of you, the blues sent you hither, did they? I'm no overseer and when we're claiming to be so. I'm the high priest of Shiosi of the Violet Tides, Shiosai. So you're the man we're looking for. Great, we need your help. We're looking for the crown jewel, Yosoka no... Stop, I will hear no more. No, she has a two-piece, Stratus. So if I know what side is in the troubles of our sanctuary, especially those who would be treasure hunters. Chirp, chirp. Quite, Asobi. Or there'll be no dango for dinner. Quiet, Asobi, or there'll be no dango for dinner. Hey, I could do not for you. I say to you again, leave this place and never return. I'm really sorry, my cons uh, consented to tell us about your village of why you're so loath and show us even the most basic courtesy. So you know, Soto's our sanctuary beyond the beloved leadership of the Ruby Princess. Sovereign Shiosu, we reign enjoy a humble yet fulfilling lives, but it was not always so. Long ago, our forebears were driven from their ancestral lands beneath the waters. They sought refuge from the ravages of war, and here they flourished. All that we are, our culture, traditions are born from the sea, as was I. We've long engaged others in diplomacy, it has ever been with the utmost caution, isolation, and independence are essential to preserving our way of life. When the Doma fell 25 years past, the Ruby Princess and her wisdom decreed that we would take no part. And it was so, and so it shall ever be. Forever and ever apart. Forgive me, I understand how highly you value your way of life. Now you'll suffer none to endanger it. And so be chirp chirp. Hello, Yugi boy. Chirp chirp. <laughs> I'm getting better at that. I'm getting better at that. Are we sure that we have no desire to do so? I would hope that we have not given you no cause to assume otherwise. If not, but this changes nothing. The chain tide starts tomorrow. The rest of your intentions, it is not my place to break with tradition. For those who call Sio no Soto home, for me to defy with their wild permits, others for me to be gross betrayal of the responsibilities, please do not ask me of this. Thank you for your time, sir. God, I was gonna say, um, spicy hot nuclear thermo take here. Um, God, tradition is so fucking dumb. Honest to God. Like, I, I know that they're doing this because, like, there's like those, those, like, uh, like you know, those Japanese elements and, like, stuff like that with, like, ah, tradition, blah, blah, blah. And they have all those elements in Huha and whatever. But, like, tradition is literally just peer pressure from dead people. That's so dumb, dude. Like, you're literally just being like, oh, damn, great, great, great grandpa did it this way, so now we gotta do it that way, too. Like, we, we just have to do it that way because, dude, this one old guy did it a really long time ago, and if we 
We don't do it exactly like this guy did it then. We might actually have to use some creativity. Damn, dude. Why does it gotta be like that? Ugh. All right, there's my rant. It's literally peer pressure from dead people. That's literally what I'm saying, right? Hi, weird. Grandpa died of scurvy. I'll be in the cold dead ground before I touch an apple. Mm -hmm. The same skill wave. We don't want any. I think I'd give it use to, but I was some part of me just can't. But hoping for the best. Continues another village, another deaf ear. Clear Garabani is not the only place with walls. If this was a huge mistake, Kosetsu could have. Couldn't have known we would be taking so- Yeah, he's taking so fucking long! Oh my god! Ah. That is a 270 item. I'm sure there's- I guess there's nothing really I'm gonna use, am I? Exactly. Oh no. Meanwhile, the ta tavern of Asari. I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. We're taking so fucking long. This is just good. This this is gonna make me fucking pissed. This is gonna make me so fucking mad. <sighs> Another content warning. Heads up. <laughs> this scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, name calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? I think he just called her a whore. I think. Orphan of the Nayori. Widow of Sashihai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. Not enough. Not nearly enough. I'm sure. All right. Freaking name days in the background. My appetite for your agony is as an abyss, bottomless, insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. You will crawl on your belly through the muck and the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. All of you. But you think you are made of sterner stuff? Hmm. Rather than have him beat you, mayhap I should have my oaf go and fetch your master's head. Oh, poor, poor Lord Kayen. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy. For a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. Tell me. 
How did it feel to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? He died. Not that you were a stranger to living with disgrace, of course. And then what was it? 25 years since you were humiliated and tossed into an imperial jail? You had plenty of time to get used to it. Oh yes, I heard the stories. About the samurai who would do anything to return to his master's side even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with death, that he slew a thousand men in the Empire's name. Truly a tale for the poets. I do not deny my sins. But I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like me. So, let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit. I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. And I know you helped him flee. So tell me, what became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Yeah, oh, name days. Bloody stupid. <laughs> oh. When I get back to Aeorzea, I'm gonna find that little shite. And I'm gonna make her pay. Yeah. Uh. Voice actors are very good. Uh, Yo, Setsu's, I think. Little? I ain't little. Um, but, uh, Yo, Setsu's fucking voice actress is phenomenal. She is so fucking good. And I will say this too. She, or not Yosetsu. Yo, Yosotsu? Yosotsu? Something like that? To beat a bitch's ass in no time, Sammy. Right? Yotsuyu? Yotsuyu, thank you. Um, she's an extremely compelling villain. I like her a lot. And I really want to fight her. Um... She was in Torchwood, if you ever saw that? Nope. Um, yeah. Nope. She's an extremely compelling villain. I like her a lot. Just call her Suyu. I can, I guess. Also, hi, uh, hi, Apollo. Um, she's very, very good. I like her a lot. Uh, she's very interesting, too. I'll say right now, she is far more interesting than Xenos at the present, right? Mr. Like, ooh, I'm so tired. I have a golf bag of swords. She's like, I don't know, she's got a lot of in, like, I'm, I'm very interested in understanding, like, her story, right? Because, like, she talked to Gosetsu there quite a bit, and, like, there was some back and forth, and they both seem to know a fair bit about each other. Like, they got out of some history, and... God, like, they're... Mm, there's just something that's really like interesting there and I think that's the survivor element, right? Like remember how I was talking about how like Xenos unga bunga Remember I was talking about earlier way back when where I was like I really want to see the perspective of somebody who 
ally allied themselves with like the empire out of survival and like she seems to be in a direction of that character maybe not quite there no, maybe not quite what I was thinking but she seems to be kind of touching on that same topic I think that's cool I think it's cool as fuck because I think that's a very interesting angle that should be talked about and I think will be talked about um but god I want to know more about her tell her the garlands trust her for sure but like was she always like that like was she always like that no but like I, I doubt that a little too vicious and hateful for that Sh maybe maybe lucy but like we haven't seen that yet right like she's terrible right but like again how deep can people fall when they feel as though they have no choice i'm not making excuses for her but this is final fantasy 14 things are literally just a smidge more nuanced uh, than just evil lady bad, right? Um, yeah, they're four, yeah, exactly. Diz, you're 100% right. You're 100% right. Um, they're focusing too much on her to leave a plot thread alone. Yep. Um, she's definitely far more interesting than Villain than Xenos. I would also agree. So far, I find her way more interesting. Uh, also, I hate her and I want to explode her now. Um, also, I'm pissed because the game is literally forcing me to let Gosetsu be tortured right now, and I'm kind of mad about that. Not gonna lie. Little pissed. But anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, that's really cool. That looks cool as shit, actually. Huh. Grossetsu did volunteer. I don't care. Do you still find her attractive? Uh... Yeah, I do. Sorry. Would I ever date her or any shit like that? Of course not. Like, of course not. <laughs> She's vile and repugnant, but I would be lying if I said I didn't find her at least somewhat attractive. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't lie to y'all. Physical attractiveness has nothing to do with the vileness of her character. For sure, for sure. Uh, I don't think that's what Lucy was getting at, though. So we reach an impasse, and to make matters worse, every solution I can think of will only take more time. Yay! Wow, more chores. So do you have any ideas about you, do you say, Hammer? Uh... I think Eris would just say this. I think Eris said, let's find Red Kojin and encourage them to talk. Kershwin does have appeal, but... I would need to be convinced that Red knew anything before resorting to violence. Woo! Are you like, uh... Oh no, you're in a raid. Okay, I was gonna say, if you were locked into Praetorium, then Godspeed. But you do have time to take a bathroom break, if that's the case. You came from above? Yes, I've got a moment of your time. I apologize, I meant not to start. My name is Anahami, and this is my wife, Young, Young Naga. I'm wondering if you... These are Gary's parents. If I have any news from Doma, if so, we should like very much like to hear it. May I ask why? Yep, yeah, it's her parents. It's her fucking parents. If you must, our daughter fought in the rebellion. We have heard not from her since. I wish I hope you know of her, but it... I'm a fucking goddess. This is great. Oh my god. Her name is Yuguri. But your girl's parents. Maybe pray she lives. She lives. 
I mean, we were two, actually. I'm sure she's all right. So we called it immediately. I, I just looked at them and I was like, ah, the mom kind of looks so similar. Explain this so quickly you honed in on that. Uh, well, you see, Lucy, I know I might not look like it. I'm actually kind of smart. <laughs> nah, like I can pick up on stuff pretty quick. I like to think. I just saw that, like, I saw that the lady was like, like, I saw the way they looked. I saw that she had the exact same haircut, same hair color. Um, I saw that her eyes were the same color. And I saw that her tail was the same color. And I was like, makes sense. His tail was the same color too. And I'm like, ah, that tracks. <laughs> that we're having more scales on their faces as the older they get. It is kind of neat, right? Yeah. I don't know, I'm just, I know I look like a bimbo, but I'm actually not. <laughs> what are they she held from Sono Sato? She came to serve Doma as a shinobi. Yeah, he's getting like more like around the edges of his face and stuff. But again, when she was a little girl, she another child crept out of the village. Having grown curious about that side world, to Doma they went, where they met a young boy, the proud son of Yang Shai. <sighs> Just assume Zumi has caught on, and if not, she debated herself. True. You a bimba. What? <laughs> the sales of imperial oppression left a lasting impression on her. When she returned, she spoke passionately of the Doma's plight and urged us to take up my the boy in, but my wife and I would not hear of it. When I was close, she never forget his words. She became convinced the Garlands would one day come for us and in, was in search of the strength to defend it. She left years later and learned the ways of the Shinobi. When every princess learned of this, she forbid Yuguri's return, lest she bring misfortune to us all. Trust the judgment, there's not else we could do. So her daughter, who was kept only, wanted to only keep her people safe. So there's something that we can do for these people who gave us her aid and sucker when no one else would? I hate the continued use of the word sucker, but a humble stonemason. But if there's the, uh, the yak yasa kani no magatama you may seek, and yet I may be of you some assistance. This possess unusual property to the naked eye. It is a jade. When bathed in a particular light, it shimmers with the divine resplendence. Find similar materials before. To find them, one must use these lamps. Cast an invisible light under which the stone sparkles in the deepest depths. They are invaluable. Second ship to the east, the currents may have spirited the cargo away. You should begin your search there. It's cool that we get to learn about her parents, at least. Thank you so much. We'll do just that. What did you find? At which you assist? Wish only there was something more that we could do to assist you. Know that you will be in my prayers. You next see that our daughter, pray tell her that a day, not a day goes by that her parents and her brothers do not think of her. We will, I promise. Yunagi. We can speed you on your journey. I like to go to the ventures of my daughter, but I understand there's time as of this and some of the lamps told you. Ah, but be wary that their light only shines short periods. Okay, so one thing I'll say about Aura, and one of the reasons why I don't like Aura, like why I wouldn't make myself an Aura, is especially ones that have a skin tone similar to their, like, scales. I want to scratch it. It looks scratchy. And I want to scratch it. It bugs me. <laughs> it kind of bugs me, though. <laughs> like, just a little bit. <laughs> You know, may it look like a skin condition. Yeah, the Zalion is bad for it. Yeah, that's probably true. Mhm. Mm it's a barnacle ship. 
There is still the same vessel which saw our button and spoke, then the gods are good. My katam is nearby. I'm keeping an eye out, Sammer. I don't need to slowly move too fast and we'll risk overlooking something. <laughs> Middle of doll. Yep. This area didn't eat. Alright. Got it. Oh, there's a shark. Be my friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. I love you. I love you, shark. 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 Something's found her people. <laughs> Yeah, shark. Mm -hmm. I started looking for the needle in the haystack. Would be quicker. Go set to maybe die of old. We'll die of old age by the time we finish. Haven't found anything, have you, Sam? Amber? You think it's a Kino no Magatama? I thought you'd be certain what one looks like. Shark. The scene of the fortress has finally changed for the better. Yay, God. Please, for the love of God, let me continue this on. I want to do the story. Ah. Magatama even is. Yup. All you do is run errands, and people said those hero company of hero quests was bad. Hi, Lise. I just really like to return to your curious pains of versus since there are times of the essence. Tamazu was once. Hold on, I say, Once we arrive, because on the other we can finally learn how to deal with the red cohesion. Let's go, please. Let's go. Uh. I won't get out of here. Jokes on you, that's canonically my kink. God. Teenage Mutant Ninja Sea Turtles. That's that's really yeah, that's my opinion. Where I'm like, oh my god. Only spiraling labyrinth of fetch quests. Ah! Oh yeah, the fish shadows are great, not gonna lie. She's a leopard print, can't wait to find out. That's their turn, yeah, please, please. Would you rather they be escort quests? Uh, no. <sighs> oh God. I don't know what I want anymore. Hi, Valti. A mistake. Well done. Well, well done. Well, the red coaching said there's only way to make the retreat of the shells. Ready to tell us now? I did indeed, and yes, I am. Whereas that's only a matter of vessels, but individuals lie and claim the most sacred treasures if you demonstrate affinity with the divine. Through the men and the women, you are such to invite fortune to our homes. Gladly, we will aid your cause. Wabajatama. All is ready, Sorbonne, then give them what they require. Bada bada. Is this a ceremonial knife of some sort? The blade of which we shall seal open the treasure vault of the Kojin, the Isle of Zeki. Most prized relics, be they red or blue, are kept there for safely. Feast do the red guard it, for its contents are more precious than their lives. Let us attack, their will response be necessary more immediate. 
Kojun would be summoned from Alm's realm to defend their treasures. When you run into so enough chaos, the Reds would be in service, the appeals would be of no choice but answer the call as well. You kind of see the sign we've been waiting for without the Kojun, the appeals don't have enough troops and is sorry to hold off the pirates. However, you must understand the vault is holy ground, home to a thousand thousand kami. Should have without paying proper respects is sacrilege we can't condone. The proper respects is up here. No, please tell me this is a more. No, no. Are you kidding me? Not to a no, please don't. I deliver the jewel to the others. I hereby make them whole. The coming may forgive me trespasses to delight with your mischief making. No, wait, we just have to deliver it. We just have to deliver it. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank fuck. Or else to take the sacred jewel covered by your red brothers and deliver it to their treasured vault? Or less. Prana no Maganta belongs to the Isle of Zeki, so long as you find sway there, we are satisfied. Okay. Oh, oh my God. You know what? You would never have found it, and we'd never have had this conversation. Don't inform the confederacy of your plans and bid them to make ready to act when the time is right. Ha 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 You think your suffering is near its end! Ah! I was like a lesson of the Suno Sato, cave beneath the waters. <laughs> so now you're here on Yoshi P's water slide! I don't want off Mr. Yoshi P's water slide! My fortune fame for you for all your endeavors. <gasps> you know what? I'm just gonna... GP, Iris, no! Uh, okay, we're good. We're gonna be sure, but I just hope Gosetsu and the others are alright. Now they're probably all dead. All of them. You're gonna miss Confederate Street Act, then so be it. You just wish you'd seen the most battle hardened friends at your side. Yeah, honestly, whatever the fuck you say, I'm so done. I leveled up there too. Nice. All right. All right. It's fine. This is so fine. So fine. Just let me check something. Okay, so that isn't. Yep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Looks like your brother Alize also loves it when a plane comes together. All right. YouTube, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. God. So let's do this. Yep, let's go, team. All right, right. Not left, not left to say. Nervous? You're nervous? Come now. I mean, it's not as though I haven't risked my life for rid in ridiculous ways before. Maybe a little bit. Strangest thing, completely out of the character, even. Anyway, let's go. Alright. Oh my god. Doll, I am. 
I'm in fetters. I'm just, just all a fettered right now. That's what I am. Holy shit. So why are these aetherites so close? Why do they gotta be like that? Why can't there be one over here? Why, why does it gotta be like that? Why is it gotta be like that? Uh, okay, it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's all good. What a good time. Wait, doesn't in fetters means you're like in distress? Did I misuse that? I mean, yes, I'd really would rather be tied up right now. What's your point, Iris? You okay there? I'm fine, Sage! Great. Better swim here once the fighting starts. We'll have doubtless a moment to rest. Where's being tied up or held down? Uh, anyway. That'd be in tatters. Oh. <laughs> tatters. Assuming the right cave. Sorry, force of habit. Uh, please strain to the heart of the island, Vizeki. You know, plan for once we get to the island? How the tourist guards attention while the third heads straight to the vault? And with our numbers, it's not so feasible to do anything more complicated, I think. Simple players, I'll be one of the decoys then. I said to say how man should be the one given her peerless martial prowess. I'm like, alright, settle, you should make way to the ill of the stronghold, creating as much chaos as possible, you know, have some fun. Girls night, girls night. Meanwhile, I'll attempt to locate the vault and gain entry with a ceremonial knife. When I am inside, I'll contact you via Link Pearl. Girls night, girls night. Come on, say hammer, we've got work to do. Girls night, girls night. That's a musical shift. Oh, this place is cool as hell. Hey, sorry, I'm here to murder you. I'll be like, yo, why are you murdering us, dude? It's fine. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Where is Tankard right now, by the way? Uh, pretty sure he's helping out Uri for some reason. Oh, the spot's over there. I'm a big silly Billy. I thought it was like, how did they get her? And I think they're just kind of vibing the two of them. As he's doing spy stuff, something like that. An adventure, I guess. Yeah, fondant. That sounds about right. Ventures no those are for retainers. Who said he isn't a retainer? But da da da. So we don't die, please. 
I'll die in this if I wanna. You can't stop me. You're not my mom. This coach should kind of do a lot of damage though, not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Thancred's sad dad adventure. Thancred's angsty adventure. It's where he goes scream and goes and screams about Benfilia for like a solid like solid like 30 days straight. Also, Graham, thank you so much for the follow. I seem to be appreciative of an absolutely a uh, great day because my day more great. I love you so much. I hope you're everything. How's your face? How's it going? How are you? How's life? All right. You're not my healer. Aren't all healers kind of like mom when you think about it? I already has a ton of healer pals. Wait, aren't you one of the healer pals? <laughs> Ignore me. Ignore me. You don't see me. Thieves, yep, I'm a dirty, dirty thief. Don't mind me. Doing dirty thief things. You may or may not be. All right. Well, don't worry. This game's really bad. It's so bad. Make sure you skip all of 2.0. Don't play it. Um, <laughs> also, skip all of Stormblood. Don't play that. It's so bad. This game's just, just so bad. Such a bad game. Just letting you know. Nah, it's like one of the best games I've ever played. <laughs> Should I bring this while I got it? Yeah, just skip shadow. Just just skip everything. Just skip just skip everything. Don't just don't play the game. Just don't play the game. Heaven's word too. Story is just, it's just not goodly worded. Yep, some story not being goodly worded. Star of Blood, 7 out of 10, too much one. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Oh, uh, that's perfect. All the characters are ugly. None of them are attractive. Literally none of them. None of them are big, hot, beefy women that can bench press you. Um, yeah, all of them. All, none. None, none, none. Well, let's skip. Don't play the game. Just don't play the game. Why would you play the game? That'd be silly. Why would you get a game to play it? Why? Doesn't make any sense. Just don't do it. Punch Goral. For Suarez, if I is all right, too. Please, can you hear me? I found you the vault. I scared you to death. Mm hmm. That was the passage leading deep within. Hurry. If you play the game, it loses its mid condition. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah, no, Kakatar, I've seen that exact same thing happen. Jokingly called out by that. Oh, rip. Yeah, I literally had a guy. I, I was doing Wander. I was doing, um. The Keeper of the Lake, right? And then somebody, like, one of the sprouts in the lobby, uh was like, what, what, are, what's going on? Are we at a military base? Are we on a dragon? I don't get it. What's going on? I'm so confused. And like, then I was like, did you read any of the dialogue or watch the cutscenes? And they were like, no. And I was like, Bitch! <laughs> I got mad. Found the problem. Yeah, I, I literally said, I'm like, well, there's your problem, buddy. <laughs> there's your problem. Can you? No, Rex, you're all good. I love you, Rex. Uh, give the story through osmosis, I think. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. You're fine. Aha. There we go. I found it. My wow takes knew what was going on by then. Yeah, he had no idea. 
I thought I told him like, hey, how about you? I'm like, I was like, you should probably read the dialogue. And then he's like, oh, I'm just like here for the rating. And then I'm like, oh, uh, this game isn't for you then. And then he's like, yeah, I'm figuring that out. And I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. Jimmy Heineman voice. Oh, there's a dungeon here, isn't there? When oh, you red bastards, that's the best you can do. It's just a straight ahead. Good timing. It sounds like the whole garrison is headed straight for us. God. Uh, no, no. Thieves! Thieves! Come to steal our most precious treasures. You will pay for this sacrilege. That's the spirit. Now don't be shy. I'm more than ready for another round. Seize them! That's a lot of turtles. It's a lot of treasure. What in the world? made us whole. Hark! A great Kami stirs. Yes, yes. A great Kami of the sacred treasures. Oh, great Kami. We beseech your intercession. We who have guarded your blade and glass for generations, your... Oh, whoops. Was I who made you whole? Thou didst freely deliver our jewel unto thine enemy's own treasure vault? Yeah. <laughs> How auspicious we do commend thee, daughter of man. I am daughter of man. You got me. Such audacity is deserving of celebration, exaltation, a contest of wills to mark the occasion. Let lines be drawn, let sides be chosen. And for their loyalty, we shall stand with the caretakers of our greater part. Oh, perfect. The contest of wills. Just what we need. God, you're telling me, Alize. <laughs> Hearken to us, shelled ones. Upon this day, your wish shall be granted. Curse neither your fate nor its executor, children of man, for we are of the divine, of both heaven and earth, the ringing silence, the raging calm. All riseth and falleth at the whim of capricious fortune. Assume your marks upon the stage and embrace the coming chaos. Is this a primal or what the fuck's happening? Is this gonna be Rajan? Hi. We are 
Susano, and in revelry do we rejoice. Susano! Oh! Right! Ha! Huh. All right, cool. Revelry. I love this dude. So he's a primal. Cool. Huh. I guess that makes sense. Susano. All right. I was thinking it'd be like Rajin for a split second. But like, ah, oh, there's no Taiko drums, though. All right. That, that's a primal standing in front of us, right? Literally just a primal. And a horde of angry Kojin at our backs. Oh, this contest is getting worse by the moment. Dude likes to party. We Please, all like to party. Help me clear a path. Leave them to us and save your strength. You'll be needing it soon enough. Mm -hmm. Make right. way! Make way! I'm kind of dis this is Susanna. Where's his drunken stupor? Appetite for the feast, children of man. The dish will be served whether you will it or no. <laughs> He's very jolly, and I appreciate that. There it is. Huh. Right. Hi, everybody. This video is having a great time. Yep. Well, this is just cute. Well, I mean, quite frankly, this is just kind of cute, right? All right. I gotta walk all the way down here. Oh, come on. To wait for a minute. I can't tell where. Okay, that's right. Also, I think we. I think we need one more person. I think it's an eight man. If anybody wants to come along, hi Sheaves, an army of good boys. The the wolves, yes. There were that many doggos when I looked away. They lined up according to size. It's very cute, yes. Alright, Elise. Should um definitely be taking a strategy before we do anything else. Fair enough. Not part of the plan, the Kosher Primal was most definitely not a part of the plan. Logical explanation involving the Aether, the Storm, the Relics, and the Religious Fair, which goes and guard them. Something Sai at Pity Alphanon isn't here to provide it. Though. I thought of our forces had changed after Sorbonne and his people knew this might happen. But somehow I doubt that. Even the Reds seem surprised by what happened. Rises and falls on the whims of Capricious Fortune. Capricious Fortune, then same for the gods. They have no reaction to the primal. Hmm. Yeah, it's very cute. Go through this. Alright, the Lord of the Revel! Uh, so he's Lord of Revelry? Alright, alright. Cool. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So I may not have the best of plan, but she has only one. Which is a good claim of a brilliant plan, but I don't have all all I have is a desperate one. Party boss. We'll lead them on a wild dodo chase all over the island. Rest of the plan, I'm afraid you could guess. I'm sorry, Sam, I truly am, but neither of us can approach Susano, much less hope to defeat him, which means you're on your own. Poggers! Well, who knows? She has an awful lot of uh, adventuring friends. Maybe some of them decided to take a fishy trip to the Far East and are surprisingly close by? <laughs> wow, that's on the nose, Lise! <laughs> yes, and I speak uh, fluent again. Come, there's no point in putting this off. She has a lot of adventuring friends, and maybe one of them took a <laughs> trip to the Far East? Alright, alright. One or seven? B 
We have six. We are missing one person. All with matching mounts. So already hanging in your back pocket. The pool of tribute. one per I think it's time for a hullabaloo hullabaloo specifically where's Willibur where is he hullabaloo ooh. Ooh. all right we do just need one more, after all. Yes, y'all are poggers. Wait, let me check something. Nah, triple cast is 66, son of a bitch. I have between the lines, though. I do have that. That's something to look forward to. Cool. So, uh... How you guys doing? Hullaba Will! <laughs> how y'all doing with your... Your dogs? You guys, uh, you guys having a fun time? Y'all, uh, y'all having a good time? Hey, uh, Rain, I need, I have a question for you. Can you do, uh, slash joy for me? <laughs> Thank you. That's all I needed. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, dumb ear wiggles. That's that good shit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, we will probably need help. Did again, I missed it. Will, Will, I need some help with revelry. Uh, can, can you do it again? Wait, no, no, no. Can you do it again? Thank you. You're and Tori out here costing cap. What's wrong with the costing cap boys? Yeah, there's them ear wiggles. That's that good shit. Mm, that good, that good, good. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, sorry. It's it's that good shit. You know. Where do we have healers? I'm sure. Hi, Luckless. I guess I'll ninja this. If you want to ninja this, or if you'd prefer, or if like Sassy would prefer to not heal. I know Sassy sometimes deep. <laughs> that good shit. To quote Comey, pay the tax, cat boy. <laughs> Comes? Uh, yeah. All right, I guess Sassy, do you. Would you rather heal or DPS? I guess I don't know. And Will, Will's a ninja too. Will's a ninja. Link. Yeah. Are you having fun with your cat boy? Cowboy. Wait, who's Rain for a second? Who's Rain? I forgot. Who are you? Dradus 07. That's Dradus? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Dreadus has pegable energy. That's true. Wow. I'm 20 seconding. Dem ear wiggles. Also, I think Sassy is going to dance. <laughs> Judging okay. by how Sassy is currently sprinting around. As a dancer. As a dancer. Part partying. Uh, all right, well, I am in, and you may invite me at your leisure. Mm -hmm. I can tell oh, because you are I'm... in what zone? Oh. Nope, I can't invite you because my UI is broken. Wait, no, I think I got this. Can I? 
I'll, I'll show up. Okay. I'll just show up. Sorry. Yeah, my, my like, uh, my, like, system's broken. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, great, 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 great. This is... Ruby C? Yes, yes, this? yes, yes. Uh, Ruby C. Ruby C authored. It's the Isle of, Isle of Zeki. Four points. Yeah, okay, cool, great. Yeah, now I know where you are. All right, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Sorry, there are no good. Uh, I, I regret to inform you if you haven't already determined that there are no good Aether teleports in that whole flipping. Zone. This place is hell. The Ruby Sea is a literal wasteland of death and pain. Uh, you're not mostly wrong. Like I, chat knows. Uh, okay, you want you want my hot spicy Final Fantasy fourteen take? Please lay this scorching take on me. The Company of Heroes was better paced than this Ruby C quest line. Mm, disagree, but I believe that you feel that way. I don't like it. <laughs> it really irks me. And part, honestly, I think most of it's just because of Gosetsu. Like we just get Gosetsu, then it's like, LOL, now he's being tortured and stomped on by this evil lady. And then you're like, oh, guess I gotta go run around in the ocean for a while. Oh, guess I gotta go help some fucking coward pirates. Fucking little bitch pirates. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the Confederacy. They're a bunch of little fucking babies. Oh, there you are. Anyway, hi. Oh, hey, you know what I'll be able to do for this fight? I can now teleport to my ley lines. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I got. I don't get my blood lilies yet. It makes me sad. Uh -huh. I don't get my tri I don't get my triple cast either. All right, uh, we got everybody. Now for mm. wait, I can't queue us because it's broken. But uh, you know what? You could probably queue us. You would have to make me party leader. I already did. Okay, cool, great. This is pool of tribute, right? Pool of tribute, yep. <clears throat> Your efforts to wreak havoc on the Isle of Zeki and draw the Red Kojin away from their Imperial Masters have exceeded all expectations. Unfortunately, for reasons beyond your knowing, two of the sacred treasures stored in the Isle's vault Shh. reacted to the presence of the Yusakani no Magatama, summoning forth from the Aether the Great Kami Shusano, primal by another name. I'm fortunate that you and your fellow wiz uh, that you had the wisdom and foresight to invite several of your fellow adventurers on this journey to the Far East, and how kind they were to agree to help you torment the Red Kojin. For no single warrior, no matter how blessed or powerful, that's you, Sammy, could ever hope to slay a primal on his own, despite what some wandering minstrels would have you believe. Yeah, wandering minstrel, that's what uh, Yoshi P said. Um, anyway, <clears throat> yep, totally didn't figure out. I could have just checked the entrance and queued us there, but, uh, whatever. That's literally what I said to do. I'm dumb, okay? <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna pat you on the head. We should have highly leveled this! Uh, you didn't? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. This is a good, uh, this, uh, so, so, important detail, important detail. Leveling 64s don't matter as much because the highest gear you're allowed to wear at 64 is not as far above the worst gear at 64 as the gear at 70 and 60 is. Does that make sense? The gap is minuscule. Yes, the gas gap is smaller. <laughs> Hi, Sari. How are you? Everyone hamstring yourselves. Everyone unequip something. I'm going to take my shoes off. Everybody take off your belt. Everybody take off your belts, it's prep. It's Endwalker prep. Everybody take off your belt. <laughs> Gotta prep for those Endwalker strats. Mm -hmm. Um, we could re-go this. Uh, we could. It's up to, it is entirely Let up to you. It's your party. Begin. Um, I think we should re-queue it. Okay, so let's... I'm wondering what the fastest way to get out is. What if we just all die? I mean, you can do that. Uh, can't. We can't vote to abandon until 15 minutes have passed, unfortunately. Aww. 
I'm sorry. This is dumb. Oh, hey, I know what that means. <clears throat> if someone leaves, they'll be penalized. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. We can't, we can't vote to abandon uh, for a bit. Boo! This is not poggers. I'm sorry. You're poggers. Your mom's poggers. The seas part for we alone. Oh, this guy does have. He has such a booming voice. He does. You want to be in that? What? Too late. Ten minutes for pre-maids. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't feel like waiting around for ten minutes. The seas part uh, for we alone. Someone give me um does someone wanna in chat want to Hi uh, them. Someone in chat want to give me a direct comparison between uh, max level 63 and uh, min? I think it's probably really small. Like, literally so small you wouldn't. Yeah. The reason why I'm a why I'm vote I wanted to abandon this because I wanted to do it min eye level. I prefer to do stuff min eye level. Because I'm a masochist. It's okay. I'm I'm pretending like it's been eye level. I'm just really sloppy healing. So that's that's the thing. Perfect. So, yeah. I have a target above my head. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Hello, so everybody. You Come that hither, please. When you get that target above your head, it means that you're gonna get the Mute. the pushback the the line centered on you. Right. Gotcha. In the chaos. Yes, they do. Ah, oh, this is the best mechanic. Um, oh, he big. Oh, him big. And pure and forever free. Him big. Do I need a? Look, all right, look at Iris. <gasps> oh my God, Iris, you're a badass. Oh, that's so cool, though. Oh, that's so cool. Do we have to stop those? Do we have to stop those balls? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna. Ooh. Oh, I'm solo. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, that that's cool as fuck, dude. Is literally my my favorite trial mechanic to this point in the game. Is that sword? Holy shit, that's awesome. Um, and generally, by the way, the off tank catches the other one because um, it's very hard to press. Woo, don't be in that. Is he gonna hit us with that big, big? Oh yeah, he hit. Holy shit. That was cool Resilience as fuck, dude. Stones, I salute you. Yep. <laughs> I like Suzano's vibes. What a lad. Yeah. What a Chad lad, I love him. Why am I pure forever free? Hi, Rockefeller. Party Dad is here to party. Oh, I think I made out of stone. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, you're in, a, you're in a prison. I'm in the center one. Oh, I'm in the left one. Yep. Yep, this one. The one on the left. Not the one on the ley line. That's correct. But you having your ley line down actually helped us establish where you started. Yep. Which was super useful. <laughs> Chat, is it even worth using lilies if I can't blood lily? Like, what is even the point anymore if I can't bathe in my enemy's blood? Like, God, I'm so spoiled. <laughs> Poor there's a, uh, spoiled white mate. Look, there's an ability we get at 60 or 74 called the blood lily. And it's every time you use three lilies, the blood lily blooms, and then you can do a giant damage attack. 
using the power of the plus. Hi, Maverick. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that got me. Yep, I'm getting you. Don't worry uh, about it. I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. Mm -hmm. But for the blood lilies. Mm -hmm. well, not knowing that was coming craziness. Oh, I love it. That's so cool, though. That yeah, like my, the my coolest, that's like the uh, coolest uh, freaking mechanic, honestly. I think my reaction to that literally might be my hypest Stormblood clip. Nice! Just because it, it's done so well from like a design perspective to highlight the tank. And like, mm -hmm. you know immediately what you're going to do. Uh, and it that doesn't impact, that doesn't make it like any less poggers. That the, the, the tank's just like, don't worry, I'll catch this. Oh. Hello, everybody. Please gather on me so I don't explode. Ouch. Alright, Sassy's in the box. Sassy center box. Sassy's on right the right. Box. Mm -hmm. Yay, we got a Sassy. We won one Sassy. I feel like that's a pretty good prize, not gonna lie. I think Sassy's like a great all, of treasure. Of all the prizes we could have won here. Sassy is a treasure. Oh, also, uh, I want to meteor the fuck out of this guy. Uh, you may now meteor the fuck out of this guy. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get blasted here, so I'm not gonna... Yep, there we go. Now you can meteor. I'm gonna go and throw that down. Woo! And now I will meteor him. Explosion! Bye, Susano. Have a nice trip. Have a nice trip. <laughs> God, that feels so fun. All of it. Hey, Swag oh, Blide. I see you over there. I see you over there, Swag Blide. We're not done yet. Such he actually has to be dead. Poggers. Sal, so you mad lad. Sal is a mad lad, yeah. correct? Tet Tetra is the OG CD. Um, what this the is on. For we alone. Benny is off. Uh, Assize is off. Asylum is off. But the actual Lily Cat is off. Oh, fuck. I moved my. That's why no, I can't fine. teleport. I moved to the, I moved to the <laughs> wrong key. I changed that. Bye, Susano. Yep. The and... seas part for we alone. Yep. Oh, I like that there's like, it looks like a turtle shell. Aw. Yeah. And I, I like, uh, if you'll notice, the, the 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 arena actually changes. The texture changes. There's this big cut down the middle where the yep. sword was. Yep. It's so fucking cool. That's it's great. Cool. It's a nice touch. I didn't want to date, dodge AoEs. You lazy butt. Did you ever swag belied to dodge AoEs? This is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Top three primal fights. Nice. That was fun. That was good. That was good, cat boy. I'm glad I got to do the sword thing. Sword thing was very cool. Achievement name is a crime. What? Well, I'll find out eventually. Off the coast of Othard. What's happening off the coast of Othard? I'm getting sniped on other duties. Ah. Uh, a dare to pirates. Lazy freaking pirates. One v one them all right now. Nary a peep from the shell back, sir. That's enough to make one wonder. More like poop rits, yeah, they're dumb. Oh. 
The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. Hmm. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Yeah, because we're poggers. Also, nice purple hair, nerd. Also, Lexus, thank you so much for the follow. I seem to appreciate it, but absolutely lovely day. Because you more lovely. I love you so, so much. I'm assuming everything says your face has gone. How are you? Alright. Well, Captain. Wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. Yeah, imagine per having purple hair. Who would have purple hair like a nerd? I see you, Grave Knight. I will fight you. <laughs> On the other hand, naught was put in writing. But if your mind is made up, then that is that. Mm -hmm. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Why is he digging into him? Hey, Sarah. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Hey! <laughs> well said for a temperate man. <laughs> Doesn't even drink. Oh! I have that mask! Mm hmm. Huh. So they all Hear me, comrades. We made a bargain with the Aeorsians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garleans that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. I agree. First time he's ever sounded like a pirate, Misfit. Alright. Let's go, baby. And so, we shall go to war. Oh, nice. Literally my favorite line from any Pirates movie. It's great. It's a good line. Hey, it's name days. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Mm -hmm. The other ships oh, look great. Come, he give me strength. Are you good at anything? Interesting that she says Kami. Okay. I know name days is dumb. I had hoped this might prove more productive than blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Ah, <sighs> ma'am, why are you so evil? Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, samurai. I will find Lord Hien, be it with your help or with your heads. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yesterday. Thank you, Shan. Shan. How's it going? Yep. Confederate scum! You will pay for- ah! Nice. 
I love the screen shake. They've come to save us. It's a good screen shake. And this after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Ah, oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Why are you so gross, man? Every last drop. Just the way she the way she describes the uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you. I'll appreciate it. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Name day is clearly not having it. Yep. Name just got messed up, dude. That does seem to be his I'm lot in life, doesn't it? Yet. He's just like, it's like my name days all beat me up at once. <laughs> Literally every single day of his life. I saw someone talking yesterday about how hor horrible it would be if you had all of your birthdays at once. <laughs> just a jumbled mess of days all thrown together and, and you watch as your life flash before your eyes. And be like, yep, that would be awful. <laughs> It just sucks in every conceivable way. True. Hi, Sal. Come, you're not finished with you yet. God. What a freaking nerd. All of them. Nerd. Not even an endearing way. Nerd. Derogatory. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> His name day speed him up. No, and stole his lunch money before stuffing coming. him into a locker. Oh my god. Uh, it's great. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. She's counting on us. I do appreciate that Stormblood is the girl power expansion, though. Stormblood is literally the hashtag girl boss expansion. It's li like literally, it's just girls' night, girls' night, because it's just I, it's only women doing everything right now. Because. Yeah. Alfie is useless and we one. make him sit in the corner for an entire expansion. They were like, Alfie, stay there and be useless more. And Alfie's like, okay. And Alice is like, I'm going to go stab a god. <laughs> and it's great. Teen Girl Squad is beating up turtles. I like it, right? It's great, new guy. <laughs> and I just like walk out of the scene like, hey guys. <laughs> so, what did I miss? Yo, just got back from killing a god. How are you guys? Did you defeat him? Yo, dude, it was so rad. Iris caught his blade with her blade. Then there were all this like water everywhere. Uh, I exploded at one point. We don't talk about that. <laughs> well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? Uh, I mean, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. The seas part for we alone. Speak that's of the such devils, a cool attack. that's coming from Izari. And, uh, let's, yeah. I, I usually stream for about seven hours at a I time. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Pog. Poggers. Good Wait, time to go to the village. To Are you pogging out of your mind right now? Uh, no, because this quest, like, drained me. That's fair. That Susano fight was kind of hype, though. He's super hype. Hear me, Kojin of the Red. We have no quarrel with you. Only your Imperial Masters. <clears throat> Drain, you say. <laughs> no more blood need be shed this day. I pray you let us go in peace. God, Alizé, that is a big, that is a big request. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! Attack! But, uh... Now's our chance. Don't worry about her, she can handle herself. Does she just like, pew? 
and like Alize, you're such a badass. Oh my god. Ali is in fact best girl. She really is though. She's so fucking cool. She just stabbed him can in you, the crotch. Damn. Can can you believe that my chat had a vote about which twin was the better twin and some people actually voted for Alphino? I mean, Alfie is my delightful garbage son, but oh my god. Oh my god, she's gonna do it. Yo! She's so cool! Right. Now, I, I will point out that this, this cutscene is literally I... designed to make you go play Red Mage. <laughs> Liter it's literally promoing Red Mage. Holy shit. Well, the, the thing she just did is the full... She just does the full uh, finisher combo. The, mm -hmm. the three hit melee with the charge in and the backflip out. Oh, oh okay. wow. Why are you there? Because that's where I started. It's because that's where I am now because this place sucks. Oh, well, we're all waiting for you outside the thing. I know I'm coming. <laughs> Hashtag Team Alfie. Yeah, Sassy, I know you're in that number. But like... Uh, no, we, we can meet you up on a sorry. <laughs> this place sucks, dude. It sucks so bad. Hold on a sec. Just hold still. I'm going to come find you real quick. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Alphanod, not boy, Alize, we'll stab you in the crotch. Can you, uh... Can you get towards land? <laughs> Working on it. Literally in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Hi, Rain. My cat boy found me. Okay, cool. Well, cat boy found you. I'm gonna... I have a two-seater. Love you, cat boy. Yoshi P's water slide. Hey, Sal found me. <laughs> I This is literal hell for Sammy. Oh, Rain, you got a fancy car, do you? Yeah, can, can we get you out of there? Yeah, here, let me... There we go. Yep. But I, uh, I now have a chocobo built for two. Nice. Um, yeah. I'm on a fancy car. Yeah, the, the, there is um, a reason that we all unlocked all of the Stormblood flying as soon as we could. Now, this place is actually hell, I'm not going to lie. This is by far the worst of the zones in this half of the experience. By a significant margin. Can I just? I will. I will give you that for free at least. There we go. Makes sense. Okay, Rain, you have served me well. Um, have a dote emote. I will require more of your ear wiggles in the future. Illy. Sea of clouds, though. I don't know, man. We didn't have to run around the sea of clouds like we had to run around here, though. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Sea of Clouds is at least aware that it's hellaciously divided. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so while you were watching that cutscene, uh, I have a piece of information for you. What's that? Um, the minimum eye level for the for a level 63 event, the only one that I could find in the roster, is 245, and we synced to 270 in that event. So we synced to 25, about 10%. So mm -hmm. if you want to run it again, you certainly can. Um, but the difference would be minuscule. And I also checked the mechanics list and we saw every mechanic that uh, Susano has to offer. Okay, that's good to know. Yep, uh, those are some interesting data points. All right, um, let's do this. Do you need me for anything else or shall I vanish? Uh, I think I am good, but I do appreciate you and you're lovely. Thank you for the help. No problem, Lollafell, out! Bye. We got better at these dungeons. <clears throat> dungeons and Trials, true. Everyone say bye, Willibur. That's Willibur from Extra Credits, by the way, if you didn't know. Oh, Pogger, you should check him out. A fellow Twitch partner. Uh, I think we're safe. Didn't see any cohesion following us. Wait here, I'm going to go back to Alize. No, absolutely not. Was others said you could escape. Even I know that. 
as the one who dragged you into this. It was my fight alone, not yours. I knew we had the start, but I'll assume that I couldn't do it alone. Too much to let too much happen to you, and yet I have to make this right, and I have to do it right on my own. Alright, so please let me go. I'm asking you as a friend. I have to help her. You can start by finding me a towel and some bandages. Brr. Alize, what, you're looking at me like that? I said I was good at going to distract them, not make my heroic and ultimately futile last stand. Who does that anyway? Alize's like, yeah, last stands are stupid. <gasps> Hug! Oh, that's so nice! Love of this is stupid, you're embarrassing yourself and me. <laughs> She's just standing there in the hug like, ma'am? <laughs> Shut up and let me have this. <sighs> Girls night. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Now if we need to hurry back to sorry. Huggles, yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Huh, we have the technology. I was just like, oh god, physical affection, what? Say hammer say hammer hugs are her scooping and picking you up into the air. Kinda like how what Mombrita did to Orangier. Don't you think you finished to draw them off? I'm gonna bet a, a yeah on that one. Now speed's increased, thank god. They didn't follow you, did they? Give them enough time to escape. Yep. Good and good. And don't worry, I'll try not to make a habit of it. Yeah, please don't. I love you. A b b hand hand me. Hey, uh, not to, like, be uh, gluttonous about this, but I I, uh, I have a question for you. Uh, could you perhaps do slash joy at me? Uh, I think so. Thanks for grabbing my boob. I appreciate it. If you want, Dratus, you don't you don't have to, but <sighs> oh, that's not good shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love you, Sal, and I will get you back for this. Also, thank you. you just had to make your boobs at hand height. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, it's my fault. Oh, so we're blaming me. We're blaming me, Sal. Oh, okay, it's my fault. Yeah. God. Fucking nerd. All right, goodness gracious. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what the ear wiggles or makes for easy mammogram. Hey, no, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. To reach up to grab her boobs, the motorboat height for me. <laughs> True. Well, Dratus, I mean, play your cards right. I do love a good cat boy. Anyway, uh, probably shouldn't flirt that hard with a viewer, but moving on. <laughs> Pretty sure I come up to like your hip. I think I think you do. I think you come up to like my stomach, like my belly button. Yeah, that's about right. That's where a lot of cat girls hit me. Night night waterlogged, Sammy. I am waterlogged, excuse you. Uh, I would love to continue this, but it's getting late, and I've burned so much brain juice just doing all that bullshit. So we're gonna go do something else, like raid somebody else, like a friend of ours, like the infamous, the famous Tori Talks. Wait, Dratus, are you bisexual? Dratus, are you bisexual? Hold up. Uh, that's where we're gonna go, right? We're gonna go say hi to Tori. Um, cause if so, like, oh my god, twinsies. Um, I am, oh my god, twinsies. Um, <laughs> you're great, Dratus. I love you. If I'm laying it on too thick, please tell me I will back off if I need to. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. You're lovely. Um, uh, imagine being bisexual. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go. I love you guys tomorrow our astrologian quests. You guys want to see me heal? Come tomorrow. I'm probably going to bitch about it the whole time. But come and see me heal tomorrow. I will also be doing more MSQ. So we're going to do the astrologian quests first, and then we're going to do the MSQ. Uh, so we're going to see where we left off, uh, and we're also going to just see me probably bitch about uh, healing the whole, at the whole time.
just the whole time. Um, so I love you guys. Say hi to Tori for me. That's exclamation point raid to get our raid command. That's some dabs, some wooga boogas. Um, uh, Astrologian. And uh, yeah, I love you all. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Three o'clock central, three o'clock central. Oh, and look for the raid form. I'll be sending out another raid form tonight. Look for the raid form in our Discord. It's in our Discord if you want to participate. Look for the raid form. We'll also have it in stream tomorrow. I will see you guys later. Oh, also, there might be a Saturday stream this week. I'll bet you that tomorrow though too. Goodbye, I love you all. See you later. Zoomy zoom! Oh my, my gosh, y'all, is that? Oh, yeah.